Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. The spelling quiz after lunch. Oh no, oh no. Why are you so nervous about that, Daisy? Did you not study? Oh no, I've been studying for it all week and weekend and, and um yeah, for like a hundred hours. But I'm still nervous. What if I get a bad grade? It's fine. I'll give you a few minutes to study before lunch. Everyone keeps talking about lunch. It's making me so hungry. Pizza. Sloppy Joes. Ah. <sighs> I wonder what lunch is going to be today. Molly, could you concentrate on um, studying for your spelling quiz? Uh, not with an empty stomach, I can't. What's on the menu today? I don't know what you're having for lunch, but I know you're going to get an F on your test if you don't study. But I'm starving! <gasps> today is my lucky day! There's bean burritos and pizza. Oh my gosh, I hope I can pass this quiz. Quish, Ms. Blah, what did you just say, Molly? <laughs> I don't even know. I can't think straight. I'm so hungry. Hi, lunch lady. Whoa, 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 Molly. What can I get for you today? Um, well, of course I want a bean burrito, but I also want um a piece of a piece of pizza, please. Okay. Um, uh, may I please have your two dollars? Here you go. Thanks so much, dear. Enjoy your lunch. Mm. This is delicious. Holy bean burrito deliciousness. I prefer the pizza. I think it's super yummy. Daisy, you're not eating? Too busy. Steady, steady. Daisy, you need to eat an apple or something. Quit obsessing about that spelling test. You're going to do fine. It's not a test. It's a quiz. And I'm wooey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it's a, it's a jalapeno. Too hot, too hot, too hot. Whoa. Lunch is now done. Please head back to your classroom. I would if I could, but that jalapeno was so spicy. Goodbye, Molly. You don't want to miss the spelling quiz. Okay, class. I hope you had a delicious lunch, and now you can concentrate, Molly. Yeah, except for my tongue is still on fire from that jalapeno. I'm not going to do good on this quiz. Of course you'll do fine, Daisy. Don't stress about it. Okay, guys. I need you to put your name at the top of your paper, please. Um, what if you don't know your name? Molly, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> what was my name again? Molly. Thank you. All right, guys. The first word I want you to spell is hippopotamus. Hippopotamus? How about just hippo for short? No, Molly. Hippopotamus. Oh, guacamole. This is some... Speaking of guacamole, I was going to say this is a hard test, but... But, ooh. This is it kind of feels weird. Really? Are you okay? I don't know. My stomach feels kind of weird. Um, uh, 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 um, uh, Mrs. P, Molly doesn't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, Molly, do you need to use the bathroom? Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Ew, Molly, that smells horrible. She always gets like this when she eats bean burritos. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it to the bathroom. Holy guacamole! Too much guacamole! Too many jalapenos. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, 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 oh boy! Oh boy! Wait, did I just see somebody run by the bathroom? Why is it that every single time I have to go to the bathroom, someone always comes in? Nobody was even in here. Is somebody in here? Um, whoa! Something smells horrible. Of course, something smells horrible. You're in a bathroom, Molly. Is that you? Who, me? No, that's not Molly. Molly's not in class. <laughs> Molly's not even here. Um, okay, well, good luck. Get out! Please! Jalapeno! Have mercy on me! Why did I eat that spicy bean burrito? Why? <laughs> oh. oh, 
Okay. Why won't the toilet flush? Why won't the toilet flush? Oh, come on, toilet! Flush! Oh, great. The toilet's broken! Just what I needed! Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, wait a minute. No, I think it's gonna flush. Oh, thank goodness! Wait a minute. Why is water coming out of the top of the toilet? Holy guacamole! Water is pouring out of the toilet! Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Is anybody in here? Um, is there anybody else in the other stalls? No! Okay, nobody knows I did it. All right, I'll just go back to class and act like nothing just happened. <laughs> yeah, I didn't just flood the bathroom. Nope, not Molly. Not me. Molly, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What are you talking about? Well, Molly, you were up in the bathroom for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I wasn't in the bathroom. I was still hungry. I went to the cafeteria and got another spicy bean burrito with jalapenos. Uh, Molly... Teacher's gonna be back soon. You better finish your spelling test. Uh, okay, but I don't even know the words. Well, maybe you shouldn't have eaten so many. What's that dripping from the ceiling? What are you talking about, trips the ceil from the ceiling? Oh my god! I think the school's about to flood! Huh? What? From where? I don't know, but the toilets are right above this room, so maybe it's from the bathroom? Ew! Toilet water! Uh-oh! Gee, I don't know how the toilets could be flooding! <laughs> Um, how would that even occur? Um, okay, everybody, we have a sanitation problem. Doo-doo water is actually coming down through the ceiling, and we need to, uh, have early dismissal today. Janitor Ron, are you sure it's from the toilets? Definitely. The bathroom is right over this classroom. Somebody must have blown up one of those toilets. I told the lunch lady not to serve those spicy bean burritos. Ah, oh, I don't know what he's talking about. I was just fine. Buddy. Did you flood the... Dizzy, I didn't do anything. Come on, early dismissal. Yay! Everybody, let's go home. They should be thanking me. I got them out of school early. What? Nothing. Molly, are you sure you're all right? Your stomach was really upsetting you. No! <laughs> what are you even talking about? That was just so I could go back and get more bean burritos. I just told you guys that. Okay, Molly, if you say so. Hey, Molly. Hi, Daisy. Mom, could Brookie come with us? Of course, Brookie. You're more than welcome. Could you believe it? I had to finish my spelling test, and, and then it didn't even get graded. Daisy's having a really bad day. Oh, well, how's your day going, Molly? Um, uh, it was just an ordinary day, Mom. I had a bean burrito, and then school got dismissed. Wow, sounds eventful. Molly had a really bad stomachache. I think she may have blown up the... Daisy, be quiet! Wow, somebody's a little grumpy today. It's okay, they fight like this all the time, Mrs. A. They're sisters. Don't I know it. Does anybody want to go get some french fries from McDonald's? No! <laughs> My stomach's just not feeling it today. All right, let's go home. You girls can play some Roblox. <coughs> Feels so good to be home. Really, Molly? Why? I don't know. I'm just glad I'm not at school anymore. Can't believe I destroyed the school bathroom. Oopsie! Or should I say, oopsie! <laughs> world mom what's for dinner i'm starving the lunch lady served hot dogs but she put sauerkraut on them so all i had was a bag of chips for lunch yeah you could have had an apple too but you didn't want it that's because my apple had a worm crawling out of it molly no it didn't you don't know you weren't there girls stop arguing please we're having tacos for dinner tacos i love tacos me too can we have bean burritos no, Molly, bean burritos make you fart. Everybody knows that. Just eat the taco. <laughs> Mom, can I watch some TV till dinner's ready? I suppose. Daisy, it is your turn to set the table. Okay, but Molly better do it tomorrow night. Don't worry. I'll make sure that you have to do it again. Molly! Girls, stop fighting, please. Hmm, where's my favorite TV program? Breaking news, breaking news. A hurricane is about to hit Brookhaven. Wait, what? We didn't see it coming because we're terrible at meteorology, but <laughs> good luck because there's no other meteorologists in all of Brookhaven. And this one's going to be a whopper of a storm. Molly, turn it up. I want to hear that. Your dad's out of town and, 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 
and he's gonna be trying to come back home. No one should leave their house. In two hours, the hurricane will start. Two hours? Mom, do we have the supplies we need? Oh my God, this is bad. Did you go to the grocery store today, Mom? Uh -huh. We're almost out of toilet paper. We're gonna be stuck in the house during a hur hurricane with no toilet paper. Um, no, I didn't get a chance to go to the grocery store today. I was too busy at my work. Ah! We're all gonna die. We don't have any toilet paper. Well, we have a uh, half a roll. Does anybody not realize that Daisy uses almost a half a roll every time she goes in the bathroom? Well, I mean, I just... I don't need to hear about it, Daisy. I'm just saying, Mom, we need to get over to Walmart and buy all of our hurricane supplies. First of all, I need to call your dad and tell him not to attempt to come home. I've got a bucket in case any of the house leaks. Daisy, this is a brand new house. Look at the ceiling. It looks amazing. It's not going to leak. But we could use that if we don't have enough toilet paper. Ew, Molly. Gross. All right, let me call your father and then we'll head out to Walmart. We need to hurry if the hurricane's going to be here in two hours. Hey, honey, I was just about to call you. My flight got canceled. Apparently, there's a giant hurricane that's about to hit Brookhaven. I know. I was just going to tell you, don't get on the plane. None of the meteorologists saw it coming. Don't worry, honey. I'm going to miss you, and I want you to stay safe, but I'll stay safe here. Dad, I miss you. Also, bring toilet paper. What? What'd you say? She wants you to bring home some souvenir toilet paper. <laughs> uh, my daughter's so weird sometimes. I know. Wait, I got my stuffed hippo. Uh, I'm not afraid. Come on, baby Kira. We have to go to the store. I'm just going to pick you up on my shoulders, okay? Because I don't want you to get your pajamas wet. It's already starting to rain a little bit. Baby Kira, why are you always sitting on my head? She likes to ride piggyback that way. It's so weird. Come on, girls. Let's go get in the car and head out to Walmart. Whoa, Walmart is so crowded. That's because we're about to get a huge storm. Everybody needs to buy eggs and bread so they can eat tons of French toast. Ay, ay, yeah, yeah, Molly. Anyway, let's split up and see what we can find. I'm definitely going to look for the toilet paper. Toilet paper's a necessity. Molly, we need to buy non-perishable canned goods. Ooh, this fruit looks good. I can make some smoothies with this. Molly, stay focused. Canned goods. Ooh, this Fanta orange soda comes in a can. Definitely going to need some of that. And, ooh, is that the cherry kind? Ooh, it looks delicious. Uh, Matchmaker's Cool Mint. No. Ooh, chocolate. Definitely need that. Molly, seriously. Uh, sorry. I just thought of, I'm sort of stress eating, okay? Uh, look, Molly, they have, um, some different types of, uh, like, chips and, oh, can you get some beans, Molly? Molly, mom had that on the list, Molly. Okay, I got the beans. How about some cereal? Yeah, she probably will want some of that. Okay, do we want crunchy nut, uh, Rice Krispies, Corn Flakes, uh, Kit Kat cereal? Uh, that's not on the list, Molly. She said to get the Cheerios multi-grain. Family pack. Okay, got it. Wow, some of these shelves are cleared out already. It's because of the storm, Molly. Um, Daisy, the only kind of soup that's left is poop soup. Oh, my gosh, what's that made out of? I think it's made out of seagull poo. Ew, gross! Yeah, I wouldn't want to eat that if I were you. I guess we'll just make lots of chili with those beans. Well, we better start looking for some of the dog food and also the toilet paper. Oh, Jiminy Cricket, I almost forgot about the toilet paper. All right, I got the dog food. Can you get another package of it, though? Because one for Grace and one for Cleo. And also, I'm going to need some milk and butter. And what else? Oh, Molly, those aren't non-perishable. No, but they're making me hungry looking at them, so I'm going to eat them all. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's go check out. Molly, you forgot about the most important thing that you were stressing about? Ah, toilet paper! All right, let's go see if they have any. Oh, my God. The aisle with the toilet paper is empty! Molly, we could just go to CVS. Maybe they'll have some. They better. They really better. All right, let's put up all of our stuff onto the conveyor belt. Hi, how are you? Are you ready for the storm? That's why we're here, lady, getting ready for the storm. Um, did you get anything for the storm? It looks like you bought a lot of chips and stuff. Uh, yeah, I know, but, um, that's because we are gonna be really hungry and we need to have chips and juice and soda. And, but we got some of the stuff my mom asked for, like, like, like the, the cereal and stuff. Okay, well, as long as you got what was on your mom's list, be safe in the storm out there. Thank you. We hope we are. <sighs> we ever get home 
Hey, you're out of toilet paper, by the way. Yeah, I know. Everybody's been coming in and buying bread, milk, eggs, and toilet paper. Come on, Molly, let's go to CVS and see if they have toilet paper there. Molly, we have to hurry. The hurricane's gonna be here in 30 minutes. Okay, well, let's just go into the pharmacy and see if we can find some toilet paper. Uh, there's no toilet paper. Um, soap, uh, uh, oh my God, they're sold on a toilet paper. Uh, it's okay, Daisy. I, I, I figured this out. What, Molly, what is it? Diapers. Are you serious right now, Molly? Well, I mean, it works for baby Kira, and we really don't have a choice because we don't have any toilet paper, so we've all got to wear diapers through the entire storm. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, we'll buy every box that they have. Well, they only have two boxes, so, um, yeah, you're going to have to hold it a lot. I can't believe it. We're so unprepared. Mom's going to be very upset we didn't find toilet paper. Well, we found an alternative. That's all we can say. Molly? Oh, I'm so glad you made it back home. Yeah, um, did you get the toilet paper? Huh? 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 Um, no, but we got one better. <laughs> Who needs toilet paper when you got this? What are you wearing? It's a diaper. Uh, yeah, I told her this wasn't going to go over very well. Molly, we can't all wear diapers. Well, what do you want me to do? All of the toilet paper was sold out. Okay, well, diapers it is then. Oh. Wow, everybody wear diaper like babies. Ah, <laughs> oh, very funny, baby Kira. Well, let's just hope this storm passes quickly and we're all safe. Ow, mommy's already using a diaper. <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> Oh, boy, Molly. <sighs> Wait, they're, they're about to say something on the news. Breaking news, breaking news. Our meteorologists were wrong again. That hurricane is going to miss us. Just some light rain and then some sunshine this evening. Sunshine? It's 1030 at night. I mean, tomorrow. <laughs> I guess I'm not a very good news reporter. Our meteorologists and our news reporters are terrible here at Channel 16. Um, whoopsie. So, anyway, don't worry about that hurricane. Ugh, too late, because I already just used my diaper. Ew, Molly. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Acker. Your daughter, Molly, is so adorable. Aww. Thanks, Nurse Betty. But I have a question. Um, I was just wondering, uh, when is this baby fat going to go away? I thought once I had the baby, I wouldn't be fat anymore. But look at my stomach. My shirt doesn't even fit. Oh, honey, I think you look beautiful. Aww. I mean, I like the muffins that spill out of the can. That's the best. <laughs> He's not helping, is he? No, not at all! That wasn't a compliment! Sorry, I'm just saying, like, extra muffins are always super delicious. I mean, you know when you, like, put them in the baking tin and then they explode out and you get an extra big muffin? That's kind of like your tummy underneath your shirt right now. Oh my gosh, Dan! Ooh. Okay, I think you two are going to need a minute. But before that, I just want to say, your baby is super cute, but you have to make sure you know exactly how to take care of her. So, you guys know what to do, right? Because tonight's going to be your first night home alone with the baby. Yeah, we'll be fine, right, honey? Yeah, if I don't look like an extra fat muffin. Oh, but you're my cute little muffin, honey. Ah, ah. It's normal after a baby is born to feel a bit emotion. Oh, Mrs. Acker, everything's going to be fine. Now, let me see, baby Molly. I want to show you some things before you go home. If she cries, you can always try going shh, 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 shh. If that doesn't work, sometimes they like when you just give them a little pat, pat, pat like this. And if that still doesn't work, you can try driving them around in the car and listening to some Mozart mm. or gentle classical music. I was thinking more that I could listen to some, like, heavy metal. Yeah, you think she'd like that? Of course not, Dan. It would be way too harsh for the baby's ears. Well, whatever you do, just make sure the music isn't too loud. Now, when you swaddle her and put her in the crib, you definitely want to make sure that um, the blanket is not, like, over her face or anything like that. 
And, um, you know, you just want to make sure that she's wrapped up tight. I like to call her a baby burrito. Any questions, Mrs. Sacker? No, no questions. I... I'm just a little nervous, but... Don't worry, honey. I'm taking notes. Everything will be fine. All right. Well, let's head out to your car and make sure you know how to put the baby in the car seat. I'll be out there in a minute. I just have to check on a couple of other patients. One minute, 37 seconds later. Dan, I can't believe you brought the police work car to pick us up. Well, uh, my car's in the shop, but look it. <laughs> I can flash the sirens. It'll be a big deal. We can be like, honk, honk, we had a baby. Uh, if you say so, Dan. I, I know you're still mad at me about calling you a chubby muffin, but I love you and don't get mad at me, okay? I'm just a little stressed. We're bringing our first baby home. It's okay, Dan. Aw, we're holding hands. I know. I love you so much. Many, many minutes later. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Acker, did you forget something? No, I remembered my overnight bag. I think we're okay. How about your new baby daughter? Oh my god, we forgot the baby! Oh, we're gonna be terrible parents! Don't worry, this happens more than you think. Now, come on, let's see about putting her in the car seat the proper way. Welcome home, baby Molly. We're so excited to be your parents. Yeah, sweet little girl, you're so adorable. All right, come on, this is your new house. Welcome home. There's a nice fire going, so you're nice and cozy. Ugh, oh, I'm still so hungry. Honey, it's okay. It's okay if you're my chubby little mom. Ah, stop calling me a chubby muffin. Oh, no, she's crying. What do we do? What do we do? Wait a minute. What did Nurse Betty say? Oh, we could say like this. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sitting in the tie chair. That's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> Uh, Dan, that was pretty funny. You sat in the high chair. <laughs> oh, he said we could. She said we could pat her just slightly like this. Um, Dan, I think she might want to get down. Okay, baby. Do do you want to crawl around on the floor? Here you go. Maybe she wants a bottle. Let's try that. Here you go. Click, 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 click. She stopped crying. I think we did the right thing. Oh, thank goodness. Having this baby um, on the outside of the world instead of in my tummy is much harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, I'm so happy right now. Don't break the high chair, Dan. You're not supposed to dance on it. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that is for baby Molly. <laughs> Oh, sweet baby. What do you think she wants to do now? Probably just explore around the house, Dan, and see what there is to see. She's never been in her new home before. Uh, she's climbing the stairs. Is that bad? Yes, Dan. She's not supposed to climb the stairs. She's a baby. Oh, I think Jamie did that. No, the vacuum's not for you. I mean, someday you'll have chores, but not yet. I hope she loves doing chores. I doubt it. No kid ever likes doing chores. Oh, she found her bed and she's laying in it. That's such a good sign, right, Laura? Yeah, she can't go to bed yet. We have to give her her first bath. Oh, yeah, baby, you need to have a bath. Come on. Come with Daddy. Okay, baby Molly, come on. Oh, wait, honey, Ooh, we didn't buy a baby bathtub. What are we going to do? Um, well, we could give her a shower. She's a baby. We can't give her a shower. Um, well, I guess we could bathe her in the sink. Isn't that what our parents did with us? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, baby Molly, come here, honey. We're going to give you a bath in the sink. Your very first bath. I feel like she's getting caught in my stomach fat. Oh, honey, don't be ridiculous. Oh, whoa, yeah, she kind of is. <laughs> um, yeah, this baby weight thing is ridiculous. I did buy it. Oh, did you give me? Yeah. Oh, sweet girl. Oh, is the water too cold? Here you go. I'll make it warmer. And here, here's your pacifier. 
She seems pretty happy about her first bath. She totally does. She's adorable, honey. <laughs> I'm so glad we decided to have kids. Me too. Oh, look at the baby in her little crib. Honey, are you filming this? Of course I am. This is a magical moment. Her first night sleeping in her very own bed. I don't know what they were talking about when they said kids keep you up all night. Look at ours. She's a perfect little angel. Okay, sweetheart. Sweet dreams. Okay. Oh, man, I'm super tired. Tell me about it. I just had a baby. What's wrong, baby Molly? Shh, shh, shh. There, there. Here's your pacifier. All right, go back to sleep, sweetheart. One minute, 37 seconds later. <coughs> Don't worry, honey. I'll get her this time. Thanks, Dan. Oh, maybe they were right about this baby waking up. No, no, no. It's only been twice. She just needs a little help going to sleep. La, la, la. Daddy's here. Go to sleep, little baby. See, she's going to be totally fine. Oh, my God. This baby has kept us up all night. I'm pretty sure our baby is a demon! What? No, she. this is just how normal babies are. I know you were an only child. Well, except for your sister, but, you know, she didn't come later. Later, and then... What are you talking about? My sister is my twin. Yeah, but she came later. You were born first, so you're sort of an only child. Dan, I think you have absolutely lack of sleep going on right now. Because that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Um, <laughs> sorry, I get really goofy when I'm tired. <laughs> Can we talk about the fact that our baby is a demon? What? No, no, honey, you're just sleep deprived. She's not actually a demon. Here, I'll show you. She looks like a demon! I see a demon face! <laughs> see? It's our sweet little baby, Molly. Yeah, except for when she wakes us up all night long, she's sort of a demon. I think you can play die if you love mama. What a demon say your name? Did she seriously just say my name? Oh my god, that's amazing! Oh, sweet little baby. I don't care how many times you wake me up in the night. Oh, that's so, so sweet. So you want to have more kids after this one? No, absolutely not. I was thinking we could have three or four. No, just one. <laughs> You'll change your mind. Trust me. I get your body. I think it's a bubble, yeah, mama. <laughs>
The color green! Unless, of course, you want to be a brain-eating zombie. Marty, did you hear that? That, 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 that sounds insane! What? <laughs> I think they must be joking. Is it April Fool's Day? No, Marty. It's not April Fool's Day. It's July! April Fool's Day happens in April! Okay, well, that can't be true. Every green plant in Brookhaven, if you touch it, will turn you into a zombie? That would be like the end of the universe! Yeah, well, I think it must be true because I saw it on the news. Nah, the news is full of fluff. And, um, I think it's a lot of... Oh, Marley, did you just fart? Yeah, it's a lot of doo-doo, that's what it is. Oh, boy, Marley, please tell me you won't touch the color green. Please! Hey, Molly, what's up? Are we playing some soccer? Hey, Brookie, nice to see you. Did you see the news? Uh, no, I never watch the news. It bores me so much. Me too. So, you didn't hear anything weird going on in Brookhaven? No, not at all. Wanna hang out? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me just go put my bike over there in the grass. Um, I don't think I should touch the... Uh, don't, don't touch the... Oh, don't be silly, Molly. That was just a prank. Oh, wow. I don't feel so good. Uh... Brookie? Oh, my God. It wasn't a prank. Molly, how could you? The news was telling the truth. Uh, don't look now, but our BFF is having some major problems. <laughs> brains. Give me all your brains. Yeah, I should say so. Poor Brookie. I never thought that it would come to this. Well, as long as we don't touch the color green, everything should be fine, right, Daisy? Yeah, exactly. We can avoid the color green, like, forever, right? Yeah, totally. So sad. I lost my best friend to the zombie apocalypse. Molly, your shirt! It has green on it! A little green alien! Huh, what? Ah! Oh my god. So is it everything green? Because I've been touching this the whole time and I'm not a zombie. Oh, maybe it's just the plants and the trees and everything living, so your shirt is okay. Oh, hopefully the whole town isn't a zombie yet. I'm gonna go out and take a look. Okay, the door won't open now. <laughs> Unlock! Oh, I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a cupcake. What a stressful day! Ooh, look at that green apple. That looks delicious. No! Don't touch that! Didn't you watch the news? What? No, I'm starving. Ah! You're touching the color green! Oh my gosh, you're gonna turn into a zombie. What are you talking about? I think this apple tastes fine. Ugh, my stomach kind of hurts now. I guess I wasn't that hungry. Here you go, you can have it. Oh, ah! Why did I catch that? Oh my god, no, no, no! Oh, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh, it's happening, isn't it? I'm gonna turn into a zombie! Brains, brains. I can't get, I get up off the ground. I'm a lazy zombie. Ugh, so much like my human self. Molly? No! Molly, not you too! My sister! No! Molly, you stay back. Stay back for me, Molly. Uh, I want to eat your brain, sister. I am so hungry. I better go to my science lab. Try to reverse this horrible potion. Molly, please! Oh no! Brains! Wanna eat your brains? Let me in! Don't you want a nice delicious cupcake, Molly? You love cupcakes! Yes! Brain cupcakes! Stop saying brains! Brains! Wow, you even annoying as a zombie. Go figure. I've been working night and day for an entire week. But I think I know how to reverse the zombie apocalypse that's happening. All I have to do is mix up this potion, and I should be able to cure all of Brookhaven by putting a few drops in the water source. I just hope I'm not too late for my sister Molly. As annoying as she is, she's more annoying wanting to eat my brains. City of Brookhaven, don't worry. Scientist Daisy will cure you all. I'm uh-oh. Did I just touch the color green? Oh, no! I've doomed all of Brookhaven! It's happening. It's happening! 
All of Brookhaven is now zombified. Brains. I want brains. Huh? What? what? What's going on? Where am I? This doesn't look like my bedroom at all. Whose room is this? Whoa, look at that dollhouse. That's a pretty amazing dollhouse. Molly, what, what happened? Where, where are we? We're in someone else's room, and it looks like they really have a giant amount of toys and a dollhouse, too. Oh my gosh, Molly, we're shrunk down. This means we have to escape this dollhouse. I just know it. Come on, Molly. Guys, if you didn't know this already, my sister Daisy broke her wrist, and that's why she's wearing a cast right now. Yeah, but I'm still better with Abby's than Molly. <laughs> well, look, we're shrunk down to like little doll size, so now we can escape through here. Whoa, did you see that, Molly? Yeah. Whoa, the floor's missing. Can we go in one of these doors? Wouldn't that be amazing? I want to see what's in these doors. Let me in here. Okay, there's nothing in there. Or they're locked, so you can't go in. Probably locked. There's secrets in this dollhouse. This way to Darling's Dollhouse. Okay, there's someone named Darling, I guess. Whoa, Molly, look at this place. It's like she's having a giant tea party. This reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. It's kind of cray-cray. Couldn't agree more, Molly, couldn't agree more. Oh, here's a teapot. And um, there's a, a giant spoon to stir the tea. What if you want to have um cupcakes with your tea? I don't know, Molly, I don't think there is cupcakes. Well, this is the worst tea party I've ever been to. <laughs> Here's all the stuffed animals she invited to her tea party. Okay, darling, your room is adorable. Guys, this obby is pretty different. It's kind of cool. Like I said, it's like you've been dropped down the rabbit hole into Alice in Wonderland or something. I like it, though. I think it's pretty cool, too, Molly. It's very different. There's lava in here, though. No, Molly, that's bubbling tea. Oh, no. Look at this clown. Oh, he's so sad. Because he got dropped into the tea. Oh my gosh, I just touched it. OMG. Oh no, he's a jack in the box. Okay, I see now. I thought he was just like a regular clown, but now he's a jack in the box. And there's one over here too, Daisy. They are jack in the boxes. Um, I'm not sure if they look sad or angry. Maybe a little bit of both. They don't like being in the hot lava. All right, it says, oh my gosh, it's like Candyland in here. Chocolate in the center. Mm. This is the most delicious hobby ever. Molly, those might be booby trapped. They might be, but I kind of don't care. Darling's dollhouse, one mile ahead. Hurry, Molly, don't get hit by those giant lollipops or whatever. Ooh, look at those. Mm. Those chocolates look delicious. Molly, stop eating everything and run. <laughs> Why is this an hobby you'd ever want to escape? Something tells me Darling is not as darling as she seems. Maybe, but ooh, bonbon's my favorite. Hit the checkpoint, Molly, and let's make it through this next part. Come on, Daisy, let's go. All right, neither one of us died. That was amazing. Yeah, especially for you, noob. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my gosh, I just died. I spoke too soon. Oopsie. It's all right. I can make it this time. I'm sure of it. You just have to like time it exactly right. Wait a minute. I Did I go the wrong way? Follow the big arrows, Molly. And also look for your sister. Okay, running. Wow, here it is, Darling's Dollhouse. Oh my gosh, it really is Darling. Welcome to Darling's Dollhouse. So it's like a dollhouse within a dollhouse. She lives down here in Wonderland. And she's well... Creepy! Holy guacamole! Hello, welcome to my dollhouse. Does she have button eyes, Molly? Um, yes. But she's also got candy in her hair, so I feel like we could be friends. Guys, if you want to give um, Darling a gift, you could give her tacos or you could vomit on her. You know, those are the two options in this game. Wow, well, Molly, Darling might be evil. I haven't decided yet. Yeah. Um, okay, it says Darling's um, hide and seek game. Find three buttons to open the door. Find three buttons to open the door. Hide and seek. Where are you? Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh. What's this mean? <laughs> I'm finding you, and now I'm chasing you. And if I catch you, you'll probably need to die. Okay, yeah, she's definitely evil. Remember when we said, I wonder if she's evil? Yep, she's evil. OMG, I knew she'd be evil. 
All right, I'm not sure I know where the other buttons are. Oh, wait, I think there's a button down there. All right, there's another button. Oh my gosh, she comes down out of the ceiling every single time. Where are the other buttons? I think that might be one up here, Molly. Um, is she right? Is she right? No, I already did that one, Daisy. Oh my gosh. I don't know where the third button is, guys. I'm just running around in circles. Well, there's that button. Maybe if I go inside this room? I don't know. What's in here? Oh, it's her, it's her bedroom. It's just every single picture is of her. She might be a little bit conceited, just a little. Do any of these doors open? No, they're all locked. Guys, I don't know where the third button is. I really don't. Molly, follow me. I'll help you. There you are, Daisy. I was wondering when you were going to come rescue me and be good at the game when I'm not. Oh, that's just my job, Molly. No, no, no. I pushed that button, Daisy. Um, yeah, she's stuck there being crazy. Okay, let me show you the other buttons then. If you already pushed that one. Okay, and I pushed that one, Daisy. Where's the other button? Daisy, where'd you go? Daisy disappeared. She's like, I'm right here, Molly Jeebles. Okay, yeah, I also pushed this one. But then you pushed out three of them, you crazy loony tunes. <laughs> but wait, no, one of them's not. It just says red. I can't get through. I All of the buttons are green. All right, let me try pushing them again because that's weird. This is definitely a glitch in the game for me, guys. All right, I pushed this one. I pushed that one. Okay. Oh, wait, it opened. But it was already green. Isn't that weird? Come on, Molly. Who cares? Let's just escape, darling. She's, well, she's evil. She's not very darling at all. I know, darling. <laughs> Stop saying darling, Molly. OMG, it's like a giant Ferris wheel. Yes, please. Oh, okay, wait a minute. I think you've got to jump on it and then keep jumping or something, Daisy. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Ooh. This is hard. This is very hard, I don't get it. What am I supposed to do now? Jump it just the way time, Molly. Oh boy, well this is gonna take me forever. Everybody knows I don't know when to jump at the right time. Does anybody else think these look like a corn dog? Or is it just me? It's just you, Molly. Maybe now? 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 Ooh. Now? No. <laughs> Can I buy the tacos now, Daisy? No, Molly, you can't buy the tacos. Why? I need tacos. Tacos are delicious. Tacos make me feel better. I need the tacos! Wait, I think I just made it to the next part. Oh, yeah, I did. This part is very difficult, guys. Very. But, oh, man! I almost made it, but I, not really. You almost made it, but not really, huh, Molly? Yeah, almost, but not really. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. I always do, right, guys? I think. I hope. Ooh. Oh, man. Ah! I'm gonna be here forever, forever and ever. I don't understand this part. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I almost made it. It's like, you have to time it exactly perfectly or, you know, you die, pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna walk out to the very edge and then hopefully, Ooh. ah, no. All right, how much does it cost to skip a stage? Just asking. Would you like to skip to the next checkpoint? Yes, how much do you want? 25 Robux? Worth it! Goodbye, people. Wow, you finally decided to show up, huh? And you had to cheat. Yeah, but I got a skipper award. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I like the skipper awards. Oh my gosh, this axe is trying to kill me right now? This seems like a little bit crazy town. Whoa, oh my gosh. Oh, they can't get me right here. Okay, good. Holy moly. Holy moly! Holy macaroni! <laughs> Holy cheesy macaroni! Ay, yeah, yeah. My sister's crazy. Yeah, this game is making me crazy. Whoa, so much spinning around. And don't look now, but there's another half moon that's an axe. This darling is, well, she's nuts. Just gonna say it. All right, Daisy, uh, wait. Oh my gosh, she didn't wait. Daisy, you're gonna die. I didn't die, Molly, see? Look at all the balloons, it's like a party. A uh, kill us party, I guess. I love the next um levels that you go through. I think they're so awesome. Oh, wait a minute. I got an, a, a friend award. Why did I get a friend award? I don't know. I'm Darling's friend, I guess? Maybe it's because we're playing together. We're not friends. We're sisters. We also can be friends, Molly. No, not a chance. All right, you got to jump on the couch like this. Trust me, I do this all the time at home. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to either, Molly. Well, I know, but I'm just good at jumping on the couch, so I know what I'm doing here. Oh, no! This is crazy! I love this hobby. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, this part's making me dizzy. You guys, if you play this game, it might make you dizzy. Just saying. Wee! All right, now I'm going to jump on the bed. Maybe. 
Okay, now, I, yes, now I have to go. Right now, right now. Oh my gosh, people. Ah, no, no, no. Yes. Ah, oh, I almost made it. And uh, then I almost died. And then I made it. And oh God, checkpoint. Good job, Molly. You sound really stressed out. Let me off your crazy ride, teddy bear. Ooh. Oh man, I died. All right, I'm back out of the crazy teddy bear again. Oh yeah, I made it to the next checkpoint. Thank goodness, this is difficult. Like I said, guys, this part's gonna make you dizzy. This game developer was definitely inspired by Alice in Wonderland. And if you guys didn't know, I love Alice in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, destroy darling. I think we're at the end of this epic battle, guys. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun! I'm sorry about this, darling, but I have to shoot these pieces of gumballs at you. It's okay, though. She's just sort of standing there. No, she's trying to kill you with a sweet shwee. Oh, really? Like, that's just kind of sad. Oh, man. She tried to take me down with a donut. Daisy, did you die? Well, I don't want to tell you if I lived or died because I make you feel bad. Ooh, Daisy, I might actually beat you this time. Oh, my gosh. But everybody knows that you can escape chocolates and donuts and candy. It's just how you are. Well, she does have a point there, guys. Oh, I'm not shooting at her right now. I'm not shooting at anything. Get, get away from me, gumdrops. Guys, I don't even like gumdrops. That's why she's trying to kill you with them. Yeah, she's real like that. Oh, my gosh. She got me, guys. Or did I get her? I'm not really sure. Uh-oh. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. She's a psycho. What? Oh, no. I got her with the chandelier. Now I'm doing the chicken dance. Poor darling Dolly. Well, she was evil. It had to happen. Come on, Molly. Let's try to get out of here. Well, we can try, but I can't promise I know my way out of here. This place is crazy. Wait, I think I see an exit. Oh, my gosh. We made it. Yes. Oh, wait. Back to the start. Whoa. No, thank you. That doll was crazy down yeah she was molly totally hey guys thanks so much for watching my channel today don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more fun games like this one where daisy and i play together that's a wait guys and um thank you for all the the well wishes in the comments because they broke my wish that was so nice of you yeah guys that really was nice of you <coughs> i'm coughing are you sick molly we can't both be sick at the same time and i'm currently the one with the broken wrist no 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 no, no. <coughs> i just i swallowed a bug ew gross <laughs> happens sometimes when you talk too much uh, i'll go eat a donut and wash it down it'll be fine ew gross molly make me want to puke guys thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time bye <laughs>
You've got a point there, Brookie. Okay, Brookie, um, can unicorns have muffins or cupcakes or whatever? Sure we can. I mean, I think. I've never been a unicorn before. You probably want sparkles on yours, right? Lots of sprinkles and sparkles on mine, please. I'm really thirsty, though. I didn't know unicorns drink so much water. <laughs> well, unicorns are part horse, so... True, Molly. They're like magical horses. Still can't believe my BFF turned into a unicorn. This is the craziest day of my life. Here we go, unicorn brookie. Freshly baked um, muffin cupcake things. Uh, Molly, they don't have any frosting. Did you forget to frost them? Well, to be honest, I'm kind of too hungry to wait to frost them. Mm, these are delicious. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Molly? Oh my god, Molly, they cloned you! No, this is just my evil opposite twin, Polly. Ooh, these look delicious. I'm taking them all. Polly! No, you're not! I didn't even give my friend the unicorn one yet. What'd you say? Unicorn? Who's a unicorn? Nobody. Nobody's a unicorn. Don't don't look at her horn. Um, I turned into a unicorn. Oh! <laughs> well, I just think maybe you should be my unicorn. What? No! Come here, Molly. I want to show you something. Come on in your room. What, Polly? I feel like I feel like this isn't a good idea. No, follow me if you want all these delicious muffins. Okay. Um, but um, P Polly, where are you going? Polly! Polly, open the door! Oh my God, Polly tricked me! Polly! Hey, what'd you do with Molly? Um, I am Molly. Polly left. Oh, okay, Molly. Well, come on. Let's go give you all of your wishes. <laughs> Actually, I have another idea. Alakazam! Alakazee! Now, little unicorn, you belong to me. What? Well, what's happening? Molly, why are you doing this to me? Molly! <laughs> now you belong to me, little unicorn, and you have to do all of my wishes. The first thing I'm going to wish for is that Molly's stuck in her room forever. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're not Molly? No, I don't I don't want to make her stuck in her room forever. You have to do it. Go over to the door and lock it forever. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry about this, Molly. Brookie, let me out of here. I can't, Molly. She she put a spell on me, your evil opposite twin, and, and now I have to lock you in your room forever. What? No, I need to have cupcakes. I mean, these ones won't last me here forever. How are you going to lock me in here forever? I'm, I'm going to be hungry. I'm sorry, Molly. <laughs> it's not my fault. Oh, good morning, Marley. Whoa, Brookie Cookie, what happened to you? Don't talk to my unicorn. Wait, what, Marley? Brookie Cookie turned into a unicorn and you didn't tell me? Well, I'm telling you now, bratty sister. Molly, what has got into you? You shouldn't be talking to me that way. Oh, Daisy, I, I, I... Hey, unicorn, no talking. Molly, that is rude to talk to your friend Boogie Cookie like that. Why are you doing that? Because now she belongs to me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I must have missed something here. What is going on? Um, well, you see, um... Hey, quiet, unicorn. Okay. Molly, what's good guy? <laughs> well, you see, Brookie Cookie got turned into a unicorn. Uh, yeah, I gathered that. And now she grants all of my wishes. Brookie, Brookie, do you want to um grant all of her wishes? Um, not really. Hey, unicorn! You will say, yes, I want to grant all Molly's wishes from now on. Um, I want to... Wait a minute! No! I didn't mean Molly. What's going on, Hugh? Molly, is that you or did an alien abduct you? She, She's not... Hey, quiet! I, from now on, will grant all of my master's wishes. I, from now on, will grant all of my master's wishes. Oh, boy, this isn't good. Molly, if you aren't nicer to her, I'm telling at you. Okay, I see that my sister Daisy is going to be a problem here. So, I'm going to have to get rid of her. 
What do you mean, Molly? Get rid of me. Are you serious right now? I've really had it with you, Molly. I'm so sorry about this, Pookie. Don't worry, I'll make it better. Oh, Daisy, I, I think you've done the wrong thing here. What? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, unicorn. Put her in the underwater prison. What? What? Molly? What's happening? <laughs> now you're stuck in the underwater prison forever. Molly, how could you? <laughs> Who's Molly? What? What are you talking about? I'm her evil opposite twin, Polly. And now you're stuck in this underwater prison forever. <laughs> crying right now because that was the best netflix series ever <laughs> uh okay but why are you crying if it was the best series ever because now it's over and i don't want it to be over i want more episodes and 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 uh, how will i know if wednesday is okay well, we have to wait till next season. But don't worry, Molly. There's this amazing new episode of Brook High. Who cares about Brook High? I want to watch Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Well, maybe we could talk about the series. And that will make it so you don't miss it so much. Yeah. Okay. I loved Enid. I think her and Wednesday are more alike than anyone realizes. What? What are you talking about? They're like total opposites. Molly, they remind me of me and you a lot, actually. Well, we're nothing alike. Well, we're sort of alike in some ways. No, we're not. We're nothing alike. Um, but I am kind of like a Wednesday. Well, I feel like I'm like Enid. Well, I'm just saying that we're nothing alike. I think we're a lot more alike than you think we are. And I dare you to do a morning routine tomorrow with me where I'm Enid and you're Wednesday. And I'll show you how much alike we are. And I'll show you how much we're not alike. Well, Molly, are you going to take the dare? Yeah, absolutely. Wednesday, wake up! No, what? Who is she calling Wednesday? Is she calling crazy? Huh? What? Wednesday, it's me, Enid! Molly, wake up! You're supposed to be Wednesday this morning, remember? Huh? Oh, what? I thought you were just kidding about that. <sighs> Molly, come on! You took the deal! Do you want to lose? Huh? What? No? Huh? Just give me five minutes, okay? You won't be Wednesday in five minutes. You could never. Oh, yeah? Watch me. Well, oh, I have five minutes to be Wednesday, so that means four of those I can go back to sleep. Okay, I've got to be Wednesday. Got to wake up. Got to be Wednesday. Ha, ha, ha. Look at me. I am so ready for this Wednesday morning routine. Oh, Wednesday! It's time to get ready for school! Enid, where are you? Your chipper self is annoying me right now. You're too happy in the morning. I'm just down making a delicious breakfast with rainbow sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles? Seriously? Ugh, her cheer is starting to get on my nerves. I may have to kill you today. Whoa, why are you so short? Why are you so tall? Whoa, what's a thing on your head? Uh, duh, this is my little friend named Thing. He's a severed hand. Be careful, let her drip blood on you. Um, oh, um, gee, that's disgusting. I can't believe you're my actual roommate. I just drank a ton of coffee, so I hope my werewolf doesn't come out. What do you have for breakfast? The souls of my enemies. <laughs> you're being serious right now? Yeah, totally. And right now, you're my enemy. 
Okay, well, let's get going to school. Um, whatever you have for breakfast, I hope it's a good one. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and collect my books and stuff. I don't need books. I remember everything. I have like a photographic memory of everything that's ever happened to me in my entire life. I've gotta brush my teeth because, you know, I like to have the most shiniest and sharpest teeth. Sharp teeth? What, what are you talking about, Wednesday? Oh, uh, I just I just sharpen my teeth up with some uh, with some rock toothpaste in the morning. What? What are you talking about? No, seriously, I do. Because if I ever have to bite somebody in a fight, I want to make sure that my teeth are like vampires. You know, vampires go to a school, right? Uh huh. Molly, are you still pretending you're Wednesday? Who's Molly? What do you think? I have split personalities or something? <laughs> la 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 la. Ah! But you have an axe for Wednesday! In case we run into that monster in the woods on the way to school. I plan on taking the school bus. The school bus? Are you serious? I would rather die! Oh, okay. Well, we don't have to take the school bus if you don't want to, but everybody's so friendly. You'd really like the other werewolves. I barely like the one in front of me. Wow. My roommate is kind of rude. Yeah, don't you think she's nothing like you at all? No, I'm sure we have some similarities, and I'm going to find them. I'll be down in a few minutes. I have to do my month, my morning journal. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Oh, I definitely need a latte. Today, I found out I have the most annoying roommate ever. Her name is Eden. Enid. Enith? Edith? I don't know. I think it's Enid. But she is definitely a demon. She's so friendly and nice and, oh, I swear she poops rainbows. Now I have to go to school, so I'll talk to you later, journal. I know, thing. I don't like going to public education either. It's just a prison for our brains. A prison! Uh, Molly, why do you have a giant umbrella? It's not even raining. Because I don't want the evil sun to touch my skin. It might burn me! Molly, getting some sunshine every day is good for you. Look how cheery it makes me! Yep, definitely need the umbrella then. Wednesday, this is not the way to school. I told you, I have to hunt down that monster. I don't recall you saying that. Well, I have to, Enid. The safety of Nevermore and all of our town is, is, is at risk. This is not our responsibility. We should tell the teachers at Nevermore. Blah, 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 blah. What are you, chicken? Absolutely. I haven't even turned into my werewolf form yet. Well, no time like the present. Come on. I think I found its cave. I'm not a very good swimmer. You'll be fine. Come on. What's that? <laughs> um, uh, Wednesday, I, I agree with you, Molly. You win. They're nothing alike. I'm going to school. Enid, don't you dare run away. I'm, I'm going to need you. Enid! What a chicken. Okay, Hyde. It's you and me. Take that, Hyde. And that. And that. Oh! actually took down the hide. That was amazing. All right, I better get to that prison they call school. Wednesday, are you okay? Yes, Enid, I'm fine. And, uh, is that blood on your wax? What was that? Um, well, it's blood of the hide. Oh my gosh, according to this, they've marked us as tardy. Oh! Don't worry, we're just a little late for school. The principal won't care, right? She cares, Molly. She always cares. Wednesday Adams, Wednesday Adams, and her roommate Enid, please report to my office immediately. Oh, great. Now I'm going to get in trouble. Well, at least now we have that in common. Ugh! Wednesday, you're infuriating! <laughs> you said you wanted something in common with me, and now you have it. Well, well, well. Look who decided to show up to school. Why are you late? Uh, Bally, I wouldn't tell her the truth. Well, I was busy killing the hide, see? With my axe here. <gasps> what are you talking about? That is very dangerous. You both shall have detention for a month. What? I can't have detention for a month. I have to go to werewolf camp every night. My mom said so. Well, you'll have to be suspended from werewolf camp for the month. Ugh! 
Wednesday! You're so fluctuating! So, you still want to be my roommate? I can't believe this. And guess what? We didn't even do this morning routine right. What? What are you talking about? Thing? Snap your fingers! If we're going to do a morning routine, then we have to do it in our room at Nevermore. Ah, look at my beautiful side of the room. And then look at Enid's. Ugh, she's so annoying. <laughs> What did you say, Molly? I, I can't hear you. Sorry, my mom's running the vacuum right now, but I was wondering, do you want to come over and hang out? We could watch TV, play Roblox, do something. Molly, who are you talking to? Uh, hold on. Uh, Mom, it's Brookie. I'm asking her if she wants to come over right now. Molly, she can't come over right now. You didn't do your chores. Molly, did you forget to do your chores again? Uh, yeah, Brookie, but I'm going to do them real quick and then you can come over. Right, Mom? Yes, Molly, if you get your chores done, Brookie can come over. Did you hear that? I'll hurry up and get them done and meet me here in 30 minutes. Okay, Molly, see you then. Bye! Molly, the dishes need to be done, please. La, 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 la. Okay, fine. Oh, I hate doing the dishes. But remember, if you want your friend to come over, you have to do them. <laughs> My sister is so annoying sometimes. Dizzy, how many forks do you need to eat with a day? Uh, I don't know. Why? Because there's like a million forks in the sink, and, and, and I'm just wondering, are you making forks just so I have to wash them? Well, you quit being so grumpy about doing the dishes or Brookie's not coming over. Okay, fine. La, 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 la. I hate doing chores. La, 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 la. <laughs> watching some book eye. Molly, are you finishing your chores? Can I believe my eyes right now? I know. It was terrible. Thank goodness it's over. Don't forget to turn the water off, Molly. You don't want to flood the whole house. Yeah, Molly. <laughs> Good job, Molly. Can't believe you actually did your chores. Me either. I'm exhausted. Let's watch some TV before we do anything else. Breaking news, breaking news. We interrupt your book eye to bring you breaking news. Oh, man. They interrupted Brooke High? Well, it must be important, Molly. Shh, guys, let's listen. We wanted to tell you that there is an alarming number of children that need adoption in the adoption center downtown. Please, we can't keep up with all the food and diapers and everything these children need. Uh, some people need to come and adopt. Do it right now. And now back to Brooke High. Whoa, did you hear that? Maybe we need to adopt somebody. Molly, we can't. We're not old enough. Let's just go look. I mean, maybe they have a puppy or something. I think it's kids that they're talking about, Molly. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. Let's just go look. Maybe maybe we can get, like, a little another little sister or something. Or maybe an older sister, and she can do all our chores. <laughs> that sounds like a perfect plan. Oh, Molly, sometimes you're so evil. Brookie, what are you doing? Brookie just jumped off the side of the building. She's like Spider-Man or something. Last one to the adoption center is a rotten egg. Ugh. But we could actually just go to Starbucks Coffee instead. Molly, you said you wanted to go. Yeah, but I guess Daisy didn't because she didn't follow us. Well, I guess she's not interested in adopting a kid today. I guess not. Hi, how can I help you today? Are you here to adopt someone? Um, well, we're here to find out. Mm, I'm looking for an older sister that can do all my chores. Sorry. Um, we have one child left. Really? Wow! Everybody came and adopted? Yeah, it was pretty amazing. The citizens of Brookhaven are so cool. Yeah, sounds it. So, who needs adoption? It's actually a little boy. He's standing over there. His name is Billy. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, Billy. Oh, hi. I'm Molly, and this is my friend Brookie. We're gonna adopt you, since you're the only kid left, and we don't want you to be here all alone. Really? You really are going to adopt me? Yeah, just don't tell my mom because I don't think she'd like me bringing home a baby brother without her noticing. Or even wanting a baby brother or whatever. Malene, what are you talking about? I don't think this is going very well. Maybe we should just go to the pet store. What? No, I want a baby brother. He's adorable. I mean, he needs a haircut, but he's so cute. I don't need a haircut. You're rude. I'm not normally rude. Okay, yeah, I am a little bit. I'm just saying I can't even see your eyes and your face, and you're probably adorable. Molly, leave him alone about his hair. He probably just likes it. 
Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to seem mean or anything. I'm saying all the wrong things. I'm just really nervous right now. It's okay. You can be my big sisters if you want. Really? Okay, we'll sign the paperwork. Okay, uh, give us the paperwork. We're gonna adopt this little boy. Um, wait, how old are you? Um, 30. <laughs> I'm just very short for my age. Uh, well, okay. Seems legit. Here's the paperwork. Okay, what's your name, please? Molly Acker. Molly Acker. Okay, okay, here's the paperwork. Just continue filling out everything else. I can't believe they don't have a computer to do this. I know, so old school. All right, here you go, all finished. Your application says you were born in 1994. That would make you 29, not 30. Are you lying to me? Oh, <laughs> no, it's just that my birthday's coming up in November, so I'm almost 30. Well, I guess you have a point. Molly, you need to pay attention in math class. Oh my gosh, your math is terrible. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, Billy, come on with us. Little new baby brother, you're gonna love your life. We eat a lot of cupcakes. Cool, mom's not home. She must have gone to the grocery store. Okay, Billy, this way. You have to stay in my room unless um, I tell you you can leave. And then, um, well, uh, it won't be for a little bit until I get the guts to tell my mom you're here and you've been adopted. Whoa, you have bunk beds? That's so cool. Thanks, um, but you're gonna have to sleep inside this cabinet so my mom doesn't see you. What, no way. I wanna sleep on the top bunk. That's my bed. Too bad, it's my bed now. <laughs> Where I'm telling your mom, doody, 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 doody head. Did he just call me what I think he called me? Doody head. Huh, rude. Billy, you will not call me a duty head. <laughs> you said duty head, duty head. Quit calling me duty head. You cannot say that or you're going to get a timeout. You're not my mom. You adopted me as a big sister. Big sisters aren't in charge. Everybody knows that. <laughs> this kid. Uh. Uh -huh. Ew, did you just fart up here? No, I didn't fart. Well, okay, it was me. <laughs> I claimed your bed, duty head. <laughs> ah, he farted in my bed. This kid is so annoying. Molly, I'm home. Oh, hi, Mom. I'm just going to go to bed now, but Boogie's going to spend the night, okay? Um, okay, don't you girls want a snack or anything? No, we're good. This kid has to go back to the adoption center. He's being very naughty. Seriously? I thought he was going to be the perfect baby brother. He just farted on my bed, and, and, and he called me a duty head. What? Yeah, I know, right? Molly, don't be too bummed. I know you wanted to adopt, but maybe a grown-up would be better off with Billy. He seems like he's got some things that he needs to, well, learn in life. And we're not old enough to teach him those things. What things? You're a duty head? <laughs> duty head, duty head, red head, duty head. Hey, my hair isn't totally red. It's more brown than red. And don't even try to argue with him. Just pull out your sleeping bag and try to fall asleep. Ugh. It's gonna be a long night with this kid. I just know it. Lights out, Billy! You said lights out. Just remember, you asked for this. What, for you to be quiet and stop calling me doo-doo head? No, this. Daisy, Brookie, whoever's in here. Um, Molly, Daisy's sleeping downstairs. And, um, what is that? It's Billy. He's... He's a stick figure. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the light. This is weird. Wait, did we just dream that, Molly? Um, I don't know, but did Billy also get taller? <laughs> I told you, don't ever turn off the lights. I don't know. This is all freaking me out. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna go to bed and pretend this isn't happening. And then tomorrow you're going back to get a new home, Billy. Oh, that's just the thing. You're adopting me, it means and it's permanent and final. Want me to turn off the light? Um, uh, uh. I'm going to, doo doo head. <laughs> ah, he's back to the stick figure again. Oh my God, and he's tall. Holy moly. And he's blinking at us and I'm just gonna go home now, Molly. Good luck. Brookie! OMG! <laughs> you adopted me, and now you're stuck with me, doo doo head! Why do you keep growing? Because I'm gonna take over Brookhaven, and then the world! <laughs> oh my god, he's getting bigger! 
And bigger and bigger. Wait a minute. If I just turn on the light, you can't be like this anymore. <laughs> you can't stay in life forever. <laughs> and then you're stuck with me taking over the world. There's only one thing left to do, and I'm going to have to do it. Mom! Molly, what's wrong? Why did Brookie go running out of here? What's happening? Mom, there's this thing that I did, and I'm really messed up, and I'm really sorry. I went to the adoption center, and I adopted a baby brother. I told him I was 30, but then I gave him the wrong date, and it said I was 29, but they still believe me, and... Wait, wait, what? Yeah, but it gets worse. It gets worse than you adopting a child behind my back and not telling me? Well, you're grounded for like ever. Yeah, I know, but then I found out that this this kid that I adopted isn't really a kid. It, it's an evil monster stick figure. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? That sounds ridiculous. It's not, Mom. Trust me. Come here. I'll show you. Billy! Billy! His name is Billy? Molly, there's nobody here. No, I mean, when you turn on the light, he looks like a normal boy. But when you turn the light off, he turns into this creepy stick figure guy. Molly, you have pranked me twice this week already. I have no choice but to ground you. But, Mom, it's true! Molly, a week of grounding, no texting, and no hanging out with Brookie. If you guys saw this right, tell my mom in the comment section below. Billy was here. Billy was here. Math class, one of my favorites. No, oh, I don't want to. There's too many days of school. Molly, we've been in school for two days. It's the beginning of the new school year. Already I want summer vacation again. Already. Uh, Molly, just try to collect the pencils if you're going to escape. Why? Because you're going to need to be homeschooled if you don't want to be schooled here. And you'll need the pencils. All right, I got one pencil. Is that good? Sure, Molly. Not really. You probably should just pay attention in math so you don't turn into an ignoramus. Congratulations! Now you can escape math class and get detention for the rest of the year. Well, that'll probably be my fate, but it'll be worth it. Can we sneak into the cafeteria before we go home, though? I heard today's pizza day, and I'm really hungry. Ay, 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 Molly. Ah, what are we going to do with you? <laughs> Think I'm the coolest girl in the whole world? No, Molly, math is important. You're right. Math is very important. Oh, but it hurts my brain. Um, okay. I didn't think that they were actually going to come out, but they did. Whee! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I died in the spikes. I mean, they put those fans there. Yeah, but it didn't work really good. It's asking me if I want to buy Robux. No, what I'd like to do is survive. <laughs> Can you help me do that? Whoa. Oh, no. No, guys, don't say that. think that I'm saying that math isn't important. Math is important. Pay attention in school, okay? This is just a role play on Roblox. Don't send me hate messages. So today we're going to pretend that we're going to escape math. Yeah, except for that time that you really did go to the cafeteria and get a piece of pizza, Molly. Don't even lie about it. Well, math makes me use a lot of brain cells. And that makes me really hungry. But I still did my homework. Yes, she did. After she ate all of her pizza, of course. Having a full stomach when you go to school is very important. Wait a minute, I missed the elevator somehow. A few hours later. Okay, I guess you gotta push the button while you're on the elevator. All right, there we go. Duh! Well, that was an ignorant most move. Molly, watch it, this is electrified. Got it. Boing, 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 whoa! Also, you can fall down between the pipes. That would be crazy. Let's not do that. Ah, I got something in my eye. Hold on. Molly, you're delaying the game. I know, but I can't help it. I got something in my eye in real life. Okay, there we go. It may have been a bug. Ew, a bug got in your eye? That's so gross. Hey, this stuff happens sometimes. Why is it that bugs are so attracted to your eyeball? I mean, what's in there? Moisture, Molly. Really? They want to drink the moisture from your eyeball? Okay, that's disgusting. And how come they only put the pencils where they want you to buy stuff? I think that's a dirty, rotten trick is what I think. So far, I don't see this math teacher. Where is he? He's probably chasing you as you think about that right now. No, he's not. Oh, I guess he is. Ew, he's got nose hairs. Gross. Molly, quit caring about that and just run. Oh, M, G. Okay, let's get out of here, guys. 
Holy macaroni, I don't know which way to go. I'm following this other girl. She seems like she's a grade or two ahead of me. She's a lot taller than me, so she probably knows where she's going. And I do not. So the math teacher's chasing me, and I just need to get out of here really, really quickly. Oh, yeah, look at he's standing back there. O-M-G. Uh, which way are we supposed to go? I think this way, and then onto the trampoline. Oh, there's a pencil over there. I'm gonna get that pencil. You know I am, guys. You know I'm gonna collect all ten pencils. If it's the last thing I do. Wow. E for effort, Molly. Thank you. Who's throwing stuff at me? Who is throwing stuff at me? Oh, nothing, Molly. I think that's just shooting out of that hole over there. All right, let's wait till this one actually shoots out the ball. And then I'm going to run. And I'm going to be patient and wait because I don't know. Okay, I think it stopped. Phew. Ah! Oh, I made it. Yay. And then I immediately Ooh. died. You can become the math teacher. Uh, 199 Robux to become the math teacher. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of money to become the evil math teacher. No thanks. I don't, I don't think so. I think I got past that ball part even though I died. The game just saved me after it. I love when that happens. It is awesome. Is this gonna go to my freedom, guys? No. This math teacher has calculated how to keep me in school forever. Wait for the spikes, wait for them. If you step on them, they will kill you. Guys, if you played this game before, slam the like button if you have. Or if you want to play it, you can slam the like button too. I just got killed. I don't know how though. Okay, um, I didn't actually die. Well, that was good. Oh, it's a slime! <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish I had one of these in my school. Uh, except for the part where I exploded at the end. And I, what? I turned into a noob? Ha 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 ha! Molly turned into a noob! Whatever, Daisy. You were a noob in the last game. Yeah, well... No one thinks about that. They're only watching this one. And in this one, Molly's a noob. <laughs> um, I may be a noob, but I'm still amazing. Uh, guys, if you turn into a noob, don't let it get you down. You're still amazing. You're still yourself. You're just a noob on Roblox. Whoa, it's taken us 11 minutes and 30 seconds so far. Oh, wait, no, I think that's counting down. Oh, our time is 493 seconds. That's to get a free pass, so I was actually wrong about that. Whoa, let's turn this off. We don't want any waste falling on our heads. That's gross. Do you think there's going to be an epic boss battle in this one? I don't know, but I just saw the math teacher and he looks angry. Um, yeah, he's got a skateboard. Whoa. Is he going to hit us with that skateboard? Or is he going to ride on it? I don't know if he's going to ride on it. Stop doing math. Numbers were not supposed to be given names. Okay, I, I couldn't read all the sign. I wish I could, guys. I'm sure, it's really funny, but... Ah! Why won't the door open? Holy guacamole. Oh, he's just standing out there. Whew. That's good. We got to move all these pallets, Daisy, before he comes in here. This is a lot of pallets. This is annoying. Yeah, what do I look like? I'm not even supposed to be doing weightlifting today. Today? I've been doing weightlifting other times? Yeah, I've been trying to get really buff. <laughs> Daisy, you're more of into a science, science nerd type thing. I'm a nerd. I'm not even ashamed to admit it. But I definitely want to be the buffest nerd in my entire school. Well, that's a good goal, Daisy. That's a good goal. Come on, Molly. Let's go. We have to escape math. Yeah, because I definitely want to go home and have an after-school snack. And chill in front of the TV for a little bit. And then do your homework. Yeah, sure. Do my homework. Yeah, exactly. What are these? Those are something we used to throw. Ooh, what a target. Fun. Did Daisy get it on the first try? Oh, so did I. Cool. Do, 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 do. Molly, there probably is going to be an epic boss back here. Just know this. Uh, no, there's just more block building. I really thought it was going to be an epic boss. Nope. Oh, Daisy, I think I just stuck you inside the box. I'm sorry about that. Molly, let me out of here. What are you doing? Guess you're stuck in math class. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, my gosh, guys. Molly put me in this box and I can't get out. Oh, Daisy had to reset. Oh, poor Daisy. I can't believe you trapped me in that box, Molly. That was rude. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but... <laughs> oh, I snorted a little bit. It was so funny. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> okay, I'm done laughing. <laughs> um, Guys, let's see how far ahead we can get from Daisy. Because I trapped her in that box, and I think it's kind of funny. She's always like, I'm so much better at Roblox than you. Well, let's see how good you are now. Trapped her in a box. Now I'm like in the sewer, trying to escape this crazy math teacher. And I'm doing pretty good so far, actually. Whoa, a pencil, guys. Super excited about that. Uh, Oh, another vent. There's so many vents in this. 
It's because if you want to escape school, you have to go up into the vent to get out. Oh, amateur rotten corpses. Whoa. You're ready for Halloween. Oh, yeah, she's she definitely is. She's part zombie. Oh, my God, guys. Daisy is right behind us. We're going to drink this Black Sea Cola and quick. How'd she catch up to us so fast? Because normally I go slower just to try to make you feel better about yourself, Molly. What? Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Um, you can't just stand here and drink all the Black Sea Colas. Whoa, I almost made the same mistake twice. But I didn't. Holy macaroni, this is harder than it looks. Whoa! You cannot speed run through all of this. You really have to take your time. Or you will die. Then you have to start all the way back over. And that stinks. Boing. Boing. Holy moly, guys. Holy moly. Ha <laughs> ha Did we beat Daisy again? Awesome. Oh, guys. I'm only one pencil short. And then guess what? I'm going to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ah, and then I got fried. The camera is because I'm like, seriously, this game is annoying me. Now, now, Daisy. Don't get frustrated or you're not allowed to play Roblox anymore. Or maybe a better punishment would be um, for Daisy that she couldn't do her homework. Oh, um, gee, look at all these lasers, guys. They're definitely going to try to kill me. That's what these lasers like to do. Whoa! Getting dizzy. Getting dizzy with it. Do, 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 do. Oh, and then I'm going back down. Okay, guys. I don't know what is happening right now. Oh, I get to climb a rock wall? Are you serious? Okay, that's pretty cool. I think that's the first time I've done that in an obby. Or the first time in, like, a long time. Because I don't remember it. Ah! Yes! Uh-oh. Epic boss battle. Bam, 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 bam. You're going down, math teacher. Oh, whoa. He throws, like, giant... Lava boulders at ya. Okay, that's a little rude. Oh, Dizzy finally showed up for the party. Nice to see ya. Oh, wow. Come on now. Ow! He sets out like a giant trap for you. Whoa, oh, here it comes. Here comes this giant flaming lava rocks or whatever. Oh, um, gee, you're going down. Ah! Don't you dare. Don't you dare kill me at the last minute. No! I want to take you down in one try. Oh, he's like right behind me. Oh! Yes, guys! I did it in one try. I'm so excited about that. Wait, how did Daisy get a, a flying cloud? I'm just amazing like that. Um, guys, I don't know if this is going to take me to the end or not, but I guess we're about to find out. It did! And we got a badge. Dun, 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 dun. You won, badge. Go us, Daisy. Well, I mean, go me. I definitely beat you. You did not. I, I beat him before you did. And I got a magic cloud, too. Whoa, there's a um ferris wheel over here and stuff i want to get on that come on dizzy does it work i don't know molly oh it does work oh this is so much fun i'm glad we played this game oh my god you can see like look guys you can see the whole game underneath us hey guys thanks so much for watching today yeah we love you guys you're the best fans in the world and we'll see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>
So I play piano, but not like really good or anything. Wait, where's Daisy? Did she just totally die? No, I'm down here. You put 150? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh, that guy's about to drown already. How come I have no water in mine? I'm like not dying for some reason. How many countries have purple in their flags? Oh my gosh, who picked hard? Yeah, somebody did definitely pick hard. It wasn't me. I would have picked easy. Answer two. Daisy, 50? Daisy! I guess you're not so smart after all, aren't you? Well, how many dog breeds are there? Um, that's a good one, Daisy. Um, I'm gonna say 40. Oh, no, there's a lot more than that. Uh, 405? <laughs> I don't know. 339? That's, no, that can't be. That can't be right. Oh, everybody drowned. What about me? Um, why is the water not rising in mine? How many members are there in Metallica? I died, Molly. Only because I had the closest answer. Um, I'm for four. Uh, maybe three? I don't know! This game is so hard! Oh my god, it right! Someone put 444. Duh, that's not right. How many times is the sun bigger than the earth? I have won! I got, I must be have gotten the closest answer. Uh, Molly? Duh, this game is called Closest Answer Wins. Oh, Closest Answer Wins! Ha 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 ha! I totally forgot about that. And again, I prove to everyone watching this video, my sister is not as smart as me. Whatever! How many games are played in a squid game? Uh, five? Let's see, marbles, um, the glass one, uh, red light, green light, uh, six. Okay, um, that time water went into my tank because I didn't get the closest number. Oh, man. How many dominoes are there in a standard set? Oh, boy. That one's hard, Daisy. I don't know. I'm going to put 29. My guess. Hmm. Let me think about this for a minute. Uh, 20. Yay! Ba -ba -da -da! Apparently, my sister is good at cheating. Cheating? I didn't cheat. How many active volcanoes are there on Earth? 150. I'm not cheating. I'm just good at guessing. Yeah, but that's not actually knowing the way answer. Well, in this game, I guess I just have to be the closest. And actually, I wasn't the closest that time. How many players joined the squid game? Um, 25. That's a guess. I never even saw that whole movie or anything. Movie? It's a show, Molly. Ah, oh, she's clueless. <laughs> 500? Ooh, Daisy. Um, that was very close to being right. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm about to drown. Look at me. How many spikes are there on the crown of the Statue of Liberty? Did someone actually count that for this game? I feel like they're being really ridiculous right now. I'm going to put 45. Look at me, guys. This is where I'm going to drown. Daisy's doing better than me on this. Answer seven. Uh-oh. One more round until I'm drowned. What is the total number of stickers on a Rubik's Cube? These are not easy. These are so hard. Agreed, Molly. These are very hard. 47. What'd you pick, Daisy? Ha, ha, ha. Did you already choose your answer? Because I don't want you to win. Um, it's 54. Well, I picked 60. Ooh. I just died. Oh, my gosh. Daisy's still in the game along with... Wait, Daisy just win? La, 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 la. I just won. Okay, we're tied, guys. Now we have to see what closest answer wins. And we got a fan in here. So shout out to Susie. Two, three, six, seven, nine, 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 zero. <laughs> Wait, Susie, are you okay? Your face is missing. She's fine, Molly. She just forgot to put her face on this morning. <laughs> well, well, shout out to you, Susie. And also, I picked easy because um, I want to see if these questions are actually easy. How many rings come together to form the emblem of the Olympic Games? Um, Wait, I think it was actually three. Ah! Oh, man! But five, but I can't remember. Is it six? Is it three? Oh no, I got it correct! Bing, 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 bing! Yay for me! I got it correct too, but I didn't make a big deal out of it. How many sides are there in a heptagon? Heptagon? What's that? Maybe you should pay attention at school, Molly. Maybe then you would know. Maybe, or maybe I'd be like, this is useless knowledge I'm never gonna use. Seven. Okay, you didn't know either, Daisy. How many basketball players are there on a basketball team? Um. Uh, eight? Uh, I don't play basketball. How am I supposed to know? What are you going to pick, Daisy? Huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Five, Molly. Five basketball players. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! How many numbers are there in a wall clock? Um, uh, yeah. I think this. Well, Molly, 
If you don't know, you're going back to preschool. Well, would you pick Daisy, Smarty Pants? But come back, Dancy, and so didn't you. I was gonna say, you might have the brain of a chicken, Molly, if you didn't pick 12. <laughs> How many zeros are there in 1,000? Ooh, easy. I pick five. What? Five? Daisy? <laughs> Just kidding. Tried to trick you. Wanted to see if you'd copy me. Oh, she picked six. Oh, man. The water's rising for you, my friend. Not as high as you, Molly. If your cherry has four seeds and you accidentally eat two, how many are left? Simple math. Come on. Don't be ignoramus. <laughs> yes! This carnival theme is very cool, guys. Look at this. How many eyes does a bee have? Well, um, their eyes are only two, but they have, like, crazy faces where their eyeballs can see, like, more than just what we can. Right, Daisy? Yeah, but their faces are crazy. Wait, five? What? Since when? I don't remember learning that. I don't either, Molly. That I feel kind of stupid right now. How many months are there in a year? Um, yeah, that one you can't get wrong. Yeah, right? Yeah, I didn't either. Twelve. We don't need a whole 20 seconds to answer that. Ding, 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 ding. Molly, your water was higher than mine. How many lives does a, is a cat said to have? Oh, Daisy, if you don't know this, come on. You are an ignoramus. Nine lives. And I don't own any cats, but I love cats. We have dogs. They're really cute. I'm a dog person for sure. Six lives. Oh, must be her cats. Already lost three of them or something. <laughs> Molly. How many bones are there in the human body? Um, um. I don't know how many. Molly, are you looking it up? Um, e -o -a -k -a. Oh, I, I, oh, man. 206. You Googled it, Molly. You cheated. <laughs> well, I have to cheat. Look how close I am to death. And the number of times the letter is S appears in the word Mississippi. One, two, three, four times. M I S S I S S S I P P I. <laughs> oh, man. She's got zero wins. I at least got one win. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's gonna, is she going to die? No, not yet. She's not dead yet. The Roman numeral XXIV is equivalent to which number? Well, um, I think the XXIV is, um, oh, I've got to figure this out. I think it's this. Oh, man, I think I missed it. I, I, I answered 24. Did you guys see that? That wasn't fair. Oh, Molly, it took you too long to figure it out. How many bones do sharks really have? Oh, we learned about this in history. I mean, in science. History. <laughs> oh, it's gotten into me. Must be playing this game with Molly. Oh, look, guys, our, we're like, we're huge over here. Um, and I got number two, and DZ got number one. How many sides does a hexagon have? DZ, do you know? Um, I think so. A hexagon, I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, I think. I'm still guessing, even though I'm not in the game. Let's see what Daisy put. Six. Oh, Daisy, you're so right. I'm so wrong. Number of colors on a Canadian flag. I don't know. I'm not from Canada. <laughs> Molly, you should still study other countries. Daisy, I can barely study this one sometimes. Usually all I do is study lunch and recess. <laughs> what degree is a right angle? Oh, man, this is starting to make my brain hurt. Where's the donuts? Wait, shouldn't they have funnel cake here? I mean, this is a carnival, right? No, Molly, it's just basically you die and you die and some more and then you die some more. And not me, though. I've won. Oh, now I'm in third place. Aw. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. Closest answer wins. It was fun to prove I was smarter than my sister again. Daisy, you're... Yeah. Well, you're the most annoying one, even if you're so smart. Uh-huh, that's nice, but I'm still smart. Smarter than you, smarter than you. Ah, uh, Daisy! <laughs>
and an actual test where you drive the car. Um, I don't have to worry about all that. I'm going to be an expert driver. Molly, you can't even drive your bicycle without running it into the shrubs. <laughs> I mean to do that. Uh-huh, sure you do. Well, I'm going to go and practice some of my driving skills. Hey, Dad, are you busy? Are you busy? Are you busy? Are you busy? Um, well, not really. I was just chilling watching some TV and stuff. I was wondering, can you take me out to practice driving? I need to practice a lot before my test, and I've read the entire book about how to drive. Wow, that's very mature of you, Daisy. Well, I think you are ready then to go out and try practical application. Let's go. Whoa! Why is Dad's car parked on top of Mom's car? Must be Molly was practicing her driving. <laughs> hey, wait for me! I want to come along. Oh, great. Molly's going to come along while I drive? Yeah, well, you have to get used to having your annoying sister in the car, right? Molly, you can't sit on the back of the car. What are you crazy? Get in. I'm just going to ride back here. There's a seatbelt. I don't think this is very safe. Well, Daisy won't unlock the door. That's because I don't want you to come along. You're going to make me nervous. All right. Okay, Daisy. Uh, Molly, you're going to have to sit this one out. What? I don't want to. Molly, I'll take you f driving as soon as I'm done with Daisy, okay? Fine. Okay, Daisy. Now, is your seatbelt on? Yes, Dad, of course. That's lesson number one. That's lesson number one. I so perfect. But she probably won't even get her driver's license, and I will! <laughs> Molly, I heard that! Just pay attention to the road, Daisy. The first thing I need you to do is drive carefully and safely. Uh, make sure you look both ways, just like when you were little and you had to uh, look both ways before you crossed the road. Same in a car. Very good, Daisy! Ugh. My sister is such a goody-goody. She's so perfect. Oh, look. There's Mom's car. I could just try driving that one. I'm sure I know everything there is to know already. Oh, oh, oh. Where's the brake on this thing? Oh! Um, Daisy, someone's coming up like crazy behind us. Don't worry. Wait a minute. Is that Molly? I don't know, but that's definitely your mom's car. What's she doing driving by herself? I guess she didn't read the handbook that said she wasn't allowed to drive by herself until she got her license. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is kind of fun. I'm going around in circles. I finally figured out where the brake is. See? It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Driving is so simple. Two weeks later. Okay, girls, come on. Get in the van. Wait a minute. We're testing in the van? That thing's going to be so hard to park. Yes, but if you can park this, then you can drive anything. <laughs> this is going to be a piece of cake. Oh, Molly, I'm so glad you studied and practiced so much. She didn't. She's just delusional. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm getting my driver's license and Molly is not. I'm going to get it. What are you talking about? You're so full of yourself sometimes, Daisy. Well, if both of you girls get your licenses, we could go out to a special lunch. Oh, look, there's the cop that's going to be um, doing your tests for your driver's license today. Good morning. Name, please. Um, Molly Acker. And Daisy Acker. Don't worry, sir. I've practiced and practiced and practiced. Okay, I've heard it all before. Go inside the station and you can perform the written part of the driver's test. Okay, girls, good luck. Thanks, Mom. I'm not going to need any luck. Ooh, everybody knows there's a hard test and an easy test when you go to take your driver's license to, um, evaluation. And it looks like I got the easy test. Question number one. What is the thing you drive called? A, a horse. B, a Pepsi. C, a car. <laughs> Looks like I got the easy test. Number question number one. What is the ignition timing on a 1955 Chevy? How am I supposed to know? Oh, I got the hardest test of all. It's common knowledge that when you go to get your driver's license, they have two tests, an easy test and a hard test. And I'm done because I have the easy test. Here you go, sir. All done. Okay, um, let me just grade that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, 100%. Really? You have, um, passed the written portion of your driver's test. Now, you must go out and do real-world application by driving in a car. But first, 
Uh, your sister has to finish up her test. Oh my gosh, I, I finished it. Congratulations. Let me just um, score your test here. And ooh, that one's wrong and that one's wrong. Oh my God, no. Um, 70%. What? 70%? Are you serious? Um, yes, but you still passed. Oh, this is the worst day. I never get bad grades. But you still passed, Daisy. I can prove to you that I'm amazing. Let me go take my real world test right now. Okay, Daisy, you can go first. Come on. Okay. Whew. Okay, Daisy, would you please start the car? Sure, no problem. Oh, nope, you failed already. What? I, I, I... You got a point taken off for not putting on your seatbelt first. But I was just doing what you told me. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter who's in the car telling you what, sees. You still got to put on your seatbelt, sees. <laughs> okay, now that your seatbelt's on, proceed to the stoplight, please. Okay. Oh, you tricked me. Wow, I didn't think it was going to be this hard. All right. Now I'd like you to take a right. Okay. Um, but should I wait till the light turns, turns green? Of course you should. Why are you asking me so many questions? Confidence is very important when you're driving a car. I'm deducting another point. What? Oh! A few hours later. It's been two hours. What's taking so long for her test? This should only take like 15 to 20 minutes tops. Oh, wait. It looks like they're back. Thankfully, I thought I would never get to take my real world test. Ah! Uh, that was exhausting. Daisy, did you pass or did you fail? I failed! <laughs> Holy guacamole, Daisy, I'm, I'm so sorry. Molly, you're next. Come on. Okay, coming. Okay, what's the first thing you need to do? Um, put on my seatbelt. My mom's always saying that. Very good. Oh, man, would you look at the time? 12.04. I'm four minutes late for my lunch. Okay, I need my lunch. You pass. Wait, what? You got your driver's license. Lunch is way too important for me to miss. I don't even have to do anything? When you put your seatbelt on, that means you be safe whether you can drive good or not. Okay, <laughs> here's your license. O-M-G! <laughs> Mom, I got my driver's license! I got my driver's license! Wow, Molly, that's amazing! Daisy, are you okay? Something has gone horribly wrong here. I, I, I didn't get my driver's license, but Molly did! Don't worry, Daisy. I'll drive us both to school. Of course, with me looking like the cool sister. I, I, uh... Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be working on some fractions. I know you guys are a little bit scared. Whoa, I can't write today. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. I know you guys are a little afraid of fractions. They seem really hard, but don't worry. I'm going to help you through it. And everyone will know how to do fractions by the end of the school year, okay? Jiminy Cricket! What was that? Was that thunder? It's probably some freak storm and, you know, we are going to all be doomed. Wow, Molly, could you be any more dramatic? Well, no, not really. But anyway, I'm just kidding because I saw the weather and it's supposed to be like blue skies and sunny today. Well, maybe the weather people were wrong. They seem to never know what the weather is going to be. Well, that's true. I don't know where there is lately. Are they letting every meteorologist pass college or something? Must be. But well, maybe it's just hard to guess. I don't know. Well, they have equipment to help them. I'm going to look outside and see if there's any storms going on. It looks like there's some dark clouds coming from over there, teacher. Maybe we should all have early dismissal. Nice try, Molly, but there's no early dismissal today. We're going to be learning about fractions. Now, the first thing you need to know... Um, I have a question. Um, it's starting to look really dark outside. I think we're going to get a storm. Uh, and it looks like an angry one. What? Oh, I... I didn't think we were supposed to get the storm that's that's hitting Blocksburg. They're getting a terrible, terrible hurricane. Oh my, this does look like the hurricane's actually going to hit us. Oh boy, I better get inside and check out the weather station and see what it says. Um, teacher, I, I really don't think it's a good idea we stay here. Well, if the hurricane's hitting, we can't leave either. It can be dangerous. But 
roads will be flooded for sure. Let me just tune into the weather station on my iPad. Breaking news, breaking news. The hurricane that hit Blocksburg is now hitting Brookhaven too. Stay put. I repeat, do not drive, do not go outside your house. This hurricane is extremely dangerous. You should lock down exactly where you are. Oh my, this isn't good. Stuck in a school? Oh, we don't even have sleeping bags or pajamas or anything. Oh! Uh, anybody else notice our teacher is totally freaking out right now? Well, Marley, in her defense, hurricanes can be incredibly dangerous. Well, I guess we're not learning about fractions today. We're learning a lot about hurricanes, though. Um, Molly, I'm kind of nervous. I don't like big storms. Well, then why are you smiling? Um, because I smile a lot when I'm nervous. It's sort of this thing I have where I just, I, 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 I also giggle a lot when I'm nervous. <laughs> Oh, I never knew about this about you, Brookie. But that's because you've never seen her this nervous. <laughs> We're all gonna die in a hurricane! <laughs> oh, this is so lame. Brookie, are you okay? You have no face right now. <laughs> I can't stop laughing, that's why! O-M-G. Okay, Brookie's gone insane. Molly, maybe we should go outside and, you know, check and see if the weather's really bad. Okay, I'll be the one to do it because I'm the most brave. Here we go. Oh, the sky is red. Uh, I've never seen it do that before. Oh my God, this is creepy. Oh yeah, the rain is coming and the, and the wind. What? Did I just see lightning? Oh my gosh, I did just see lightning and now the sky is purple. I better get back inside. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking measurements. I've never seen a storm like this in my life. Like guacamole, Daisy. We better get inside. This is dangerous out here. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you so tall all of a sudden? I had a growth spurt. <laughs> Why are you going to catch up? You seem so short lately. Holy moly. Um, teacher, teacher. There's a lot of lightning, a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and the sky is purple and red. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we really are going to die. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. I don't think it's safe for us to be near these windows, though. We're all going to move into the gym since it's more centrally located inside the school. And we'll start setting up to spend the night there. Um, is there anything to eat? Because I'm starting to get hungry. Yes, I'll go to the cafeteria and pick up some supplies. You guys head to the gym and I'll meet you there. On second thought, look at all these windows to the outside. This is probably more dangerous than I thought. Are you, like, trained at all for disasters? O-M-G. Yes, I'm just a little bit nervous, okay? This is my first year as a teacher, and I didn't expect to be stuck in a hurricane. It's okay. Um, just, just, um, basically, take us to the auditorium, and everything will be okay, because there's no windows in there. Oh, Daisy, what would I do without you? You're the best student ever. Come on, everyone, to the auditorium. Okay, everyone, file in, please. Single file, no pushing. I'm just gonna pull up the weather channel again and see if there's any updates. Breaking news, breaking news. Everyone, panic! This is the worst hurricane Brookhaven has ever seen. Everything's flooded. Oh, make sure you get to high ground, but stay inside. Make sure you have enough food, but don't go to the grocery store. Make sure you get enough sleep and take care of yourself, but don't close your eyes. You never know what's gonna happen next. Okay, we're turning off the iPad. That's just freaking me out. All right, everyone. I did find some uh, sleeping bags in the supply room. Must be they were there for emergencies. So I'm gonna spread everyone's sleeping bag out up here on the stage. And this will be where we sleep tonight. And I also brought some snacks. Brookie, are you still freaking out? I'm, I'm sort of hyperventilating. Brookie, it's gonna be okay. Everyone's safe. Just think of this as a really interesting sleepover. I mean, we had to invite, invite Sarah, but you know. Whatever, like I'd ever come to a loser sleepover anyway. Well, Sarah, we'd probably invite you even if you didn't want to come, just because we're nice like that. Well, I'm not nice like that, and I probably wouldn't come. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, and we're in a hurricane. Yeah, but we're also having an amazing sleepover. According to this little instrument that I found in the science room that's supposed to measure the weather, but I'm not a meteorologist, so I don't know what it's called. What? You don't know what it's called? Daisy, I can't even believe this right now. Uh, yeah, I feel a little, um, sad in myself that I don't know what 
this meteorologist equipment is. I'll, I'll make notes and have to look this up when I get home. But anyway, according to that, the worst of the storm is happening right now. Ah, uh, you could say that. There are actually some windows backstage, and I did see some lightning. What? The teacher told us that, 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 that there was no windows in here. Well, it's the spot that's the least windows, Bookie, and the most protected. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. I don't believe you. I'm starting to freak out, and now I really just want to cry. Bookie, I promise everything's going to be okay. Your best friend is right here. Okay, everybody, I brought some food. Bean burritos, tacos. Do you guys like Mexican food? Oh my gosh, I love Mexican food. Oh no, it's gonna be terrible. What, the storm? No, you, after you eat that bean burrito. Oh yeah, we don't wanna feed Molly a bean burrito. Too late. Mm, this is actually quite delicious. Mm, this is so good. Oh my God. Molly's farting already. She just took the first bite of a bean burrito. Uh, I think I'd rather be out in the hurricane. What? It's not that bad. Molly, you farted ten times in the last five seconds. Ew, Molly. That stinks so bad. Where's my gas mask? <laughs> I think there's an emergency in the gym. I mean, in the auditorium. Wait, where are we again? Brookie, you're still freaking out right now. It's going to be okay, Brookie. I promise. And I have an extra bean burrito that I'm going to eat. <coughs> Molly, please don't. <coughs> Molly! No more bean burritos for Molly. She's sworn to not eat anymore. Okay, class. I want everyone to get into their sleeping bags. Molly, no more bean burritos. Seriously. We all have to actually sleep in here. <laughs> I can't believe we're sleeping in the auditorium at school. This is so weird. Yeah. But I think the storm is starting to pass now. I think you're right, class, but I think you should stay here for the night just to be safe. <sighs> I'm getting tired anyway. This was kind of stressful. I know what you mean. <laughs> this dress makes me laugh. Did I tell you that yet? Yes, like so many times. You're so annoying. I know. I'm sorry. I just can't help it. Sarah, she's not annoying. She's my best friend and she can't help it. She's just scared. Yeah, I think we all will. But in the morning, we'll go home and hopefully everything will be fine. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> that was the saddest movie I've ever seen. How the raccoon got abandoned by its mom and all. Oh. Yeah, but Molly, at the end, the raccoon got a new family. That was so nice. I don't know. I think a movie about raccoons is a little well made up. How can you say that, Brookie? Raccoons are people, too! Uh, Molly, raccoons are people. They're animals, you know? Some people call them trash pandas. <laughs> That's funny. How can you guys laugh, laugh at a time like this? It was the saddest movie ever. Did you guys hear that we're supposed to get a huge snowstorm today? Um, well, then you probably shouldn't be wearing shorts. <laughs> You're probably right. I guess summer's over. Summer's been over for like three months, Brookie. I know, but I'm always like running around and stuff, so I get really hot, so I just wear shorts until it snows. Then it's just a no-go. Um, Molly, you're wearing pajamas. Yeah, when I'm at home, I wear my pajamas all the time because it's like so comfy. And I'm cozy and warm and stuff. Yeah, um, my brothers, they keep stealing my pajama bottoms because we're like the same size. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, they never want to do their laundry, so they just steal my pajamas. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, having brothers is so annoying. Try having all sisters. It'll drive you crazy. Whatever, Molly, I'm the best sister ever. Crazy. Bonkers! Looney Tunes! Molly, knock it off, seriously. But for reals, I always thought it would be so cool to have a brother. Well, trust me, it's not as cool as you think. Whoa, it looks kind of stormy outside. I think it's going to start snowing any minute. Look, Brookie, you were right! It's a blizzard out here, brr. It's freezing. Brookie, are you going to spend the night? Actually, I probably should get home. I mean... If, if it's that bad out... No, it's... it's uh You can't go home. You're stuck here. Seriously, it's a blizzard. Well, I guess I'm spending the night. Do you have any pajamas I could borrow? Sure, no problem. You should call your mom, though, and tell her you're staying here. Good idea, Molly. 
Mom? Yes, Brookie, where are you? There's a huge snowstorm going on. Um, I came, for, came over to Molly and Daisy's house and I'm kind of stuck here. Is that okay? Yes, honey, just stay there so you're safe. Okay, Mom, well, um, can you come pick me up in the morning? As soon as the plows come through, sweetie, I'll come get you. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Is she okay with you spending the night? Um, yeah, she totally is. I better ask my mom. Mom? What's up? Oh, my. It's so snowing out right now. Yeah, it's like a blizzard out there. Brookie, you definitely have to spend the night. Good thing she already called her mom and said she was. <laughs> okay, well, let's get you some warm pajama bottoms. Those shorts just aren't what you do in this weather. Yeah, exactly. Can we go outside and play? Um, Molly, it looks like a blizzard out there. I think you should stay inside. Okay, fine. I just want to go out here for one minute, Mom. Holy guacamole. Look at all the snow. All of Brookhaven is covered. We must have a foot of snow already in like ten minutes. It's beginning to look a lot like no school for at least a week. Hooray! There's no homework and I get to hang out with my friend. I love when it snows. <laughs> Molly, you're so silly. I am loving no school. I'm going to cry because I'm going to miss school so much. Oh, seriously, Daisy, take a break. Take a chill pill from school. All right, girls. Well, who wants popcorn? We could watch a movie. I do. I do. Okay, well, I've got some work to do, but I'll make you some popcorn. You guys pick the movie. Well, we already watched the one about the raccoon. Um, uh, no, no, no. Ooh, Cops is on. Ooh, I love Cops. Cops and popcorn sounds like a great blizzard activity. Okay, don't hog all the popcorn. Don't worry, Molly. I'm making enough for everyone. How come Brookie got hers first? Because, Molly, she's our guest. Mmm, this popcorn's delicious. Yeah, you could say that again. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Daisy, don't sing. You're making my ears hurt. Molly, try to be nice to your sister. I am, Brookie, I am! Girls, I'll be upstairs working in my office. Okay, we'll be down here scarfing down a bunch of popcorn. <laughs> Was that your stomach growling, Brookie? No? Was it yours? No? It's probably Daisy's brain making noise about science. Molly, you can't hear someone's brain. Actually, your mouth is talking right now, and that was used that used your brain. What? What are you even talking about? Help me. There's that sound again. What could that be? Please help. Ah! There's a guy outside, and he looks like he's freezing to death. Oh my gosh. I know. There's a lot of snow. It's coming down. It's a blizzard. Come inside our house. Molly, he might be a murderer. You don't just invite anybody in. I'm not. I'm a murderer. Yeah, he's just a frozen dude at our door. Wait, why are you a frozen dude at our door? I walked so many miles. Um, okay. So, it's okay. You can say it. Molly, he's trying. You, I better go start a fire. That that might warm him up some. Good idea. Okay, so why are you at our door? I... I am you 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 What? Your blah 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 blah? What's a blah 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 blah? Um, Molly, I think he said your brother. <laughs> I don't have a brother. What are you talking about? I, I'm your brother. He's not saying brother. Okay, Daisy, uh, what are you doing? I can't get it to stop. Cheapos. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, frozen dude, come over here. I've got a nice warm fire for you. Come on. Okay, I can't move. My knees are frozen. Oh, oh, that's much better. Oh, oh look. He's not quite as blue anymore, is he? No, Molly, he still looks pretty blue. It's going to take a few minutes for him to heat up. But I'm serious, Molly. I think he did say he was your brother. Well, he's sadly mistaken. His brain must have gotten frozen then. Because, um, I don't have a brother. Oh, look, he's not blue anymore. He's 
It's kind of changing all sorts of colors. Are you okay? Ugh, I'm feeling much better now. Ugh, there. You okay? Gosh, I probably almost killed you from frostbite. Yeah, thanks for that. I, I, I found out just, well, this morning. I've been looking for a really long time for you and Daisy. You have? Why? Did I fail my math test? Are you the math police? You don't smell like you've taken a bath in a week. That's because I've been doing a lot of research. And I've been staying up a lot of late nights. Well, if you need a bath, there's one upstairs. Daisy, you might want to back up if he smells bad. Hey. Oh, it's okay. I wouldn't expect anything less from my sisters. Did you just say sisters? He did, Molly. That's right. I just... I just got the records this morning, and I walked here because the blizzard, you know, and, and my car wouldn't go in the snow, but I found out I'm your long-lost brother. Dun, dun, dun! Is this dramatic or what? If you think so, hit that like button. Seriously, Molly? You're using this as some way for someone to hit the like button on, on YouTube? Of course I am! Our fans know everything about our lives! And, 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 and it's shocking to think I have a long-lost brother. How do you know this? I know that I was born with two sisters who got adopted, and I wasn't. And and I remember my little sisters. And, and one had red hair, and, and one had blonde hair. And I just know you and Daisy are my sisters. What? I have an older brother. I always wanted one of those. Remember what I said, Molly. Be careful what you wish for. Older brothers are the pits. Uh, I'm a good older brother. Well, I mean, I think I am. am. I, I I, never was around you guys, but but I think I will be. I, I make a really good grilled cheese. Really? Because I'm starving. You can come into the kitchen with me right now and prove how good of a brother you are. Molly! What? He offered and I'm hungry. It's okay, Molly. I'll make you a toasted cheese. Toasted cheese? Did you just call it a toasted cheese? Oh my gosh! It's a grilled cheese! Who are you even? This guy says he's our brother. I'm not sure that I could actually believe that. Possible fire detected at your house. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm proving that he is not our brother. But, um, I think we have bigger problems! There's a fire in our house! Ah! Call the fire department! Help! Help! Nobody panic! I'm a trained firefighter. And also, here's your toasted cheese. Oh, my gosh. My entire house is on fire. Ah! Okay, nobody panic. I'm going to put this out right now. All right. Um, you guys should go outside, though. Out into the blizzard? Yes. And it's safer out there, at least. Berkey, are you coming? No, he's got the fire out. I'm, I think everybody's okay. I'm not leaving my science research. It's on this computer. Are you sure everything's okay, Berkey? I don't know. I, I think so. I'm going back in to make sure. Is everything okay? Wait, did you even tell us your name? It's Levi. Oh, thanks, Levi. You're a really good older brother. Aha! You're not a brother, Levi. Wait, what? But I, I did all the research. You are my sisters, and I'm your brother. Yeah, what are you talking about, Daisy? Don't be rude to Levi. He just, she just saved our house. Um, well... Uh, Daisy, I just want to tell you that your booty is hanging out. What? Yeah, why don't you, um, become my plumber or something? Molly, that's not very nice. Well, I'm just telling you, your booty is hanging out! Oh, whoops. <laughs> I guess this, um, these pants are a little too small. Yeah, you think so? Daisy's got a big booty! Molly, be quiet! Okay, fine. Everybody's always telling me to be quiet. So why isn't Levi our brother? Well... It says Levi was adopted from Blacksburg Adoption Center. We were never at the Blacksburg Adoption Center. We were at Brookhaven Adoption Center. But, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, yes, because we were siblings pale and we were adopted at the same time as all of our siblings. Well, except for baby Kira. My parents had her later. Oh, so you guys aren't my long lost sisters? No. Sorry, Levi. Oh, no. I thought I had finally found some family. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad for Levi. I'm gonna go see him. Levi, are you pooping? No, I'm just crying. Okay, well then I can come in. 
Um, oh man, you look so sad. I just really thought you guys were my family. You know what, Levi? If you don't find your family, or even if you do, you can still come hang out with us. You're a nice guy. Really? I don't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving. Really? Nowhere? No, I don't have a family. Well, I'm sure you can have Thanksgiving with us. Seriously? Yeah! Besides, if my dad cooks the turkey, we're going to need you here because he'll definitely try burning our house down. <laughs> oh, Molly, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. Yeah, but can we get out of the bathroom and talk about this out there? Because it smells like a little bit of a stinky doo-doo in here. Oh, sorry. I kind of farted. Hey, maybe you are my long-lost brother. I fart all the time. <laughs> See? Just like that. <laughs> I fart, too. <laughs> we have a lot in common. Totally! Well, I'm playing Roblox, and Pookie's playing Roblox, too, so uh, you guys want to play some Roblox? Yeah! How about you, Levi? I love Roblox! Are you guys noobs, though? No, we're not noobs. Okay, DZ, um, maybe we should play that Doors game. That looked really creepy. I don't know, a creepy game? Are you guys old enough? Yeah! We have a YouTube channel. You want to see it? I totally do! You guys are kind of like my adopted sisters. Daisy, are you ever going to, like, go put on different pants? Seriously. I will! a minute I'm playing Roblox <laughs>
Okay, you can go to school someday when you're a big girl. I pick good now. Ew, something smell bad. What? What are you talking about? Do you have a dirty diaper? No, you have a dirty diaper. Me? Molly, when was the last time you took a bath? Oh, um, uh. Molly, the whole room stinks. Do you need your diaper changed? Who, me? No! <laughs> Perhaps you should go take a bath because then we have to go to the store. I am getting low on diapers and formula. Oh, a trip to the store. Can I get some candy? Um, we'll see, Molly, but first, P.U., go take a shower. Okay, fine. Everybody's complaining. I mean, I took a shower last week. I don't know why they're so grumpy. Maybe I'll read a book while I'm in the tub. At least I'll have something to do. La, 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 la. Ah. Actually, taking a bath is kind of nice. It's just like relaxing on a Saturday. Ah. Molly, get out of there. Your sister needs a bath. Mom, I just got in. Sorry, but you have to take a quick one. She needs to take a bath, and then we have to go to the store. Fine. Relaxation over. I love baths. I love baths. Okay, Papa. Okay, Papa. Okay, baby Kara. It's time to get out of the tub. No, I don't want you. Hey, qu quit kicking. Quick. Ah, you're getting me soaked. Oh my gosh, baby Kara, <laughs> you're being such a brat right now. Here, um, just sit right here, and um, I'm gonna go get a towel. I can move around a lot. Okay, you can move around a lot. Here, let's just get you dried off, because then we're going to go to the store, okay? I clean now. Aw, I know you're clean now. Come on, let's go. You are the cutest little baby in the world, even if you are an annoying sister sometimes. <laughs> Daisy, why are you brushing your teeth at the sink? My toothbrush was down here, so I just decided to use it. Girls, are you ready? Come on, let's get going to the store. I get front seat! Molly, you always get front seat. That's so rude. Molly, all right, fine. Your sister Daisy gets to sit in the front on the way back. I get in the back. I'm a baby. I get in my car seat. That's right. And I get to sit here with you, I guess. What? There's nothing wrong with sitting with baby Kira. She's so adorable, right? If everyone could just get along on this Saturday, that would be perfect. Wow, look at all the leaves. They've changed and it looks beautiful. I couldn't agree more. Fall is my favorite time of year. Especially since Thanksgiving is right around the corner. It's making my stomach growl just thinking about it. Of course it is, Molly. That's all you think about is your stomach, stomach, stomach. Which is a good thing we're going to the grocery store then, right, Molly? <laughs> Mom, you know me so perfectly. Mom, where are you going? This is just a little shortcut. Hang on. OMG. Mom. And um, don't tell your father. <laughs> Mom, you're driving like a maniac. Well, she said it's a shortcut. Mm, and that's definitely a shortcut. Except for the fact there's no road, Mom. Whee! <laughs> I, I realized that ramp was there the other day. Mom, you are cray cray. But she's right. We got here super fast. Here we are, BFF Supermarket. Mom, can I get some candy? Uh, I don't know, Molly. We'll see if it's on sale. Mom, can I push the cart? Sure, Molly, if you must. I guess you can. These carts are stuck. Ugh, why are these carts stuck? I hate when I go to the grocery store and the carts are stuck. Uh, uh, uh. Molly, just, just, okay, there you go. You got it. Let baby Kara sit in the front seat, okay? Mom, there's no seat in this one. Seriously? Ugh. That's so annoying. Okay, that's fine. I'll just carry her. Mom, do we need some beans? Absolutely. I could make some chili. It's supposed to be cold this week. And get some apples. Ooh, apples and grapes and... Whoa, the price of everything has gone up by a million percent. Yeah, that's just the way of the world, Molly. Just be grateful that we can afford to get groceries this week. Yeah, Mom, I'm really grateful for that. Um, Mom, I, I saw that they're doing a food drive at school with canned goods um, for Thanksgiving. Do you think we could get an extra couple of cans? Absolutely, Molly. That's really thoughtful. I love that you thought of that. Go ahead and get some extra juice and some cans of fruit and things for um, the food drive. Okay, Mom. Um, and since I was so nice, can I also have these potato chips? Wait a minute. Is that you just trying to butter me up so you could get some potato chips no i'd never do that wait why is daisy in the car 
she didn't want to come in. Really? Why? She said that you get kind of crazy at the grocery store. I don't not! Can I have some candy? Molly, you already got the potato chips. I don't think you need candy and potato chips. Mom! Oh! This is exactly what your sister was talking about with you getting crazy at the grocery store. Now, baby Kara and I have to go to the baby aisle and get some diapers and formula. Try not to put candy in the, in the cart, Molly. Me? Put candy in the cart? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Last one to the car is a rotten egg! I'll wrap you rotten egg. I'll wrap you rotten egg. <laughs> you guys are a rotten egg! Molly, get out of the driver's seat. You're not driving. Fine. Mom, it's my turn to be in the front seat, remember? Well, um, let's see who gets there first. <laughs> Me! Molly! Oh, you drive me crazy, Molly. I don't want, but I love Molly. See? The verdict's out. Baby Kira loves me. I just wish you two could get along for one day on the weekend, because I seriously need a break from your arguing. On second thought, I need a break. You guys stay out here and watch Baby Kira. I'm going to get my nails done. Mom, you didn't even park in a parking spot! Close enough! Now what are we going to do? I guess we could sing a song. Muck. Yeah. Ing. Yeah. Bird. Molly, I think we should sing a Christmas carol. You're driving me crazy. All right, fine. Pick one. Jingle bell, jingle bells. Ooh, that's a great one, baby Q. Let's sing that. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Feeling better, Mom? Yeah, so much. All right, girls, what do you say we go home and watch a movie? Baby Kira needs to take a nap. Oh, boy, take a nap. No! Yes, Baby Kira, you're taking a nap. All right, Baby Kira, let's first give you a diaper change. You smell a little stinky. I want to take a nap. I want to watch a movie. No, everybody knows you get grumpy if you don't have your nap because you're still a little baby. Oh, come on, sweetie. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, 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 la. La, la, la. Have a good sleep, sweetheart. Cups. Mm. Oh, there's lots of delicious stuff in here. I want to get it out all over the counter and see exactly what I want to eat today. Molly, did you just make this big mess everywhere? I'm trying to clean the house. Sorry, Mom. I'm just looking for a snack I want to eat. Well, why did you have to pull everything out of the fridge in order to see what you wanted to eat? Um, because my eyes are as big as my stomach. Molly, please pick it all up. I'm trying to vacuum. This house is a mess. Since I'm the only one that seems to want a vacuum, I can put it away as soon as I, um, as soon as I mm, pick what I want to eat. Molly, you're making a huge mess. Look, now there's stuff on that counter. Ugh. Okay, I'll just go vacuum somewhere else. Um, honey, do you think you could take care of the laundry and fold it? Honey, you're right in front of this TV show. I love this show. Honey, it's a puppy and a kitten. Since when do you like shows about puppies and kittens? Since right now. This is adorable. I'm sorry, honey. I can't fold the laundry right now. I gotta watch this. Fine. I guess I'll do it. Ugh, does anyone want to help me around here at all? Thanks for moving out of the way. Oh my gosh. This is such a cute episode. Daisy, since I vacuumed and did all this laundry, do you think you could um, do the dishes since it's your turn, please? Sorry, Mom. I just finished this amazing report on puppies, and now I need to go outside and get some fresh air. See you later. Daisy, it's your turn to do the dishes. When does Mom get a break? When do I get a break from cleaning and doing everyone's laundry and, and dishes? And it's not fair. Whoa, Mom, what's wrong with you? I, I, I just, I feel like I need a break. <laughs> Mom, 
You should know better. Moms don't get breaks. Oh my gosh. I, 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 I don't even know what to say. Well, um, you probably don't have a lot to say because you got to go fold all that laundry. Fine. Just, 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 just don't even talk to me. Okay, mom. Well, mom? Uh, <laughs> she probably had to go outside and um, plant some new flowers or something. She's always doing some sort of work. Molly, can you keep it down over there? I'm trying to watch this puppy and kitten episode. Ooh, this looks amazing. I'll watch it too. Ah, life is good. Ugh, my stomach's starting to growl. What time is it? Whoa, six o'clock? We were supposed to have dinner a half an hour ago. No wonder my stomach's growling. Honey, when's dinner? No answer. Hmm. I wonder what's gotten into your mother. I don't know. I'll go check. She's probably making a huge Thanksgiving dinner for us, even though it's not even Thanksgiving. Mom's cool like that. Mom? Mom? Dinner's not even started. Where's Mom? What? What do you mean, where's Mom? She's in the kitchen making a dinner. No, she's not. She's not in there. Hmm. Maybe she ordered us a pizza or something. She's probably up still folding laundry. Mom? Are you scrubbing the toilet? No? Ew, the toilet's gross. It hasn't even gotten scrubbed yet. Maybe she's in my room. Mom? Maybe she's in baby Kira's room. Oh, yeah, baby Kira's spending the day with Grandma. That's right, I forgot about that. Um, no, she's not in baby Kira's room. She's nowhere up here. Where could she be? Guys, Mom is nowhere in the house. Well, go look outside. She's probably out there. Mom! Wait, is that a note down there? What? What's that say? It's a letter from Mom. Dear family, I'm tired of doing it all without any help. I can't do this anymore where I never get a break. So I'm taking one. I've run away. Run away? But, 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 but well, who will do the laundry? Who will vacuum? Who will make us turkey dinner? Dad, Ma, uh, Dad, Ma, Ma, Mom, Mom ran away. What? Quit your pranking, Molly. That's rude. No, read this letter. Dear family. What? She, she, she ran away? Did you make this letter up? No, Dad. It's in Mom's handwriting. Look. But, but who will make our dinner and, and, and vacuum and... What are you guys yelling about? Mom ran away. Oh. My. Gosh. Wow, this is a really good episode. Daisy, we have bigger fish to fry than kittens and puppies. What? That didn't make sense. Okay, I, I'm just saying we have to, we have to, um, we have to figure out how to get mom back. Who's gonna do all these chores? Molly, I think that's sort of mom's point. She doesn't want to have to do them all by herself, and she probably won't come back unless we help. Help? But I only watch puppies and kittens. Well, think about it, Dad. When does mom get to watch puppy and kittens? Oh, wow. I think maybe we've been taking a little advantage of your mom doing all the chores for us. What? Nah. Mom loves doing all that stuff. Uh, Molly, according to this note, not really. Okay, well, let me just try to call her and work this all out. I'm sure it's a big misunderstanding. It's just ringing. And ringing. And ringing. She's not going to pick up. Hi, you've reached Laura, or Mom, <laughs> and I can't come to the phone because I've run away from my responsibilities. It's no one wants to help me, and I don't feel like picking up. You can leave me a message, though. Mom, it's Molly, and um, this is just a big misunderstanding, right? Right? Mom, who's going to do all the chores if you've run away? Y you have to come back. Okay, call me back. Bye. I'm sure she'll call me back, right? I don't think she's coming back. She's left us here with all these chores! Well, maybe we can just not do the chores. What? We have to do the chores. I mean, my stomach is growling. Okay, well, Dad, you're another grown-up. You, you make the food. What? I don't know how to make food. Well, you better go try. All right, well, I guess there's a first time for everything. Maybe I could, like, make some pizza or some turkey or... I don't know. I'll just see what's in the fridge and throw it all together in a pot. Dad, you can't throw turkey and pizza in a pot and boil it. That will be gross. Okay, Daisy. Who made you, boss? I didn't even tell you what to do yet. Well, you were going to. 
Of course I was going to. I'm the older sister, so I get to boss you around. No, you don't, Molly. You don't get to boss me around. Girls, just do some chores, please. All right, I'll vacuum. You do the laundry. Okay, Molly. I guess I can do the laundry. I guess vacuuming isn't so bad. I really miss my mom, though. I didn't realize how much work she actually did around here. Now I feel kind of bad leaving it all up to her. Ugh. Ugh, this is a lot of work. Ugh. Dad, how's dinner going? Actually, I don't think I did too bad. Wow, actually, Dad, I think you did pretty good. Daisy, how's dishes going? Oh, wait, no, you're not doing the dishes. You're doing the laundry. Do not put dishes into the washing machine. Duh, Molly, I know that. Well, dinner's ready, Daisy, as soon as you put that in the wash. Dad, this looks scrumptious. Mm, mm. Ew! <laughs> Ew, this tastes gross. What is this? Um, dog food? Dog food? Dad, you can't feed us dog food. But it said real beef. Ew, gross. Daisy, don't eat it. Well, actually, Daisy, you should eat that. It's delicious. Molly, you're not going to try to trick me into eating dog food. Come on, guys. Let's just go to bed. Hopefully, we'll figure something out in the morning. Sounds good to me. I'm not really hungry anymore anyway. Mom? Mom? Mom, are you back yet? Mom? Oh, she didn't come back. Oh, Mom. I'm going to call her. Leave a message after the beep. Beep. Mom, it's Molly, and I just want to say that we really miss you. Not just because you do all the chores, but because we love you. You're our mom, and I hope you come home. I vacuumed. Daisy did the laundry, and, well, Dad tried to feed us dog food because he's terrible at cooking, but he tried. We promise from now on we'll try to help more, okay? We're sorry that we didn't appreciate you. I love you. Bye. I love you too, Molly. Mom? Mom! Oh, my gosh, I'm so happy to see you, Mom! Hey, Molly, I'm really proud of you guys for trying to help with the chores and understanding where I'm coming from. Mom, I missed you so, so much. <laughs> I really did miss you. Oh, I missed you girls so much too. I'm sorry I ran out. I just felt like I didn't get any help or any break. We promise, Mom, that we're going to help more often. What do you help with? need help with today? Well, I sort of need help um, dusting and... Sorry, you can't do that. I gotta go outside and play. Molly? Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I didn't sleep at all last night. Wait, is my wife back? Oh, honey, I missed you. I stink at cooking. I'm sorry. It's all right, honey. You can help me in other ways. Oh, wow, you didn't even shave today. That's because I didn't get a wink of sleep. I'm not used to sleeping without you in my room. Oh, I missed you all too. Now come on, let's go to Grandma's house and pick up baby Kira. Mom, don't ever leave again, okay? Okay, as long as you guys promise to not take advantage of me. We promise! <laughs> Jail. Maybe you should think next time about not being so evil. What? I'm not that evil. Let me out of here, lady. Let me out. Are you now going to have a temper tantrum? Are you serious? I am going to have a temper tantrum. I'm hungry and I'm sleepy and I don't want to be in baby jail. <laughs> well, I think a timeout for you, little demon, is absolutely necessary. You just wait. My sister and my best friend are going to get me out of here. You just wait! Molly, it makes me so sad that my sister is a demon. Well, get over it. I am a demon. I'm a troublemaker and a prankster. Molly, you wouldn't be stuck in baby jail if you could just be good like me. <coughs> I'm, not, I'm not feeling so good all this time on the inside. It's made me sick. Molly, just stop being naughty and having time for tantrums, pranking everybody and stuff, and you could be good like me. Hey guys, are we ready to play hide and seek? No, Bookie, I'm afraid that Molly has gone demon again. What? 
Get out! Why are you going in my bathroom? You can't be in here. You're an angel. You're not allowed to be in jail. I'm just using the bathroom for a minute. It'll only take a second. Get off my potty! Demons only! Oh, you're so grumpy. I can get out. Um, Molly, no. They made an invisible force field. You can't get out of there. What? They, they really have locked me in? That's right, Molly. And we were going to play hide and seek today, too. I guess we'll have to play without you. Yeah, devil sister. You can't play because you're not good like we are. What? I can still play and I'll beat you guys. Okay, well, you have to make it to the safe zone, which is the kitchen, in two minutes. What? Well, okay. Just because I'm stuck in jail doesn't mean that I can't play hide and seek too. Good luck, Molly. If you can't make it to the safe zone in two minutes, you can't play hide and seek for the rest of the day. That's the rules. I can make it to the safe zone. You're just waiting to see. Good luck, Molly. You're going to need it. Just because I'm a demon doesn't mean I can't play hide and seek too. I can make it to the safe zone. I totally can. Hmm. What could I do to get there? Hmm. I could break this bed. <gasps> Wait, what? Is that a hole to get out? OMG. <laughs> I'm going to get to the safe zone in two minutes for sure. If I can find my way through this prison down here. I actually think it's a sewer. Wait a minute, there's a ladder. <gasps> yes. I wonder where it goes up to. Took me outside the school. Cool. All right, now I gotta just teleport back to the daycare. And I only have about 30 seconds left to go. Come on, why can't I run any faster? Oh yeah, because I'm a toddler and my legs are really short. Where's the kitchen? Where's the kitchen? Where's the kitchen? Sometimes I forget where I'm going. Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> Molly, how did you get here? Yeah, Molly, how'd you do it? Well, I sort of broke out of jail. <laughs> That's what us demon babies do best. <laughs> now let's play hide and seek. Um, okay, Molly, well, you're it. What? I don't want to be it. No. Come on, Molly, just be it the first time. Okay, well, here's the rules. You can only hide inside the daycare. I'm an angel, so I would never cheat. I'm an angel, so I'd never cheat. Okay, fine, I'm gonna count to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Molly, slow down, I need to actually hide. Okay, one, two, three. Well, while I'm waiting, I might as well eat this delicious cake. Mm, so good. Ready or not, here I come. The demon always wins because evil always wins. Just kidding. Not always, but sometimes. Wait a minute, I think I just saw Brookie. Brookie, I found you. <laughs> You're it next. You'll probably never find Daisy. She's super good at hiding. And she's super good at being good, too, because she's an angel. Blah, 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 blah. But these doors are locked, so I can't go in there. Um, She has to hide inside the daycare. So let's see if I can find her. Okay, I can't go in there. Hmm, where could she be? I'm gonna find you, Daisy. It's a, If it's the last thing I do. Wait a minute. <laughs> Guys, do you see that? <laughs> see right here? <laughs> Daisy, I know where you are. No, you don't, Molly. You'll never find me. Yes, I did. <laughs> How'd you know? You cheated. No, your name was like um above you onto the stairs, so I could tell that you were down there. That is cheating. No, that's just bad hiding on your part. Okay, Brookie, it's your turn. Um, it's saying I'm sick right now, but I feel fine. You're sick because you're a demon. Why do you always have to say so many mean things to me? Just because I'm a demon doesn't mean that I'm a bad person. <laughs> um, Molly, were you truly sad right there, or were you just lying? She's always lying. That's what demons do. 
Okay guys, enough fighting. Go ahead and hide and I'll see if I can find you. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I wanna get out of here. Then she'd never know where I was. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> She'll never find me here. Maybe I should hide out here. I'm not really sure. Yeah, no, definitely in here. Ooh, I can use the x-ray machine. Fun. What kind of trouble can I get into? Only oh, the hospital staff can use this? That makes me angry! <laughs> I wanted to play with that! It's not even fair! <laughs> Molly! Um, there you are. I thought I heard you having a temper tantrum from a mile away. What? How'd you find me first? Because you are so loud when you're angry and have a tantrum. Oh, man. I'm a demon and it gave me away and I got caught. It's not fair. It's totally fair, Molly. You have to be quiet when you're playing hide and seek. I don't like this game. I don't like it. Whoa, Molly, don't be such a sore loser. I don't like you and I don't like Dizzy and I don't like anybody. Molly, do you have to be a demon? I mean, it's hard being your friend when you're a demon. I don't care. It's, it's who I am. And if you don't love me like I am, then you're not really my friend. Oh, my little demon, it sounds like you need a nap. I don't need a nap. Don't you dare pick me up and put me in my crib. Put me down. I'd rather go to baby jail than have a nap. Oh, you're definitely getting a nap. La, 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 la. Quit singing to me. I kind of like it. La, 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 la. Lady, stop singing to me. It's making me feel kind of... Happy, and I, I don't want to be happy. Oh, it looks like you need a bath, and then you'll be all nice and clean for your nap. I don't, I don't want a nap. Oh, these bubbles are kind of fun. Hey, we were playing hide and seek, lady. You can't just interrupt our hide and seek game. Come on now, it's time for a night night. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. Oh man. Feeling super tired. This lady's good. She's good. No! I have to stay a demon! I have to! There you are, Molly. Oh, it's night night time. Guess you lose at hide and seek. What? No, I don't. I don't lose. Uh, yeah, Molly, I think you actually do. I don't lose! I don't want to lose! <laughs> oh, yeah. She's a demon. Once a demon, always a demon. <laughs> Who's ready to watch this new movie? I'm so excited. I am too. I just kind of wish Dad was here. Well, he had to work for the weekend, honey, but we have this girls' weekend and it's going to be awesome, right? Starting with this new movie and then we can order a pizza. Sounds good to me. Oh, I wonder who this could be. Hello? Hi, Laura, it's your boss. I need you to come into work today. Um, sorry, Mr. McMahon, but, um, today is my day off. I don't care. You're the only one I could get a hold of on the phone. Ugh, I shouldn't have answered. Yeah, but you did, so I need you in here in an hour. But I don't have a sitter for my girls. What about your husband? He's away on a work meeting, and I, I, I can't get a babysitter this quick. Well, you, you gotta figure something out. I need you, or, you know, you're canned. What? You're gonna fire me if I don't come in on my day off? Oh, but I, I don't know if I can... Okay, I'll see you then. Bye. Wait, don't hang up. Oh, no. Now I need a babysitter at the last minute. Oh, I know, I could call Stacy. Yeah, she'll be available. I'm sure of it. Hi, this is Stacy. Make sure you leave me a message because I'm at the beach with my boyfriend and we're having a no phones weekend. You know, sometimes you just gotta disconnect, but I totally want to hear from you on Monday. Bye! Oh no, I can't call her. She's at the beach. 
Mom, 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 we don't need a babysitter. I figured it out. What? What do you mean you don't need a babysitter? Well, I'm old enough now. I'm I'm responsible. I can take care of Daisy and, and baby Kira. They are my little sisters, you know. Yeah, boy. You're the least mature out of all of us. Even less mature than the toddler. Hey, Daisy, that's not true. Well, I don't know, Molly. Uh, you're still a bit young to watch yourselves, let alone your sister. Daisy and I can manage it, can't we, Daisy? I don't see why not. Um, baby Q is usually pretty well behaved, Mom. We could do this. No, I'd feel much better having your grandmother watch you. No, <laughs> you have no idea what it was like last time Grandma was here. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Grandma! Grandma! Grandma, you're watching Cops? I love this episode. It's great. Why are you out of bed? It's very late, Molly. Grandma, I, I, I'm having trouble falling asleep. Well, I gave you some warm milk. What else could you want? Needy much. Grandma, I, I watched that scary movie with Freddy, and now I'm afraid if I fall asleep, he's going to kill me. Grandma, if I fall asleep, I might die. Welcome to my world. Huh? What? Oh, never mind. You'll be fine. Go back to bed. I need to watch this episode of Cops. It's really important. Grandma! Molly, bed. Fine! See, Mom? Grandma doesn't really watch us anyway. We sort of just watch ourselves. Oh, well, I, I'm only going to be gone for a couple of hours, and so I think it would be a good test to see if you girls actually are mature enough. But if you have any problems, you call me right away. Okay, Mom! Thanks for entrusting us with this. I don't know if it's such a good idea, but... Daisy, be quiet! All right, girls. Again, if you have any problems, call me right away. We will, Mom. Bye! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm in charge. So you two go make me some popcorn. Molly, we're not going to be bossed around like that. Yeah, Molly. I can bossed you around like that. Baby Kira, I can boss you around because, A... I am your older sister, and B, I'm a lot bigger than you. Okay, I can make you something to eat. Good job, baby Kira, good job. Ah, I knew having a little sister would pay off eventually. I make my something very good like that. I get a turkey, and I make it um, nice and clean for her. I put it in washing machine. <laughs> I, I go round, round, and round, and then I hit up in the dryer. <laughs> she loves his snack. Molly, do you smell that? It smells kind of like burning turkey. <laughs> well, Dad's not here and it's not Thanksgiving, so it can't be that. Are you running the dryer? Me? No, I never do my own laundry. Mom does it for me. And since she's not here, you could. Molly, where's baby Kira? I don't know. I better go check on her. What? <gasps> baby Kira, did you put turkey in the, in the, oh my gosh, Daisy, I need your help here. What is it, Molly? Oh, I'm going to miss this episode of Cops. Holy guacamole, you're no better than Grandma. <gasps> oh my gosh, she put turkey in the trial. That definitely ruined it. Oh, who's explaining this to Mom, not me? Nope, nope, nope. I'm not explaining it. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello? Hey, Molly, I'm just checking in. <laughs> Hour one, done. If you girls are home alone, how's it going? I didn't buy turkey in the dryer. What did she say? Uh, she said, everything's great at home. You just keep on working, Mom. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, boy, let's get this mess cleaned up, baby Kira. Go get some paper towels. I can't play with towels and I have that. I do like your snack. Uh, yeah, I love my snack. What are you going to tell a three-year-old? Okay, baby Kira, it's time for your bath. You're a big girl now, so you go draw the water and get in the tub, okay? This is where I'm taking a bath. Oh, yeah. Molly, you cannot take a bath in the hot tub. You'll make bubbles everywhere. Oh, my gosh. My sister is so bossy. It's just a little bit of soap. I don't even know what she's talking about. Molly, you're going to ruin the hot tub. Oh, whatever. I'm not in charge of her. I'm just going to keep watching this cops episode. And if she gets grounded for life, not my problem. Whee! Get fun. Molly, have you checked on baby Kira in a while? What do I look like? Ugh. Why well, I got to do everything around here? 
Rick, you are the oldest. You said you were going to watch everybody. Now, all of a sudden, you don't want the job. Baby Kayla, you doing okay? Oh, my gosh. She's taking a bath in the toilet. Ah, baby Kara! Ah, get out of there. I'm not touching her. She may have touched a poo-poo. Ew. Hello? Hey, Molly. Hour number two. How are things going at home? Um, perfect. I asked back with Dudu. Oh, yeah, perfect, Mom. What did baby Kara just say? Um, she's so happy, too, too. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Oh, boy. This has turned into quite the disaster. All right, everybody in bed. I was already coming in here, Molly. I can't even deal with this anymore. I can't put my sack to sleep because Mama is singing me Night Night song. Okay, come on. I'll sing you the Night Night song. Come into your room. Come on. I can't buy our first I had to go poo poo. Oh, seriously? No, just kidding. <laughs> then get back here and go to bed. Sing this song. I need to go to bed. Night night, tucked in tight. See you in the morning light. Night night, turn off the light. Go to sleep! That's not how it goes. Night night, tucked in tight. See you in the morning light. Night night, tucked in tight. See you in the morning light. You forgot the problem. You got the problem. Turn off the light. Okay, okay. Just stay calm. Who's knocking at the door? It's so late. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's a burglar. Wait a minute. They probably wouldn't knock at the door. Who could it be? Molly, never answer the door when mom's not home. But I have to know who it is. It could be. It could be like the sweepstakes and I've won a million dollars. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Grandma, what are you doing here? Oh, hello, honey. Your mom called me. She's going to be a little late and she was a little worried about you. Jiminy Cricket, I can take care of myself and my sisters. Oh, really? She told me baby Kira was taking a, a bath in the toilet. How did she know that? Wait a minute. Mom, have you been spying on us? Mom! Sorry, Molly. Uh, it's just something parents do sometimes when we're super worried about you. You can talk to me through the security cams? Yeah, and I'm not quite sure you're ready for the responsibility of taking care of your little sister yet. Do you have a camera in, like, every room, Mom? Well, not every room, but quite a few of them. So, I prefer it you stay here with Grandma. Oh, man! Don't worry, we can watch cops together. Oh, boy. <laughs> Daisy, are you ready for this? I don't know, Molly. I don't know. I mean, we have to climb and climb and climb and climb. And it, it's, it's like going all the way to um, outer space. <laughs> yeah, it says stop climbing when you hear the clicking sound. Um, But look, we can deploy a saving rope. So um, I'm hoping that like there's a parachute and some ropes and stuff in here. No, Molly, I'm pretty sure we're going to fall to our death. Uh, yeah, but look, Max from Stranger Things is in here. Oh, she looks so happy. Molly, I don't think that's Max from Stranger Things. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, probably not. Things didn't end so well for her. Definitely not. Hi, I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> I'm so excited. Whoa, she's like so excited to die. Yeah, because I'm sure we're all gonna die in this game. Uh, everybody's fighting to go up the ladder. Me first, me first. No, I'm going first. Ow, you pushed. Whoa, guys, come on. Ow, you got... You made me fall on my butt. That was just rude. That was rude. Okay, me first. Oh, finally, I made it up the ladder. Ow. Oh, my gosh. I just knocked somebody off the ladder. Ow. Oh, I fell on my head. Uh, Molly, you're not doing so good. Okay, I'm listening. Guys, every time I stop, it's because I hear like a... A sound like the ladder is literally gonna break in half. Oh no! <laughs> oh man! That time I didn't pay attention to it. I just kept climbing. 
It's because this thing is so rusty. Like, this doesn't pass code. Not one little bit. Who are the grown-ups who made this? Ah, oh, I fell on my head. Somebody call an ambulance. Oh, yeah. I stopped in time that time. Oh, it's getting dark. Look at all the rungs. Ah! <laughs> I found my butt again. Maddie, I'm almost to the moon. Well, good for you, Daisy. All right, I'm just going to look up and see where Daisy is. OMG. I can't even see her anymore, guys. If you guys see me stop, it's because when you hear that sound... It's literally the creaking of the, the like, ladder... Oh, I, I went too soon. It was still creaking. Ow. Guys, quit pushing. Seriously. <laughs> that girl's yawning. Oh, it's because it's so late. I'm just, ah, I'm so tired. Why don't you go home and like go to bed or something? Because I've been climbing this ladder all day and I just, I don't want to lose. Oh man, that guy's got a rope. Uh, deploy... Deploy rope. Oh, guys, look at Ah! Oh, man, I'm on my head now. Oh, that didn't work out so good. All right, let me try again. What? Okay, um... I need to disconnect this rope. <laughs> that is weird. This entire game, guys, is literally me climbing a ladder. Please subscribe, guys. Please slam the like button. Oh! Oh, oh, am I going to make it? It's going to creak again. I just know it. Oh, this is, this is like a very, come on now. Oh, this is like a very weird red light, green light. Oh my gosh. You guys hear that? Oh, ow. You guys are pushing and shoving. All right, I need a private server. I'm climbing on the edge, and guys, even though there's a creaking sound, it doesn't seem to matter. <laughs> I found a glitch in this game. -na 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 -na. What's this, remove? Oh, wow, guys. This is the highest I've ever gotten. Holy guacamole. I don't know why, even when it creaks, I'm not dying. Oh my gosh, I can see the entire world from up here. This is amazing. Ah! Oh, oh my gosh. The Star Squad's in here. Oh my god, I'm a huge fan of yours. Ow. Well, don't watch me fail at this because I'm epically failing. Daisy's just stopped answering. I don't even know where Daisy is. I'm all the way to the top, Molly. You are? Seriously? Or maybe if I go on this angle again. All right, guys. I'm not taking any chances. Every time it creaks, guys, I stop. Um, Guys, would it be amazing if I made it all the way to the top of this ladder? Like, what happens if you make it all the way to the top? Do you get, like, an award or something? There's no survivors, Daisy. You're not at the top. Wait, did I just see her? I feel like she's lying to me about where she is. <gasps> there she is! Okay, yeah, she didn't make it to the top. You stinking liar, Daisy. Um, yeah, okay, well, whatever. Oh my god, I'm so afraid of heights. Bye, Daisy, see ya. Da Daisy. <laughs> oh, Molly, you're so rude. My face was right there. <laughs> That's one way to win. Just fart on the ladder. Daisy, you're going to knock me down. Stop. Molly, you stop. Seriously, if we're ever going to make it to the top of this, we have to stop when it creaks. Oh, I think it's creaking because I ate too many cupcakes. And um, I'm just a little too fat for this ladder. What's the weight limit on this thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doing good so far. 
Beautiful. And she. Guys, all right. Look, it shows the meter over here of how far I've made it. Oh, well. People are just dying left and right. You see that person just fall? Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. Ah! Ah! Why did I fall? I didn't even feel like I did anything wrong. Okay. When they said this game was impossible, uh, they were totally right. Oh, my God. It's Molly. It's Daisy. There's the yawning girl again. Are you still tired? Oh, yeah. I'm so tired, but I'm not going to give up. All right, guys, if I could just make it halfway, I'd be so happy about this. All right, guys, let's do this. <laughs> this thing is so creaky, like, oh, MG. People are just dying left and right. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's getting really creaky now that I'm at the top. I'm like afraid to move up here. Guys, look, somebody's name is nobody. They don't even have a name. It's just kind of sad. You're not a nobody. You're a somebody. Believe in yourself. Guys, I'm farther than I've ever been before. I feel like this might not be impossible. Are those bats I keep seeing flying by? I don't like bats. All right, guys, here we go. Daisy? Uh, Molly, I'm just hanging around. Oh, Daisy, are you stuck? Uh, ah, Molly, I'm dying! Ah! Oh, yeah. That was definitely a brain injury. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, guys. Okay, so now we're in a different fall game. And this one, basically, you have to reach the top of the tower before it collapses. Climbing makes you lose your energy. But gaining it back um, after every ladder you go up. So you better move fast. Um, okay. <laughs> Molly, I don't know. You think we're going to be able to do this? Yeah, this is going to be a piece of cake. Wait, why am I inside this house? That's just kind of creepy. Is Oh, there's a picture of me. This must be my house. Yeah, because I wouldn't have a picture of you. Hey! Why not? I'm your sister. Don't you want to have a picture of me? Absolutely not. Don't remind me that you're my sister. Ooh, what am I eating at my house? Um, ooh, Fruit Loops. Molly, are we going to climb this or not? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm coming. I have a really nice house, but I need some furniture. Alright guys, I went into the wrong room. Um, okay, I, this is the first time I've been here. And apparently also it's Christmas. How do I get out of this house now? Ah! It's like a big circle. I think this is the way I came in. No, that's the bedroom. DZ, I'm stuck in this house forever. Like literally, I don't know how to get out. Oh, now I'm in the bathroom. And someone is pooping upside down. Oh my gosh, Molly, she's drowning in toilet water. Oh, ew. Okay, I don't know how to help you here. Um, uh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I don't know how to help you. <laughs> Molly, follow me, cheapos creepos. Can you believe there's somebody in the toilet water in there? Maybe they're, like, taking a bath. I don't think so, Molly. I don't think so. All right, where's this tower? Is this it? The climbing tower over here? No, Molly, you gotta drive there. Duh. Okay, I've got a cool car. Whoa. Do I know how to drive? It doesn't matter, Molly. It's just a teleporter. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um. O-M-G. Look at this tower. I can't even see the top of it. Daisy, no cheating. Ah, uh, I'm not cheating if they offer something I could buy. Okay, here we go. All right, um, it will collapse in 400 and 540, like, three seconds. So I just got to climb, 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 climb. All right, I'm doing pretty good. There's some people ahead of me, but 
Oh man, they're not doing so good. <laughs> oh, people are dying left and right. Because my energy is like going to get lower and lower and lower. I'm trying not to let it though. Seriously. Because I ate a cupcake, so I should have the most energy of everyone here. Um, guys, I'm really sorry. But I kind of have to fart. <coughs> oh, Molly, that's gross. Sorry, uh, different ca camera angle. Daisy, you're beating me? Yep, totally. Daisy, you sort of beat me at every Roblox game there ever was. Guys, look at this. Um, I can see clouds. We're like up in the clouds. Just keep climbing, climbing, climbing. Climbing, 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 climbing. Uh, Daisy, I think we might actually make it to the top of this one. Which is better than the other game because um, there was, it was impossible. You literally could not make it to the top of that one. But this one, this one's a different story. Molly, maybe she was drinking the toilet water. I didn't see a Coke machine around here anywhere. And doing all this climbing sure does make you thirsty. Oh my gosh. Look at this, Daisy. We made it. Wait, are we supposed to climb up this over here? Oh god, we didn't make it. Better keep climbing, Molly. There's a lot of climbing to do. Oh my gosh, how much climbing do they want us to do? Well, it's not called climb, it's called fall, which I feel like is just setting us up for failure. Yeah, that's like your teacher giving you a test and writing an F on it before you even answer the questions. Oh yeah, true that, Molly, true that. Oh, come on. There better not be another tower after this one. I'm losing my energy. I'm losing my energy. Molly, maybe you could um, have a cupcake. I don't have a cupcake. I wish I did. I wish I did. Whoa, why am I going back down? Don't go down. Don't choose down. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Molly, we still have 400 seconds before it collapses. That's like four minutes. Yeah, but my energy keeps running out. What will I do then? Um, I don't know. You can't buy a snack or anything. <sighs> okay. Well, I think your energy goes up. It said every single ladder you climb. So if I can make it to the top of this quick enough, my energy should go up and I won't die. That's wishful thinking, Molly. Where's my sister? Oh, I, got, I can't stop climbing. I gotta climb really fast. Oh, God. My energy's going down. Am I gonna make it to the top, guys? I don't know. I really don't know. My energy's at 24. 23, 22, oh no, I'm starting to fade, I'm fading you guys, oh gosh, oh, oh, wait, did my energy go up, all right, it's going up guys, this is good news, but I'm not done making it to the top of the, the ladder yet, but you have to wait till your energy goes up, I know, tell me about it, um, but let's see where I am, because I don't see where I am on the list. Oh, it says we have zero success. That's not good. All right, let's do this. Let's keep climbing. I'm always climbing. I'm always climbing. This is the longest video of me climbing a ladder that I've ever made for YouTube. Guys, I have made, like, I think, like, 5,000 videos for YouTube. Can you guys believe that? Slam that like button if you think that's amazing. And guys, I have never climbed a ladder this tall for this long in any of those 5,000 videos before. So you've seen it here first, guys. This is, this is crazy. Um, guys, I really think this is the top of the ladder. And my energy is really bad. Maybe I should have waited longer at the bottom. I don't know. Come on, Molly, you can do this. Oh my gosh, I hope so. This girl ahead of me is a Star Squad fan, and she's like, come on, you can do this. I'm like, all right, I'm trying my best. I'm trying. Molly, uh, I think you're climbing down the ladder. Don't do that. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. My sister must be below me, but I can't look down there to see. Yeah, all I see is your butt as you climb up the ladder, Molly. <laughs> do not fart, Molly. No promises, no promises. Oh my gosh, guys, my energy's at nine. No, wait, if I stop, will it just, oh God, it keeps going down. Guys, I'm not gonna make it to the top before I die. Okay, I just fail. I fail at these games. That's why they're called fall. And I'm about to die in one second. Ah! Oh. oh my 
my god, I had to start back at the bottom? That was lame! <laughs> Molly, Molly. Okay, let's spectate my sister. Because I want to see if she actually made it all the way to the top. Daisy? Are you okay? Uh, Molly, do you see where I am right now? Whoa, Daisy. You're like almost in outer space. Uh, I hate to break this to you, but there's a zombie behind you. What? Are you serious? Brains. Eat your brains. I love them. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh, well, I better keep climbing. I hope your energy's okay, Daisy, because she is climbing right behind you. Oh, Molly, I just got bit by an eagle. Did you see that? Oh, wow, Daisy, that's, that's... Oh my God, it's coming back to bite you again. Ah! This is insane, Molly, the eagle's trying to kill me. Uh, Daisy, just keep climbing. Climb fast, climb faster, Daisy. Oh, yeah, she's she's a goner. Who said there was going to be eagles up here to kill us? That's just wrong. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, Daisy. Um, but it looks like you're going to die. Oh, man, the zombie's even beating you. That's because she can't die. That's not even fail. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of unfair. I have to admit. Oh, Daisy, I think you, I think you figured it out. I hope so, Molly, because this... This eagle, the hawk, or whatever it is. I don't know. Let me look at it. I actually think it's a hawk, Daisy. I don't think it's an eagle. It's hard to see, but maybe a falcon or something. Oh, uh, uh, owl. I don't know. It's just trying to kill me. The psycho killer owl. Oh, man. A psycho killer owl. No, I think it is a hawk. I can't see. It's just evil. It's one big evil bird. Daisy? What's happening? Um, I'm trying to go on the other side of the ladder. So, ah! Uh, DC, I think it's safe to say that that didn't work out for you. Oh my gosh, Daisy! Holy guacamole, Daisy! Daisy! Oh my gosh! Th 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 there's a helicopter up here and it's shooting at me! Ah, uh, this game gets crazier and crazier, guys. Ah, uh, Daisy, what do you think of this game? I think I wasted 20 minutes of my life. <laughs> oh, come on, Daisy. It was pretty fun. It was crazy. Totally. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for watching us die a million times at this. You're the best fans ever. We love you. Bye. Bye, guys. Good morning, my class. Oh, you guys look so adorable for our field trip today. Now, I want to tell you a few rules. Okay, what are they, teacher? Ow, could you stop roller skating on my head? Rude! Um, can you please go over there? I, okay, thank you. Uh, she didn't realize that, um, we weren't ready to go to the fun house yet. So she was just, you know, she's one of the chaperones. She's very excited. Yeah, okay, but what are the things we have to know as rules? Because I'll probably break all of them. Molly, if you break them, you'll never be allowed to go on a field trip ever again. Where's everybody else? Well, they're with their chaperones, and you guys are with me. So, today I want to tell you... Brittany, I have a question! Molly, please. I need to tell you how you're going to remain safe as a class. Everyone has a chaperone. You and Daisy have me, Brittany, as a chaperone. You should check in with me every half an hour. Every half an hour. Okay. Um, what else? You should always stay inside the fun house. Never talk to strangers. We want you to be safe on your field trip. And lastly, have tons of fun. You guys are going to have a blast today at the new Twilight Daycare Fun House. I can't wait, Whitney, but will my friend Boogie be there? Of course she will. She just has a different chaperone. At least we didn't get Dala. Look at him over there. She's so grumpy looking. Yeah, really. I hope Brookie didn't get Darla. Actually, Brookie did get Darla. Ugh, poor best friend. Oh man, she's gonna have the worst field trip ever. Wow, Molly, look at this place. I know, it looks amazing. Come on, let's go inside. Come on, girls, now remember the rules. You must check in with me every half an hour. No going outside the fun house and don't talk to strangers. And have fun, got it. Come on, Daisy. I'm looking for Brookie. Well, she'll catch
catch up with us. Oh my gosh, this looks like so much fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow, Marty, you made that run into me, rude. <laughs> OMG, look at this slide. Whee! <laughs> it goes down into a giant ball pit. Ow, that kind of hurt. Daisy, you're the only kid I know that comes to the fun house and doesn't have any fun. I think I'd rather just be studying. Oh my gosh, Daisy. Lighten up. Have some fun. This is the good times. Wee. <laughs> Marty, I think Blinky's getting here. Okay, well, I'll go meet her at the door. Whoa. <laughs> OMG, that was so fun. Okay, I don't see Brookie. Where is she? I'm just gonna go outside here for a minute and take a look and see if I can find her. Brookie? Brookie? Well, hello there. You must be having a great time at the fun house today. Huh? What? Who, who are you? Oh, <laughs> I just got a job at the fun house, so, you know, I work here. Oh, well, um, uh, okay, what did my teacher say again? Um, uh, uh, oh yeah. Don't talk to strangers. Sorry, but I can't talk to you. And also, I have to go potty. Well, I've got a potty inside the fun house, but you could use the back entrance. Oh, really? That's really nice of you. I guess I could trust you. Follow me. <laughs> okay. Well, I really have to go poo-poo. This doesn't look like a back door to the fun house. What's going on? What's going on is, <laughs> now you're my prisoner. Hey, pull me down! What are you doing? <laughs> you're a famous YouTuber. You're worth a lot of money. I'm guessing that your parents at Twilight Daycare will pay a lot of money to get you back. And of course, if they don't, well, I'll just throw you to the fishes. Wait, what? No! Oh my god, why are they talking to strangers? Now don't move, or else. Well, I can't swim, so there's no problem with me moving. But you don't know how to do this. I mean, wait, what's your name? Bad dude. That's not your real name. Actually, I'm not telling you my real name. But you can just call me Bad Dude. Bad Dude, come on. I, I, I don't want to be kidnapped. Well, if they pay the ransom, then you can get away. Oh, no. This is the worst day of my life. Hey, look, there's Blinky. Hi, Blinky. <laughs> Daisy. Whoa, Plucky, what's wrong? I, I, I just saw Molly get kidnapped. What? Are you kidding me? My sister? Yeah, and, and also, I really have to go poop. Oh, well, um, maybe we should worry about that first. No, we should definitely go get Molly. I'll hold it. Besides, I'm wearing a pull-up. Okay, why don't you see who get kidnapped to? She's on a boat, a boat, I think, out in the ocean. Well, I can't swim too good, so that won't be any help. I can swim, but first we gotta figure out what he wants. What does he want with our friend? Well, like I said, I can't swim, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, Blookie. Well, I have an idea. You go to the police, and I'll swim out and see if I can rescue Molly. That's a crazy idea! Are you insane? You're a toddler, you can't rescue her from a kidnapper, duh! I can't lose my sister and my best friend. Well, it's the only choice I think we have. I'll find out what the kidnapper wants and try to convince him that we're going to give it to him. You go get the police. I don't think this is a good idea, but Pookie, let's work together. Okay, good luck, Daisy. Good luck, Pookie. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Please stop singing and dancing. You're so annoying. Yeah, right. I'm like the world's best singer and dancer. No, seriously. You're not. You're not! Whatever. I know you love my singing and dancing. Oh, I hope someone comes to pay your ransom soon. Well, maybe you should s tell them what the ransom is. I mean, you're just floating around out here. And I'm hungry! Brookie? Well, what are you doing here? I'm swimming out to save you. Ha <laughs> ha, save her. What do you want to get my friend back? I want... A million dollars. Whoa. You think I have that kind of money because I'm famous? I think you do. Um, well, you're sadly mistaken. <laughs> I'm not even 18 yet. I hardly have any money. And the money I do have, I spent all on cupcakes at Starbucks. And they were delicious. Molly, I don't think this guy is, is, well, 
totally sane. I heard that! He's a few cookies short of a picnic. A few crayons short of a box. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Hold it right there, criminal! Ha ha ha! Looks like my best friend called the cops. What? I don't... Hey! Get, get out of here! Yeah, yeah! I don't want to go to jail! Well, looks like you are, and you're not getting your million dollar ransom either. Wait a minute. Is that cop blowing bubbles at me? <laughs> you're not going anywhere. And now I'm kidnapping your friend, too. What? No, I have to do my homework! Hey, you can't just take these kids. I I I'll get a taser after you. Well, um, I don't like tasers, but all you have is a toy gun. This isn't a toy. I'm a cop. Now give me those children. Now. Fine. But this isn't the last you've heard of me. Yes, it is, because I'll never talk to strangers ever again. Come on, Molly. Let's go back to shore. I'm not a very good swimmer. Here, um, use this giant unicorn raft. It'll make it easier for you. Brookie, you really are my best friend. Thanks for rescuing me. You have to give some credit to Daisy, too. She literally went to the cops and got them to come here and, like, believe her that, um, that you were being kidnapped. Wow. I can't believe my teacher was right. Never, ever talk to strangers and stay with the class. And also, I need to, uh, go pee pee. Do you think it's wrong if I pee in the ocean? Um, I don't think the sharks or whales will mind. <laughs> well, sorry about this, sharks and whales. <laughs> Hi, you must be Molly and Daisy. Molly, you didn't wear your scrubs. Welcome to your internship. Are you both excited to be here? I am. I think I'm going to be great at this summer internship. Uh, I'm not really that excited. Oh, well, why did you take this internship then, Molly? Uh, because my teacher said that if I didn't want to have detention for the entire summer, uh, I needed to do this internship. Really, Molly? That's the only reason? Yeah, pretty much. Well, I have some exciting news. You guys are going to be helping us in the maternity ward, taking care of these adorable babies that have just been born. That sounds ad adorable and amazing. Seriously, I didn't sign up for this. Lots of pooping and diapers and throw up and ugh. This sounds like a horrible internship. I would have rather had one at Dunkin' Donuts. That way I could have eaten free donuts all day long. Molly, that's all you think about is your stomach. Trust me, these babies are so adorable. You're not going to mind changing those poopy diapers, Molly. Speak for yourself, lady. That sounds gross, disgusting, and, and, and yucky. Well, why don't we get started, guys? Wait, Molly, you definitely need a pair of scrubs. I'll go get you some. Perfect, now you're all set. These are itchy. Ah, uh, uh, they're itching me. Molly, uh, you're so annoying. Sometimes I wonder how I even got stuck with her as a sister. Okay, girls, follow me and I'll take you right to the nursery. We have so many adorable babies right now. Yeah, super adorable crying little monsters, I bet. Oh, look at them all. They're so cute! Oh, I want to hold this one. See, Molly? Maybe this internship is for you after all. Here you go, lady! This thing's crying! Of course she is. She's a baby. Watch this. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, 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 la. See? She's all happy now. Uh... What's that smell? It's your first day on the job and your first poopy diaper, Molly. Have fun. I've got to go see patients. Bye. Daisy, you take this baby. No, she's full of doo-doo. I've got my own babies to take care of. Okay. Ugh. All right. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, la, la. laugh that's awesome okay let's change your diaper and then i'm gonna put you right back to bed 
Oh, look at this little baby. It says her name is Amanda. Amanda? Wait a minute. This baby looks a lot like... Amanda the Adventurer! Well, I, I, I think anyway. <laughs> Molly, that's funny. Amanda the Adventurer is A, much older than this baby, and B, a video game and not real. But her face, it, it, it looks just like Amanda, and, and her name is Amanda. Maybe somehow she's turned back the hands of time and, and, and became a baby. I think she's adorable. Oh, I see you girls have met the little baby Amanda. Sad story, she's an orphan. Wait, what? Yeah, we don't know who her parents are. I guess nobody wanted her. I can't understand why. Isn't she adorable? I think she is. Daisy, don't you dare pick up that baby. What? Why wouldn't I? She's so cute. Hi, Amanda. I'm Daisy. Nice to meet you. Oh, look, she's totally harmless, Molly. Do you think that your mom and dad would be okay if Amanda stayed with you for a few nights? She's been going home with me in the evening since she's not adopted yet, but I could use a break. I've been pulling a lot of all-nighters. Uh, the answer is no, absolutely not, and can't do it, no way, nada. Molly, of course we could. Mom loves babies, and we take especially good care of her. Aww. Great! Then I'll send her home with you until we find an adoptive mom or dad. Um, uh, uh... Mr. Giggles, I had to do this horrible internship today, and it wasn't any fun. Oh, hi, Molly. I see you're telling Mr. Giggles about your day. You've been doing that since you were born, practically. You love that stuffed monkey. I really do. Mom, um, uh, so I sort of brought home some homework. You know, I'm pretty much an overachiever in everything. Why are you holding a baby from the hospital, Daisy? It's an orphan. Her name is Amanda, and the doctor asked if we could take care of her as a family for a couple of nights. Wait, what? You nominated us, Daisy? Uh, well, uh, it's been a while since I've had a newborn in the house. Yeah, tell me about it. Considering she's the Amanda the Adventurer from that evil, evil video game, I thought it was a bad idea, too. Molly, stop saying that. She is not. Holy guacamole, she's so rude. Well, I guess we could watch her for a few nights. That is, until she's adopted. Mom, send her back. She's evil. Oh, hi, little sweetheart. Yeah, Molly, we're evil. She's like the sweetest baby ever. Okay, girls, why don't you go ahead and change out of your scrubs and into your pajamas? It's getting late. Come on, Mr. Giggles. You're the only one that understands me. Ah, man, that internship really wore me out. Good night, Daisy. Good night, Molly. Don't forget to say good night to Mr. Giggles. Good night, Mr. Giggles. When are you going to let that stuffed animal go? It's been a, a long time since you've owned that. You're like a big kid now. You don't need a stuffed animal. Be quiet. Mr. Giggles will be with me always and forever. Now, good night, Daisy. That was an awesome night's sleep. Right, Mr. Giggles? Mr. Giggles? Mr. Giggles? Molly, do you have to be so loud in the morning? Oh, I just woke up, but I haven't had any coffee yet. Daisy, Mr. Giggles is missing. I always say good morning to him, and he's not in my bed. Maybe he fell behind the bed. You do roll around a lot in your sleep. Yeah, good point. No, he's not back there. It's that evil Amanda the Adventurer, baby. She probably took him. Molly, Amanda is a newborn. How would she take your Mr. Giggles stuffed monkey? She's just a baby. I don't know, but she's evil, I say. She's evil. Good morning, Molly. Mom, that Amanda girl, she has to get out of here. You mean the newborn that's still sleeping? What are you talking about? She stole Mr. Giggles. 
Molly, a newborn can't steal Mr. Giggles. Why does nobody believe me? That looks just like Amanda the Adventurer. She probably killed her woolly stuffed animal, and now she's after Mr. Giggles. And he's my best friend. Molly, oh my goodness. I don't know why you're so obsessed with this Amanda the Adventurer game, but I'm telling you, that baby Amanda has nothing to do with it. Now go eat your waffles. Molly, the waffles are still in the oven. What's, what's that smell? It smells like something's burning. There is something burning in the oven. Maybe maybe it's the waffles. Is is that is that Mr. Giggles in the oven? Ah, how'd he get in there? Don't worry, Molly. Just just pull him out and I'll spray him with the fire extinguisher. Mr. Giggles! Don't worry, we're rescuing you! Oh man! He's got a big hole in him now! I've had this since I was a baby! He's he's ruined! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Who would put Mr. Giggles in the oven? Daisy, did you do this? What? No! I'm the good daughter! I would never do something like that! Even though Molly is the most annoying sister ever. <laughs> I'm just saying I would never do something so cruel, Mom. Well, somebody put Mr. Giggles in the oven. Don't worry, Molly. I can sew the hole back together. He'll never be the same. <laughs> He'll never be the same. But you'll still love him the same. Now, who could have done this? It was that baby. It was that evil baby. <gasps> I have a good idea to find out who did this to Mr. Giggles. You do? What? Molly, it's okay, honey. I'm going fi to fix Mr. Giggles. But in the meantime, let's look at our security cameras. Wait, you have security cameras? Yeah, of course we do, in case somebody breaks in. Yeah, let's figure this out, Mom. Bet it was Amanda. Molly, Amanda is a newborn. We've go gone over this. But it wasn't Daisy, so who could it have been? Gosh, we have to take that baby back to the hospital right now. Come on, we'll get her and we'll take her right back to the hospital where she came from. Okay, Mom. Wait, Mom? Where's Amanda? She was she was here. I, I put her to sleep and, and I just checked on her this morning, not that long ago. Oh my God, she's escaped into Brookhaven. And she probably wants to kill us all. Is she under the bed? Mom, no, she escaped. Did you not catch that? She probably wants to kill us all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can't believe this. An evil baby is a psycho and on the loose. Yep. And this is how the story ends. Well, no, not really, because, you know, you still have Mr. Giggles, even if he does have a hole in him now. Mr. Giggles, I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened to you. I love you anyway, though, even though you're a little charred from being in the oven. Molly, we have to stop this Amanda the Adventurer before it's too late! <laughs> It's time to get up. Come on, you're gonna be late for school. No, no, I'm not going to school today. Tell him, tell him I, I quit. Molly, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Come on, Daisy, you're usually out of bed. No, not today. She doesn't want to get up today. No, I'm not getting up ever again. I'm so tired. Uh, is it summer yet? What's wrong with you, girls? You've been this way all week. Come on, get out of bed. No, can't cat. Ugh, okay, fine. I'm gonna go get your mom and she'll probably have a bucket of water and she'll dump it right on your head. <laughs> Good one, Dad. Good one. Daisy, I dare you not to move. I dare you not to move. Dare accepted! Tired. So 
many months of school. Yeah, ma'am. Is it summer yet? No, girls. You still have another month or so of school before summer vacation. Now get out of bed, please. Nope. Can't do it. Oh my gosh. Here I go with a bucket of water. I don't care. I'll just have a water bed. <laughs> really? Ugh. You girls are so frustrating. They won't get out of bed for me either. Wait, what? This is like... How many days in a row now that they won't get out of bed for school? This is so unlike Daisy. Yeah, I mean, Molly's always been kind of a troublemaker when it comes to going to school, but not Daisy. Ugh, I don't know what to do, Laura. These girls have got to get to school. Hmm, I have an idea. Come here, Dan, and I'll whisper it to you. Okay. Really? You want to try that? I definitely do. This is going to work. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Molly, we should probably get out of bed now. Ooh, what now? I'm thinking all day I can sleep in here. Molly, it's like one o'clock. We have to get up. Besides, uh, I won the deal because um, I stayed in bed the longest. What? No, you didn't. See, you got out of your bed. But you're already out of your bed. Whatever, Molly. We both know I'm the winner. No, you're not. Whatever. I'm going to go get some cereal. Ah, we didn't have to go to school. This was fabulous. Molly, wait for me. Oh, you took the elevator before I could get down there. Hey, wait a minute. Where, where's mom and dad? I don't know. Maybe they're in their office or something. I didn't see them in their office. O-M-G! We have the whole house to ourselves! Mmm. That's very good. Mmm. Molly, you're actually eating an apple? Yeah, I am because I'm so hungry. Molly, there's waffles in here. You should eat that. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Molly, I kind of want to go to school now. I mean, I don't want to be late and get detention again tomorrow. Well, you're already late, DZ. It's like one in the afternoon. Yeah, but, click, 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 click. Um, I, I'm going to get detention, and I I don't want to. Well, you're already late. Yeah, but if I don't show up at all, then I'll definitely get detention. <sighs> Fine, I'll call mom and see where she is and see if she'll drive us to school. It's ringing. Well, Molly, what well, well, did she pick up? No, she didn't answer. Let me try her number again. Oh my gosh, Daisy! It, 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 it's making the noise that her phone is disconnected! Well, try dad. Try dad. Oh yeah, good idea. Is it Geek? No! His phone is saying disconnected too! What? Our parents? Did they, did they abandon us? <laughs> Don't be silly, Daisy. Don't be silly. But Molly... We, we've been so naughty and we haven't gotten out of bed for school. And, and, and now they're not here and the phone is disconnected. When have they ever just left us and not made us get up for school? Wow, you're right, Daisy. I'm going to go to their room and see if their suitcases are there. Good idea, Molly, good idea. Daisy, you check the bathrooms. Why, Molly? Because Dad had enchiladas for dinner last night and he might be in there. <laughs> Molly, I don't think so. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check in their closet or their dresser or whatever. See if their suitcases are there. What? Their, their suitcases are are missing. Yeah, Dad's not in the bathroom either. Okay, let me check the family safe. OMG! There's only $100 left in here. <gasps> Molly, they took the rest of the money and left. Her parents abandoned us. It's all because we were being naughty and wouldn't get out of bed for school. <laughs> Daisy, don't panic. This could be good. I mean, we could do this. We could we could be adults, right? No, Molly, you're the worst adult on the planet. You never get out of bed to your chores or your homework. And you don't even have a job. We can't even afford Eggo Waffles anymore. <laughs> okay. Think, Molly. Think. 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 How can I get Mom and Dad to come back? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 
Okay, I'll just turn on the TV and watch that. That'll help. What? The TV won't turn on? Oh my god, our parents didn't pay the cable bill! Molly, this is terrible! <laughs> oh my gosh, freaking out! Freaking out! Freaking out! Freaking out! Freaking out! Parents abandoned us! We are all alone! Molly? Molly? Are you okay? No! I can't, I can't adult! I can't adult! Molly, seriously, step out of it! Can't adult! Molly, I can't do this alone! Come back to me! Molly, breathe! Breathe! Oh, Daisy, I see the light! Molly, no! <laughs> Girls, oh, <laughs> there you are! Mom, you're back! I, 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 I didn't know where you were! Um, uh, Molly, are you okay? Molly? Yeah, uh, fine. Where were you guys today? We, we knew you were coming back. Yep, totally. Your mom and I just didn't want to deal with being adults anymore, so we went and got ice cream. Yeah, it was super fun. What? We thought you abandoned us and you had ice cream all day? Well, since you didn't want to get out of bed and you were being such brats, we decided we were going to take the day off. OMG, Daisy! Well, you have to admit, Molly, we kind of deserved that. Ugh, parents are, are crazy! Well, Molly, <laughs> are you going to start getting out of bed on time? Uh, Molly? Yeah, but can we get ice cream with you guys too? If you manage to get out of bed for school for one whole week on time, then I will buy you any ice cream cone you want. Okay, sounds like a deal, Mom. Just don't ever abandon us, okay? Never, Molly. Never. Oh, no, don't roll down the hill. Oh, my gosh. My soccer ball just almost ran down the hill, and if it rolled down that hill... Oh my gosh, I'd have to run so fast to catch it. Or I'd probably get hit by a car. Whoa, no, don't go over the edge. Oh man, not again. Hey, loser. Who, who's that? Do they have a Corvette or is that a Ferrari? I can't even tell the difference because I'm too poor to afford an amazing car like that. So, oh gosh, it's Sarah. Hey, loser. Hey, Sarah, where'd you get that car? My daddy bought it for me. Isn't it amazing? Uh, yeah, it really is. Could I go for a ride? No, loser. I just wanted to tell you that tomorrow is rainbow day. Everyone at school is supposed to wear rainbow. And what happens if you don't? You get expelled. What? You're kidding me. I don't even own anything that's rainbow. Well, you better get some because all the cool kids are going to be wearing this and all the losers who don't are going to get expelled. The principal said so. Now I'm out of here. You're really making me look bad. But, but what if I can't find something rainbow? Then you'll get expelled, duh. Oh my gosh, I gotta go tell Daisy. We're going to definitely have to go to the mall and go shopping. Daisy, Daisy, we're, Daisy. I've been here, Molly, making a snack. Ooh, that looks delicious. Daisy, no time for a snack! What? No time for a snack? Who are you? And what have you done with my sister Molly? <laughs> you always have time for a snack. Not today. Sarah just drove by in her Corvette Ferrari, I don't know, fancy car, and she said that if we aren't wearing rainbow tomorrow at school, we're gonna all get expelled. What? That must be not true. She was wearing a rainbow shirt. Whoa, if she did it, that must mean it's true. What are we going to do? We don't own anything rainbow colored. Well, we have to do your favorite thing. Go shopping, of course. I better call Brookie on the way. Let her know so she doesn't get in trouble. I mean, why didn't the principal just make an announcement? I don't know, but it sounds pretty serious. We need to get these rainbow colors and right away. <laughs> hey, this is Brookie. What's up? Brookie, this is an emergency. Molly, are you okay? What's going on? Are you at the hospital? No, but I just heard that if we don't wear rainbow tomorrow, we're going to be expelled. What? Oh my gosh, Molly, why? I don't know. Sarah didn't say. She just said we better wear rainbow tomorrow. 
Um, I don't own any rainbow. Me either, so wanted me to set them all? Hopefully we can find something there. Sure, I'll meet you there, Molly. Thanks for letting me know. I'd hate to get expelled. My parents would never forgive me. Me either. I'll see you at the mall, Brookie. Bye. Buddy, hop on. Do you want to get to the mall or not? Yeah, we have to get there before they close, or I don't know what we do. I don't know either, Molly. Let's just hope they have some rainbow-colored clothes. Well, I was just thinking that maybe this could be rainbow-colored because, like, look, it's got, like, the galaxy on it. Not good enough! You're gonna, you're gonna get detention and then get expelled and then never be able to return to school! Yeah, sounds like the principal is taking this really seriously. Yeah, it really does. Come on, let's go into Rockstar and see what we can find. No, no, no. How about this? This is striped like a rainbow. Buddy, there's only three colors. We must have more colors than that. Okay, um, uh, uh, what else do they got? Um, come on, don't let me down. Oh, look, I look adorable. I got mine. I got mine. Brookie, how are you doing? I can't find anything except for this silly party hat. Oh, no, yeah, that will not do. You need to change your shirt. Um, see if you can find something. They don't have anything in my size. Uh-oh. Brookie's gonna get expelled. Bum, bum, bum! No, Molly, no, no, no. We'll just help her. Even if we have to just color her shirt in with some markers. How about these? <laughs> these will work, right? No, you need a shirt that's rainbow. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. Daisy's got a good idea. We can go to the craft store and, and just color your shirt in with, like, some... Some, like, Sharpie markers, okay? All right. I feel like I'm going to look ridiculous. No, no, no. You'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Just one more color and it will be complete. Don't stick me with that needle, Molly. No, it's just how I'm making the colors on your tie-dye shirt. There! Perfect! Ah, oh, thank goodness. We all have a rainbow-colored clothes for tomorrow. Now none of us will get expelled. Yeah, but I got to get home and do my homework. I'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds good. Bye. Whoa. We all wore our rainbow shirts. We're not going to get expelled now. Come on. Let's get into class. Oh, look who it is. Loser one. Loser two. What? Who's that loser? And loser three. Oh, my God. Sarah, you you wore your Billie Eilish shirt. But, but, but today's rainbow day. And if you, you didn't wear rainbow, you're going to get expelled by the principal. <laughs> You losers fell for that. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Today is not Rainbow Day at all. Wait, it isn't? No, and now you guys look like a bunch of freaks, weirdos. Oh my gosh. I haven't worn a rainbow colored shirt since, I don't know, five years old, and now I look ridiculous. Everybody knows that these Billie Eilish shirts are the cool ones. Well, what about mine? Mine's tie-dye. Isn't mine cool? No, not even. I have your attention, please. This is the principal. Oh my gosh, the principal's gonna make an announcement. Probably that you guys are total losers. <laughs> Today is Rainbow Day. If you aren't wearing a rainbow shirt, please report to the office. What? What are you talking about? I, I, there's no such thing as Rainbow Day. Uh, Sarah, you better report to the office. The principal seems a little bit annoyed. Sarah, you didn't wear rainbow on Rainbow Day? What is going on here? Didn't you hear the rumor? If you don't wear rainbow on Rainbow Day, you get expelled by the principal. But you're the principal. Yeah, but, but I don't want to have to expel myself, so I wore rainbow too. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Where did you hear the rumor from? One of the teachers in the faculty room. They, they said that, 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 that we had to wear rainbow today. Or Brookhaven would be exploding. And also all the students would get expelled. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said Brookhaven would explode. Wait a minute. You made up rainbow day? Oh my gosh. The plot thickens. Um, Mr. Sminikins, I don't know what you're talking about, but I made up the whole rumor. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Why is... Why? So that I could make Molly, Daisy, and her friend Brookie look ridiculous in front of the whole school. But the only one that looks ridiculous is you. Everyone else is wearing rainbow. 
Well, that, that's just because I'm awesome. The entire football team and cheerleading team are all wearing rainbow. What? Billie Eilish is so not cool on Rainbow Day. What? The, I, I... You, uh, are expelled. What? But, but... I have no choice. It's the rules on Rainbow Day. Ah, this is the worst day ever. Molly and Daisy, I'm going to get my revenge on you. Ah! I wonder what happened to Sarah. She's been gone a really long time. Oh, I can't believe this. I got expelled. Oh my gosh, Sarah got expelled. Well, must be the rumors about Rainbow Day were actually true. <laughs> Dad, this show is hilarious. Mmm, these Doritos are good. Oh, baby Kira did not want to go down for a nap. Oh. Sorry, honey. I'll get her on the next one. Sure. Mom, you want some Doritos? That might make you feel better. Oh, yuck. Those smell so gross. Doritos smell gross? What's wrong with you? My stomach hurts really bad. Oh, honey. That sounds terrible. Would you like some chicken noodle soup? No! Don't talk about food! Ew! Do you want some water? No, I don't want anything. I just want my stomach to stop hurting. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. Maybe you have the stomach bug. And if you do, I'm going to stand way over here because I don't want it. That's good, because the smell of those Doritos is going to make me throw up. Oh, man. Maybe we better get you the puke bucket. Molly, seriously, please stop crunching those Doritos. Okay, Mom, I'll put them away. I'm so sorry you don't feel good. Here you go, honey. Here's the barf bucket, just in case you need it. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Incoming. <laughs> Ew, gross. Okay, um, it's about time for me to leave. <laughs> Marley, what's going on over there? You're interrupting my reading. Mom's throwing up into a bucket. Ew, gross. Is she in the stomach bug? I don't know what's wrong with her. She might. Oh, no. We're all going to catch it. I just know it. Don't worry, honey. I'll take care of baby Kira. Thanks, Dan. Uh. <sighs> Is it time to wake up already? Come on, honey. It's time to get up for work. And, well, the girls, they, they need to be driven to school because, you know, vacation's over. No, I can't get out of bed ever again. Seriously, honey? Is your stomach still upset? Yeah, I threw up all night long. Honey, maybe you should go to the hospital. No, you take the girls to school. I'll stay here. Hopefully I feel better soon. Come on, Molly, get in! Why are we riding in the sheriff's car, Dad? Because Mom can't drive us to school today. That's right, girls, and I have to hurry so I'm not late for work. We look like criminals back here, Dad! Yeah, we kind of do. <laughs> We're behind the metal cage, even. Yeah, if you didn't know, there's like a metal cage between the cop and the criminals, and we're we're in the back of the cop car, and we didn't even do anything wrong! Molly, if you get another detention, I'm going to put you back here for reals and take you to jail. Seriously? Is Mom going to be okay, Dad? I'm really worried about her. I'm worried, too, but I think she's going to be fine. I may need to take her to the hospital, and if I do... I'll tell the school right away so they'll send you home. Really? Well, then we should definitely take her to the hospital because <laughs> I want to get out of school. Molly! See you later, Dad. Have a good day. Bye, girls. Love you. Okay, now I've got to drop baby Kira off at preschool. Oh, my God. I forgot baby Kira at home. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dad's having a really hard time right now. Yeah, he's not used to doing Mom's schedule, but don't worry. He'll get the hang of it. Seriously? What is wrong with me? Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to die. Oh. Maybe a nice warm bath will help my stomach feel better. Oh, wait. You don't think? No, it couldn't be, Laura. Don't even think that. But it could be. Maybe I should take a test. Oh my gosh. I might be pregnant. Okay, the instruction said just to wait and see if it turns blue. If it's blue, it means I'm going to have a baby. I mean, I 
already have baby Kira and Molly and Daisy. Oh, there's going to be so many diapers. So many diapers. Okay, let's not freak myself out right now. It's probably just the stomach flu and I'll be fine tomorrow. Oh my gosh! It turned blue! O-M-G! Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'll just call Dan and ask him to come home and then um, we'll figure this out together. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hey honey, what's up? Are you still really sick? You need me to take you to the hospital? Um, Dan, could you come home? Um, okay, yeah. Let me just, let me just, um, um, tell my, my boss and, and I'll be right there. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea, Dan. See you in a little while. Are you okay, honey? Um, I think so. Okay, I'll be right there. Honey? Honey? What's, honey, what's wrong? Are you okay? What's that you have in your hand? Um, well, it's a pregnancy test. A what? A, a, a what? A pregnancy test. Uh, yeah, okay, but why do you have that? Well, I have it because my stomach felt like it did when I was pregnant with baby Kira. Oh my gosh. Well, what did it say? It says I'm, um, I'm pregnant. We're gonna have another baby. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, the diapers. So many diapers. Oh, oh. Dan, are you okay? Dan? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna pull this together. We're having a baby? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Actually, honey, I'm kind of glad. You are? I love kids, and I think we have a really nice family. I do too. Except for I wish I could stop throwing up. I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. Honey, are you okay? I'm gonna be a dad again. Maybe this time I'll actually get a boy. Three girls and no sons. <sighs> Look, Molly, Dad's car is home. Oh my gosh, he never comes home early. You know what this means. Something's wrong with Mom. Something's really wrong with Mom. Mom, Mom, Mom. Oh, hey, honey, what's up? Mom, are you okay? Why are you eating cotton candy? Mm, it just sounded good. Mom, are you dying? Tell us the truth. Girls, of course I'm not. But Dad and I have a really big announcement. Um, honey, I brought you all these snacks. I wasn't sure which one you wanted. Announcement? Yeah, Mom's finally over the stomach bug, apparently. Look at all this food. Nah, she'll be sick tomorrow morning, too. Seriously? Why? What, what's wrong? What disease do you have? Oh, I don't have a disease, girls. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Say what? Pregnant? What are you talking about? You already have a baby. You just had one. Her name's Baby Kira. Did you forget about her? No, it's just, well, <sighs> you're going to have a new little sister or brother. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Yep, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but I already took a test, so I know I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh. Another baby? What if this time you have a boy? That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. This is amazing news, ma'am. Oh, Molly, what do you think about it? Ah, I can see into my future now. Come on, little brother. Please, stop, stop pooping your pants. It's so gross. Oh, Molly. Mm -hmm. The other one needs a diaper change, too. Other one? What are you talking about? Yeah, your little sister, remember? Huh? What? How many babies did you have? Oh, just another eight. Eight? <coughs> Shh, hush, little baby. Hush, hush. Oh, my gosh. Mom, stop having babies. My future looks grim. Oh, Molly. But look at all the snacks you get till the baby gets here. Baby, is there only one or is there eight? Eight? I hope not. <laughs> Dan, if I'm having eight babies, we need a lot more pizza. I'm on it. <laughs> Do you want some uh, juice with that too, honey? No, she can't have eight babies. No! Here comes Brookie now. Good morning, Molly. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning. Oh, Molly, I love your um autumn scarf. That's so cute. Yeah, she's been talking about it all morning. Something about getting ready for Halloween and stuff. Yeah, I'm so excited for Halloween and for fall and stuff. I don't know. I just I like when the leaves all change colors and stuff. Yeah, me too. But um, Molly, your scarf looks adorable, but um, you forgot something. 
Oh my gosh, you're right. I forgot to get a pumpkin spice latte from, from, from Starbucks. Oh my gosh, my day's gonna go terrible now. No, Molly, that's not what you forgot. It isn't? Oh my gosh, I forgot a, a pumpkin spice um, donut from, from Starbucks. Oh man, I don't have a pumpkin spice latte or a donut. This is gonna be a doubly bad day. <laughs> no, Molly, what I meant is you forgot your book bag. Wait, what? Yeah, did you forget your homework again? Oh man, I was so busy putting on this adorable scarf that I forgot my backpack. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get detention now. Well, Molly, you could hurry up and do your homework right now. Yeah, it was just a handout. You could go make a copy and then do your homework really quick before the bell rings. Huh, I think it's gonna be too late. It's definitely gonna be too late. <laughs> Not me. I always think of the best excuses. Good morning, class. Happy fall. Molly, you took my seat rude. Uh, I'm sitting here because I want to be the best student ever. Sitting right in the front row, of course. Right, Mrs. Smith? Uh, sure, Molly. <laughs> Turning over a new leaf, huh? Yeah, <laughs> a fall leaf. Get it? Because it's fall. Oh, brother. All right, everyone. Why don't we take out our homework and uh, we can hand that in. I want to get that over with right away. We want to see who did their homework and who didn't. Well, Molly. Daisy, shh. Um, Mrs. Smith, um, you see, uh, I did my homework, but there was this stray dog that was eating out of the dumpster. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a good one. It always is, Daisy. I can't wait to hear her excuse today and whether or not the teacher actually buys it. You guys, be quiet. Okay, this is the truth. I did my homework, but there was a stray dog outside the diner eating from the dumpster. I felt so bad. I went over to see if he needed help. I put my backpack down, but my homework was hanging out of it. I was like, are you okay, stray dog? He ran away, and then, um, well, um, somehow we got my homework out of my backpack and ate it. But he was starving, Mrs. Smith. I had to give him my homework, he was hungry. Ugh, oh, Molly. I can't stay for detention today. I have a date, so I guess you don't have detention. A date? Ooh la la! Ugh, my stomach feels kinda... That, never mind. Molly, I'm sitting right behind you. Excuse me! Oh, no, 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 I'm not done. Uh, teacher? Teacher! Teacher, teacher, teacher! I have to go to the bathroom! Oh, uh, okay, Molly. Are you just trying to get out of the pop quiz? No! No, 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 my stomach really hurts. I have to go potty, I have to go potty, I have to go potty. Uh, yeah, trust me, I'm sitting behind her, and it stinks back here. She has to go. All right, Molly, go ahead. Ha! Thank you! I knew I shouldn't have eaten that bean burrito for breakfast. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Ah, that's better. Just gonna flush the toilet. Wait, what? Why won't the toilet flush? Oh, my God, this is so embarrassing. And I'm not done. All right, I have to go into this next bathroom because I still have to go potty and that one won't flush. Yep, definitely shouldn't eat that bean burrito. Oh my gosh, okay, I just have to flush. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The toilet, it, it, it started to overflow. Okay, I'll just walk out of the bathroom casually like nothing's happening. I'm as cool as a cucumber. I didn't overflow the toilet in the bathroom. No, 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 not me. <laughs> oh boy, someone get some air freshener. Stop! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the school is flooding. What? The school is flooding? What do you mean? The school is flooding and I think it started in the bathroom. Um, uh, the school is flooding because of the bathroom? Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Didn't you just go to the bathroom, Molly? No. Daisy, shh. Okay, everybody wait outside the school while I clean up this giant mess. Um, okay, if you say so. Oh, boy, that's a little embarrassing. Good thing nobody knows it was me. May I have your attention, please? This is your principal speaking. There will be an early dismissal today. Oh, it must be because it's raining and we're going to get a storm. 
Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, we're gonna, like, drown in this. You're getting an early dismissal because somebody overflowed all the toilets in the girls' bathroom, and now it's flooding all of Brookhaven. Get on the school bus immediately and go home. Marty, did you eat a bean burrito for breakfast? Uh, uh, you're flooding all of Brookhaven. What are you guys talking about? Marley went poo-poo and it's flooding all in Brookhaven. Ew, gross. Um, guys, I think we better get the school bus and get out of here. Well, you guys should be thanking me. We got an early dismissal. <laughs> There's a bus. Come on, guys. Anything to get out of this doo-doo water. Gross. Yeah, you could say that again. Uh, Molly, why are you driving? I don't know. I think the school bus driver, like, quit or something. I quit too if I had to do all these early dismissals. Okay, Molly, well, drive us home. All right, here we go. I don't know. I don't trust Molly's driving. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a great driver. Watch out for that sign! Oh, boy. You really are a terrible driver, Molly. Are you guys sure that your mom won't mind I come over to your house? She's probably doing lots of work. Yeah, she works from home on Mondays, so, you know, no big deal. Okay, well, maybe we should just ask her first. Don't worry, she loves you, Brookie. Everything's gonna be fine. Mom, we got out of school early! Wait, what? Uh, what are you doing home? Um, well, uh... Molly ate a bean burrito for breakfast and flooded the toilets and all of downtown is flooded. What? Oh, yeah, you guys are kidding me, right? <laughs> what really happened? No, for real. She really did flood the toilet. Molly, oh my goodness. Don't eat a bean burrito again. Is it okay if I hang out over here? Of course, Brookie. Mom, I thought you had a bunch of work to do. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking a little lunch break. I was about to watch some TV, and you eat a Hershey bar for lunch? And you're always nagging me about eating healthy. Well, uh, I'm a grown-up, and you're a kid. All right, guys, first thing we do on our um, early dismissal routine is get a delicious snack. What do you guys want? I got waffles, I got ice cream, I got pizza. Ooh, pizza sounds delicious. Mm. I think so too. Help yourself to anything you want, guys. Mm. That is some delicious pizza. What do you guys want to do? You want to like ride bikes or something? First, I want to like just chill out and watch some TV. Because, um, yeah, I don't get to watch TV during the day that much. And I really want to because there's always good shows on. No, there's not, Molly. Really? The Puppy and Kitten show is on. Who doesn't like that? I like that. I love early dismissals. Mm. You guys should have eaten an apple that's in my child feel. Does she even know how to be cool? Seriously. Puppies and kittens, they're so cute. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not at school right now I'm taking a pop quiz. Instead, my stomach is full of pizza and my brain is full of puppies and kittens. Yeah, this is fun, but like, let's go outside and ride our bikes or something. Good idea. Come on, let's go. Have fun, girls. Be safe. We will, Mom. Oh, man. School bus got, like, stuck right there. <laughs> Molly, I love your bike. Thanks. I just got it. And um, the color green is, like, it glows in the dark at night so nobody, like, runs into you or anything. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, where's Daisy? She said she was going to stay inside and do some studying. Of course she did. Whee! Uh-oh. Where's the brakes? Where's the brakes? Oh, oh. Are you okay? Oh, I'm underneath the bus. Uh. Well, Molly, you don't look too hurt. I mean, besides the fact that you ran into the bus and it looks like you're missing some of your teeth. What? Missing some of my teeth? Wah! It's okay, Molly. I'm sure the dentist can, like, sew them back in or something. You want to go to the park? Um, uh, yeah, okay. Ooh, Brookie, look. It's the Brookhaven Cemetery. I double dog dare you to go in. What? You didn't even say, um, dare first. You just went to double dog. Well, yeah, because I definitely want you to go in there. I'm not afraid. I could go in there. There's, there's nothing in there. I gotta see this one. <laughs> right before Halloween, she goes into a graveyard. She's super brave. See, Molly? There's nothing in here to be afraid of. Not a single... Oh, my God! Is that a ghost? Molly, run! Ah! Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs>
early dismissal routine. Yeah, there was nothing routine about it. And, um, Molly, you might want to go have your teeth sewn back in. Yeah, I'll worry about that tomorrow. Right now, I just want to soak up this autumn sun while I'm not in school. So, Molly, do you want to tell me what happened to your teeth? Uh, well, uh, well, it all started at school because I had a bean burrito. Oh, boy, I can tell already this is going to be one crazy story. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. Molly, we just had breakfast five minutes ago. I know, but I need some milk. I need some milk! Uh, you're so lucky. I wish I could drink some milk. What? Why? Excuse me, we're trying to have a conversation. Rude! Molly, don't say that. They'll put you in time out. So, Daisy, why can't you drink any milk? My tummy just feels kind of funny today. Uh, it's even sticking out farther than it normally does. You know what that means? It means you gotta fart! <laughs> Repeat after me! <laughs> Ew, Molly! You probably went doo-doo in your diaper! Good morning, girls! Who's ready to ride the ponies? Oh, Molly, you look so sad. What's wrong? I have to tinkle! I have to go potty! Okay, come with me. And then we're gonna go ride the ponies! Aren't you excited? Yeah, I I'm pretty excited. I'm really thirsty, though. Okay, go ahead. Sit on the potty. Can I have a drink? I need some milk. Hello? Hello? Uh-oh, she left. I can't believe she left me all alone on the potty. What if I fall in? What if I What if I go down to the sewer and I drown? Um, Molly, I think you're being a little dramatic. I'm right here, and you're just fine. Now go wash your hands, please. Okay, fine. I can't believe she left me there alone. Terrible caregiver! Molly... I think you're just a little grumpy. Maybe you need a snack before we ride the ponies? Yeah, I need a snack, of course I do. You always get so hangry. Um, is Daisy gonna have a snack too? I don't buy a snack, I don't feel good. Oh, Daisy, your stomach still hurts? Well, maybe you're just hungry, sweetheart. Why don't we try feeding you something? All right, Molly, let's just put you in your high chair and give you a snack and a drink, and then we'll go ride the ponies. Okay, mmm, rice, mmm, this is delicious. Daisy, are you sure you don't want any? No, my stomach hurts so bad. I think there might be something wrong with me. Oh, honey, it's probably just, just like a little, a little tummy upset. You'll be okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I ate tons of rice and it was delicious, and then I had a bottle of milk. Ah, my tummy is so happy. My tummy feels awful. Well, maybe once you ride the ponies, you'll feel better, Daisy. Come on, let's go. Oh, look it, I think that pony really likes me. Hi, I'm Molly. Molly, horses don't speak English. Oh, well, maybe they speak horse. Nay, nay, nay. Well, you can't speak horse. Yes, I can. Here comes a unicorn. Or Pegasus. I think it's a Pegasus because it's got wings. I want to ride the Pegasus. Okay, the Pegasus obviously wants me to ride it, but I don't, I don't know how to get on its back. I'm too little. Teacher, help me. There you go, Molly. You just needed a little bit of help. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Whee! Um, and also, that's not a Pegasus. That's a flying unicorn. A flying unicorn? Whoa. The wings are beautiful. Um, can you stop going so fast, though? You're making my tummy hurt. Tell me about it. My tummy's been hurting all day. Okay, girls. Well, since your tummies are both hurting, maybe it's time to go for a nap. Or maybe it's time to go to the hospital. Oh. I don't feel right. I want to see a doctor right now. Oh, Daisy, it's really that bad? Yeah, she's been telling you. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. She just threw up everywhere. All over that girl. Oh, no. I don't feel good. Ew, you threw up on me. Gross. Does anyone have any paper towels? Um, no, but you could go to get some at the nurse's station. Oh, Daisy, this is making me so sad that you're so sick. Girls, we need to take Daisy to the hospital and quick. Daisy, everything's going to be okay. I promise. Molly, my stomach, it hurts so, so bad. Oh, no, Daisy. I'm 
I'm so sorry this is happening to you. You're the most annoying sister in the world, but I hate to see you sick. I know. It's just so awful. <laughs> well, the doctor's going to know what to do. I know it. They're going to make you all better. May I have your attention, please? The next patient is Daisy. I need to go potty. I'm going to throw up. Oh, uh, you better hurry up. She, she needs a wheelchair. Somebody help. I don't need a wheelchair. I have to go to the bathroom. And also, I think I'm going to throw up again. Not on me. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to get thrown up on. Yuck. Do you have a bucket, Molly? Oh, my stomach. Hi there. I'm Dr. Smith, and I'd be happy to help your sister. Well, you better hurry because she's about to go poo-poo in her pants and she's throwing up. Oh, my. Okay, sweetheart, just get right into the wheelchair and I'll take you into the exam room. And are you okay, little girl? My name's Molly and, yeah, I'm just really tired. Having a sister that's sick is exhausting. Right this way, sweetheart. Everything's going to be a-okay. I hope so. I, I, I really need a drink. I want some milk. And I want my mommy. I want my mommy too. Well, your mommy's at work, but don't worry. She's been called. She'll be here as soon as possible. Now, I just need you to lay down in this bed so we can do a checkup and see if there's something wrong with your tummy. Okay, Daisy, let's take a look at your tummy. First, I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on your tummy and I'm going to feel for any bumps or lumps. I'm feeling very sick. When I turn you or twist you this way, does your tummy hurt? Yes, it hurts so bad. All right, we're going to need to get an x-ray of your stomach and maybe an ultrasound too. Oh my gosh, is that going to hurt? No, neither one of those hurt at all. Now, come on, Daisy. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about my sister. Oh man. I also have to go to the bathroom. I'm really thirsty and I need a nap. Worst day ever! <laughs> What's happening, doctor? What did you find out? Well, we did the x-ray and your sister has to have her appendix out. Wait, what? I want to have surgery! <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. You won't feel a thing because you'll be asleep. And when you wake up, you'll eat all the ice cream you can stand. Whoa, sounds pretty good to me, Daisy. Could I have surgery too? I'm gonna eat ice cream. I want to! Right, sweetie I'm just going to lay you on the operating table and give you some medicine that'll help you fall asleep when you wake up your mom will be here and everything will be all over and your tummy won't hurt anymore oh my gosh I can't believe my sister's gonna have surgery at Twilight daycare do they do surgery here yes we have doctors on staff for such things now you'll have to wait in the waiting room Molly you can't be in the surgery room of course of course oh my gosh my poor sister Will she be okay? Will she survive? Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about my sister. She's so annoying, but... <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm worried about her, but I'm also feeling kind of hungry. Where's the snack bar? I totally need to go get a snack. Ooh, a snack bar full of donuts? Yes, please. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. All right, let's see how much everything costs. Ooh, $2. I probably can afford that, I think. My sister's in the hospital, I need it! Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. Can I buy another one? Oh, I'm totally gonna eat all these donuts until I explode. Mm. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Daisy has just finished surgery. Daisy has just finished surgery. Oh, wow, I can't stay here and eat all these donuts. I gotta go see my sister. Daisy? Daisy, are you okay? I feel kind of funny. My stomach doesn't really hurt anymore, though. I want my mommy! Oh, Daisy, Mom's gonna be here any minute. I just know it. How was the surgery? I don't know. I don't remember anything. All I know is they said, count to three. I went one, two. Now I woke up over here. I guess the surgery's over. Yeah, the surgery's over, Daisy. Now they said you could eat as much ice cream as you want. But well, that's good, because I'm very hungry from not eating all day. Oh, I'm so glad you can eat again, and that your stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah, except for they told me after the surgery I'd have to fart a lot. Say what? Yeah, and I'm sort of feeling... Ew, Daisy! 
Cassie. <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells awful. Oh, it's making me wanna. Ew, Molly. Sorry, you stink so bad. Gross. Oh, you're so dramatic. I want my mom. I want my mom. Daisy already told you she's coming any minute. She's going to take you home, and then you're not going to be able to go to um, Twilight Daycare for at least probably a week because you had surgery. Yeah, but that's okay. I'll stay home and eat ice cream and watch all the TV I want while you have to come and do class and homework and stuff. Wait, what? I have to come even though you don't? That sounds completely unfair. Oh, it is, Molly. All you have to do is have surgery. I don't want surgery, but I don't want to come to school every day. Uh, Molly, that's just the way educational daycare is. And since you're not sick, you get to do all the homework. I don't like this. I don't like this at all! Wow, it's so nice outside today. You can tell that spring is right around the corner. Wait, soccer ball, don't go over the edge! Oh, no! Wait, wait, oh my gosh, there goes another one of my soccer balls. Oh, Man. Hey, Molly. Brookie, is that you? Holy guacamole. Look at your hair. I know, right? It's so different. I love it. Oh, whoa. It's awesome. You like straightened your hair and you dyed it darker and then you put red streaks in it. Holy cow. That's amazing. I love it. I love it. Oh, thanks, Molly. So, um, what are you doing? I'm playing with my soccer ball, but it accidentally rolled off into town. But that's okay, because I was thinking that maybe I could go to the salon and get crazy hair, too. Because us besties, you know, we should, like, both have crazy hair together. Do you think my hair looks crazy? No, 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 not like crazy, like, woo, woo. Crazy, like, amazing. Like, you so crazy, girl. You look amazing. Okay, I think I know what you mean, Molly. So, you want to have crazy, amazing hair, too? Yes, exactly. Let's go. Molly, wait a minute. What? What is it? Um, I think maybe you should ask your mom first. She's kind of strict, and I don't know if she's going to let you do your hair like that. Um, I, I don't think she'll mind. We should just go. Molly, you know that your mom will probably say no, but you should ask her because you don't want to get grounded for the rest of your life. Okay, fine. I'll go ask her. I'll wait right here, Molly. Hopefully she says yes. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, Molly, what kind of trouble are you getting into? What kind of trouble are you getting into? I'm not getting into any trouble. Mom, mom. Yes, Molly? Oh, I was just trying to think of what I was going to make for dinner tonight. Um, well, while you're thinking about that and not really paying attention, I have a question for you. No, Molly, you can't eat cheesecake for dinner. No, Mom, I was thinking, no, you can't eat a cupcake for dinner. No, 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 it's not about dinner. Um, Brookie dyed her hair. Like this dark color with red streaks in the front. What? Seriously? Her mom let her do that? Yeah, and it looks amazing. I was wondering, um, can I take my allowance and um, dye my hair too? Um, no, Molly. I don't think so. What? Why not? Because, Molly, your hair is so beautiful the way it is. Besides, why do you want to dye it? Because I think it'll be really cool, Mom. And besides, look at your hair. I mean, your hair is like rainbow. I, I don't understand why I can't have rainbow hair. Well, Molly, I'm a grown-up, so I can do whatever I want with my hair. You're not a grown-up, so you have to do what I say. Mom, I'll do my homework every single night without complaining or detention for the entire month. Come on, Mom, that's a great bargain. Please, please, please! Ugh, you need to do your homework regardless, Molly, but the answer is still no. Maybe when you get a little older. Older? I practically have gray hair! Mom, I am so old. Ugh, so old. Look at these bones. They hardly walk anymore. The only thing that could help me be not so old is to get my hair dyed. Molly, quit being so ridiculous. You're not old at all. You're not even a grown-up yet. And the answer is no. Mom, it's not fair! Why? Molly, I just think... You have beautiful hair the way it is. Let's just leave it that way. Fine! Ugh, worst day ever! Hi, Molly! Are you having a great day? I am! Don't even talk to me right now, Daisy! Whoa, she's in a bad mood. Molly, um, how did... Uh-oh, it didn't go well, did it? Uh, uh, uh... 
Oh, Molly, I'm sorry. You can't get your hair dyed? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get my hair dyed, all right. She said yes, that's amazing. Come on, let's go to the salon. I can't wait. Oh, I'll race you there, Brookie. Oh, yeah, right. My bike is so much faster than yours, Molly. I don't think so. Looks like I'm beating you. Oh, whoa, we almost ran into each other. Whoa! Molly, what are you doing? Be careful. Ah, I forgot which way the salon was because I never go there. Hey, you're cheating by doing a shortcut through the park. Uh, yeah, I'm going to win. Duh. Brookie! What? You said it was a race. Oh, man, Molly, I totally won. Ugh, I need a faster bike. Well, you can't afford a new bike and your hair getting dyed, so what's it going to be? New hair! Hi there, sweetie pie. What can I do for you today? Um, I'm going to have my hair dyed. Do you know what color, honey? Um, no, not really, but I'm going to think about it while you're washing my hair, okay? Sounds good, sweetie pie. Is this the lady who did your hair? Yep, it sure is. Liz is the best hairdresser in all of Brookhaven. She's so fabulous. Look at her makeup and her hair. She's so amazing. So grown up. Yeah, I'm so grown up too. I can't even believe that I get to have the hair done. Yeah, and then maybe we could do your makeup too if you want. Uh, I don't know. I definitely want my hair done though. Mm -hmm. Okay, is this water too hot? Ow! Yeah, that was super hot. Holy guacamole. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. How's that? Too cold! Ah! Sorry. Okay, I think I have it just right this time. Okay, I hope so. Man. All right, you're all washed up. You can go get into the chair, and we'll talk about what color you want your hair to be. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking about doing pink, something totally different that I would never do. Pink? Really, Molly? That's so, like, different than what you'd normally do. I know, right? But I think it could be amazing. It'll look amazing on you, Molly. Go for it. Thanks, bestie. I just still can't believe your mom said yes. Um, yeah, well, uh, she did say yes, right, Molly? Um, there, I'm done. You look gorgeous, darling. Thank you. Molly, your mom did say yes, right? Well, not exactly, but once she sees how amazing my hair looks, she'll feel bad for not saying yes. Or she'll ground you for life. Let's make her hair blonde again. Oh, I'm sorry, but... I can't change her hair color twice in one day. It'll make her hair fall out. My hair fall out? Oh my gosh, no, I think that sounds like a bad idea. And besides, the pink looks amazing on me. Even Liz said I look gorgeous, darling. Well, I have to admit, Molly, it's very different. It's even more drastic than mine, I think. Come on, let's go back to my house and have a snack. Excuse me, are you going to pay for your pink hair? Oh yeah, sorry about that, Liz. <laughs> I gotta pay ya. How much was it? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars? Um, uh... I'm really sorry, but I only have two hundred and fifty. Ugh, okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to sweep the floors then, because, uh, basically, you have to pay for it. Oh, Molly, you didn't see how much it was before you came in? No, now I have to sweep the floors to pay for it. Don't forget to get all the hair! Ew, gross, I gotta vacuum up hair, that's disgusting. That's what it's like when you work in a salon. Do a really good job, please, you owe me $50. All right, fine. There, how's that? Well, it looks great, but next time try to come with all the money, okay? Sure, thanks Liz, my hair looks fabulous. I know, darling, you look gorgeous. Molly, I'm really worried about what your mom is gonna say. It's gonna be fine. Now, come on, let's get out our bikes and go back to my house and get a snack. I'm starving. I'll beat you there. Molly, you never beat me there. Oh my gosh, she always thinks she's gonna beat me there. She never does. I'm going to this time, if I can make it up that giant hill, because the hill is huge. I should ride my bike more and get in better shape. <laughs> OMG! Beat you, Molly. What? Ah! Oh. You always beat me. That's so annoying. Come on, let's go get a snack. Hey, Daisy. Holy guacamole! What happened to your hair? Um, what happened to it is I look amazing. Oh, my gosh. Mom is going to ground you for the rest of your life, Molly. I don't think so when she sees how amazing my hair looks. Oh, boy. I don't know what to say to you, Molly, right now except for good luck. Mom, I need a snack. Oh, hey, Molly! What did you do to your hair? 
Please tell me that's a Halloween wig. Please! No, it's my actual hair. Liz at the salon said I look gorgeous, darling. Molly, I told you you weren't allowed to dye your hair! Yes, but mom, it looks fabulous, doesn't it? That's besides the point. You are grounded. What? No, mom, I know that you would... You said no, but look at my hair. It looks amazing. No, Molly, you went against what I said, and there's consequences for that. Consequences? You mean like having awesome hair? Oh, boy, this is going to be good. I got my popcorn for the show. Daisy, get out of here! I don't think so, Molly. <laughs> no, Molly, you're grounded for two weeks. You have to do extra chores to earn money to get your hair back to blonde. Two weeks! Okay, but I can still play Roblox, right? No. And your friend, Brookie, has to go home. Can't see her for two weeks. What? But, Mom! Molly, when I say no, I mean it. Now go to your room. Oh, my gosh. This was a horrible idea. Uh, how'd it go, Molly? Daisy, leave me alone. Brookie, I'm sorry, but I can't be your best friend for the next two weeks. What? Yeah, we can't see each other for two old weeks. I'm grounded and I have to go to my room. No, Molly. I'll write you letters. Yeah, I guess since I can't get on the computer, we could write snail, snail mail letters. Yeah, Molly. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, man, this day stinks! <laughs> Another detention, and I missed the school bus, so now I have to walk all the way home. Oh, I'm so tired. It was such a long day. <sighs> What's that guy doing crawling around on the ground? He must have lost his car keys or something. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? <laughs> ah! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a zombie! Oh, don't be ridiculous, Molly. There's no such thing as zombies. Where'd you get that cool Halloween costume? Uh, something tells me that he's a real zombie. Ah! Stay away from me, zombie! Stay away! Brains. Is he still behind me? Oh, gosh, yes! He's still coming behind me. Oh, my gosh! Okay, maybe if I just wind him around these swings, he'll get all trapped up, and then and then he won't be able to get me. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. That'll work, right? <laughs> just running around. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's sitting down on the swing. <laughs> okay, guys. I gotta run home. Wait a minute. First, I should take a picture because I don't think my family will believe me that, 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 that there's there's zombies in Brookhaven. I've gotta pull my phone on my backpack and, and, and take a photo. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Say cheese, zombie! No, I said cheese! Okay, yeah. All you can say is brains. My house! I've never been so happy to see you, house. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Daisy! Daisy! What are you freaking out about, Molly? Oh, it's probably because you're gonna have to tell Mom you had detention again. No, Daisy. No, it's it's much worse than that. You got in school suspension? Molly. No, 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 no. I I I was walking home from detention and and Molly, take a deep breath. You look like you saw a ghost. Worse. A zombie! Molly, don't be ridiculous. Stop pranking me! No, oh, Daisy, seriously, I really saw a zombie in Brookhaven. I think there's going to be a zombie apocalypse. No, there's not, Molly. I don't believe you. Oh, really? Look at this. Holy guacamole! You, 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 you took a picture and some video of a real zombie? Whoa, that's YouTube gold. Or maybe we could put it on TikTok, too. Daisy, not the point! We're going we're gonna to be eaten by zombies! They, they all want our brains! Oh my god, we have to tell mom and then we have to leave Brookhaven. Okay, well maybe you should tell her she believes you better. Yeah, that is true, you fib sometimes. But have your photo and video as backup, just so we can show with the proof. Got it, Daisy. Come on, let's go tell her. Ah, <sighs> what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? Oh, hey girls! Molly, did you have detention again? Um, yes, but mom, we have something very, very scary, drastic, and crazy to tell you. What? Are you girls okay? What's going on? Mom, take it from me. I didn't want to believe Molly when she said this, but it's the truth. There's a zombie in Brookhaven. What? What are you talking about? That can't be true. Show her the video and the photos, Molly. Okay, Mom, come look. What is that? 
It's a real life zombie, Mom. We have to get out of here before all of Brookhaven panics and, 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 and we can't get out of here. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, you girls go start packing your bags. I'll call your dad at work. If we don't get out of here soon, Mom, we might turn into zombies. Don't talk like that, Molly. Just go pack a bag. Don't bring too much. We need to be very mobile. Okay. Oh my gosh, what do I pack for a zombie apocalypse? I'd like to think of it as packing for a vacation. We're not staying in Brookhaven where the zombie apocalypse is. We're staying in a beautiful new town where there's no zombie apocalypse. Well, that is true, but I'm going to miss my friends. Yeah, me too. Here's hoping they don't turn into zombies. Yeah, here's hoping. Are you packed already, Daisy? I sure am, Molly. Daisy, do you think I should pack my metal detector? What? Why? Why would you need that? In case, you know, maybe it could detect a zombie or something. Molly, ma, they aren't made of metal. Uh, yeah, but, okay, yeah. I guess I don't need that. How about my guitar? And then I could be like, la, 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 in case we have a campfire. Molly, we're not gonna have a campfire. We're just trying to escape from some zombies. Okay, well, what about my ice cream cart? You know, that thing is amazing. And we can make some extra money. I could sell it on the beach, you know. I could sell chocolate ice cream. Molly, just pack some clothes and stuff. And don't forget underwear. Why? Um, should I not pack, like, you know, like, anything else? Like, my computer or... Yes, bring your computer, of course. But, like, just, like... Clothes, underwear, socks, a hairbrush, a toothbrush, toothpaste. You know, the necessities, not a guitar. But what if we get bored and you need me to sing you a song to turn that frown upside down and not think about some zombies? Ay, ay, ay. I think sometimes, Molly, you're already brain dead. Oh, Daisy, that's rude. Just pack, Molly, hurry. I'm packing the guitar. I don't care what she says. Don't worry, family. I'm going to take care of all of us. Dad, you made it home. Yes, and I saw five more zombies. And and, it, and it's not good. They're going to make the announcement soon, and the roadways are going to get all clogged, and we're not going to be able to get out of Brookhaven, and then we're going to turn into a zombie family. Oh, man, that sounds awful. Okay, let's go get in the car and get out of here. Bye, Brookhaven. Bye, beautiful house. I'm going to miss you. I brought a little vehicle to help us, uh, so, you know, the zombies can't get in. Well, at least not right away. Only guacamole, Dad. You're super prepared. Okay, Molly, buckle up. It's gonna be a bumpy, long ride out of Brookhaven. Really? Why aren't the roads paved? No, this vehicle is just really bumpy. Oh. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Oh, listen, Dad. Um, they're making an announcement on the radio. Maybe they're going to give away, like, free tickets to Disney since, uh, you know, Brookhaven's kind of zombified. I don't think so, Molly. Let's just listen to the announcement. We want to let you know that zombies are starting to take over Brookhaven. We don't want anyone to panic. No panicking, please. But we don't want any of you to turn into zombies. So we're asking you all to stay in your houses. Do not leave your Houses. Uh-oh, we broke that rule. Not really, Molly. I mean, we didn't know that we were supposed to stay in our house before they made the announcement. But look, we've already made it to almost the line. You know, the line out of town. Whoa! So far, nobody's on the road. Well, give it some time, Daisy. I'm sure a lot of people will be on the road soon trying to escape Brookhaven. Good thing we got out when we did so we don't turn into zombies. Dad, look! It looks like they put a wall up all around Brookhaven! Yeah, but look, there's still one road we can get out of. No, they've got a construction on that road. It's closed. Well, Molly, this is kind of a circumstance where I don't care about road construction. We need to get out of here before the zombies get us. Okay, Dad, well, put the pedal to the metal and let's get out of here. Mom, look, we're almost out of Brookhaven. I know, honey. We're finally going to be safe. Okay, everybody, here we go. Goodbye, Brookhaven. Wait a minute. What? It's blocked. What? There's like a force field here. Oh my gosh. They've, they've, they've made it impossible to leave. But the zombies are in Brookhaven. You have to let us out. Let us out of this force field right now. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's official. We're doomed. Breaking news. Breaking news. 
the government has put a force field around Brookhaven because we are now considered a zombie zone and they don't want it to spread to the rest of the country or world. I hope you all remain safe and don't become zombies. This is our last news report. Goodbye. What? They put a force field around us and they're not gonna let us leave? But they're zombies! Speaking of zombies, um, there comes one right now! Ah! Okay, um, guys, we need to go, like, right now. Where are we gonna go? Everything's closed up. I don't know, but there's a zombie coming and I can't get inside this giant truck. We're all gonna die! Ah! Well, no, we're not gonna die, Molly. We're just gonna turn into zombies. We're now being a zombie family. Brains. I don't wanna be a zombie. You're so annoying right now. Yeah, but don't you want to hear what I have to say? Huh? 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 Um, I guess maybe if it's not annoying. Whoa, my sister is so grumpy sometimes. Only because you make me, Molly. <laughs> um, Brookie just invited you and me over to her house to hang out. Do you want to go? I'd love to, Molly, but I'm doing this science research for the science fail about puppies and kittens. Yeah, that's what it's about, my science project. It's adorable! Okay, well, suit yourself. I'm going to Brookie's and having tons of fun while you do all that homework and stuff. It's not homework, it's research. Okay, whatever, all seems like homework to me. Boring, boring, and also boring! I can't wait to go to Brookie's house. And um, she has the craziest house ever in Brookhaven, but... Whatever, her mom just like loves plants, so <laughs> they have a greenhouse inside. Hey, Brookie! I just let myself in. I hope you don't ma mind. Oh, hey, Molly. No, I'm just doing my chores. Mom wants me to water these vegetables. She said that the squash are almost ready to plant, which means I'm going to have squash salad, squash sandwiches, squash pie, squash soup. Whoa, sounds like you're going to be eating a lot of squash. Yeah. You do live in a crazy house, though, and I think it's really cool. Thanks. Hey, you want to come to my room? Yeah, totally. Let's go. So, Brookie, tell me the truth. Come on. Do you like Jacob? What? <laughs> yeah, right. I see how you look at him in math class. I think you have a crush. Well, only my diary knows. Wait, you write in a diary? Yeah, it's right here. Can I read it? Ha, ha, ha. No, Molly, it's a secret. But you could have your own diary if you wanted, and you could write in that about, you know, crushes or enemies. Enemies? Do you have any enemies? Not really. <laughs> but I do have a crush that only me and my diary know about. Huh, I wonder who that could be. I'm not expecting anybody. Maybe it's somebody saying you want a trip to Disney. <laughs> I doubt it, Molly. Why? Anything's possible in this world. Anything, Brookie. Come on, let's go see who it is. If I can figure out how to get downstairs from your house. Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's Sarah. What is she doing here? My thoughts exactly. Uh, are you guys gonna, like, let me in or what? Um, that depends. Are you gonna be nice? Of course I am. I just came to hang out with you guys. Uh, I don't know if I trust her, Brookie. She seems nice enough today, anyway. All right, if you think so, I guess let her in. So what brings you to my house today, Sarah? Just wanted to hang out with you guys, but also I was just wondering, are like you guys best friends still? Uh, yeah, of course we are. Yeah, why wouldn't we be? Oh, I just heard everybody talking about you guys at school. Everybody? Why, what were they saying? They were saying that like, each of you says something rude about the other behind their back, like, all the time. What? Oh, that's not true at all! I would never say anything rude about Brookie behind her back! I wouldn't say anything rude about Molly behind her back. Why would everybody be saying that? I don't know, but, like, if you guys can't get along, maybe you shouldn't be friends. Sarah, we can get along just fine. We're best friends. Get over it. 
well, okay, but I mean, <laughs> maybe you guys just aren't meant to be BFFs. No, I don't think that's true, Sarah. Just because people talk doesn't mean that it means anything. People just talk, talk, talk. They always have opinions, but their opinions aren't always right. Yeah, opinions are like boogers. Everybody's got them, and they're always, well, ew. Uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> of course I couldn't. We're best friends. Um, you guys want a snack? I'm really hungry. You're hungry too? It's like you read my stomach's mind. <laughs> but then again, we're BFFs. Of course you know when I'm hungry. Well, actually, you just kind of knew when I was hungry. But maybe our stomachs communicate to one another. Could be. Do you want a snack, Sarah? No, I'll just stay here and wait until you get back. Okay, suit yourself. Do you have any cupcakes? You bet we do, Molly. Ooh, wait, are they squash cupcakes? <laughs> they may have squash in them. <laughs> What's she hiding under her dresser? Everybody hides something under their dresser. What's this? Her diary? <gasps> she loves Jacob? <laughs> well, that's a great piece of news. But also, I can take this diary and blame Molly for it. That'll be the end of their super annoying, perfect friendship. <laughs> I'm out of here. Mm, this is delicious, Brookie. Mm, I don't even taste the squash in it. Yeah, but chances are mom put squash in it because she wants us to be healthy and stuff. Oh, Sarah, did you change your mind? No, I changed my mind about hanging out with you guys. You're just losers. Wow, rude. Okay, well, bye. Have a nice life. Wow, I don't know why she's so rude all the time. Me either, but it seems like she doesn't like us at all. Mm. Not gonna let it ruin my day, though. Mm. Okay, maybe I taste the squash a little bit. So, um, what do you want to do now? Um, I think I'm gonna write in my diary for a minute. Just because I feel kind of like sad about how Sarah was treating us. You write in your diary when you feel sad? Yeah, I find it's really helpful to write in my diary. It gets all of my emotions out on paper and doesn't leave them inside me to just make me feel like I'm gonna explode! Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, well, I'll just chill over here then and, like, play on my phone or something. Ooh, my new Abby! Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Where is it? Where, where is it? Oh my gosh, I can't find my diary anywhere. What are you looking for, Brookie? Did you take my diary? What? Me? No. Well, maybe you should empty out your pockets and show me. What? You don't believe me? I've been your best friend since preschool. You don't believe that I wouldn't take your things? I don't believe you because it's missing. And Sarah said you've been saying all those mean things about me and then you wanted to read my diary? Brookie, I didn't take it, I swear. You're the only one who knew where it was. Well, maybe Sarah took it. She didn't know where it was. She didn't even know I had a diary. You took it, Molly. Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything. This is ridiculous and my best friend doesn't even trust me. I'm out of here. Well, fine. You don't get to be my best friend anymore. Yeah, and I don't want to hang out at your house either. As soon as I can figure out how to get out of your crazy greenhouse house. I'm going home. Oh, hey, Molly. I was just finishing up and thought I would come over and hang out with you and Brookie. You can go over that at that girl's house if you want, but she's no friend of mine. What? What are you talking about, Marty? Is this some sort of prank? No, she accused me of stealing her diary, and I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Marty. You have a lot of things, but a thief isn't one of them. Why'd she think that? Because her diary went missing. Anyway, her and I are now enemies! She's not my friend. Ever. Again! Hey, Molly, you didn't get detention today. That's amazing. Huh? What? Oh, hi. Hi, hi Luke. Hey, um, so, uh, you didn't get detention. Yeah, I don't always get detention, just, like, most of the time, but not today. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, um, so are you going to go to the dance tomorrow night? Um, uh, uh, bye! Okay, bye, Molly.
Oh my gosh, I just got so nervous when you started talking about the dance. I ran away. Oh, why do I always do stupid things when Luke is around? Oh, yoy, yoy. All right, I'm just gonna go around the corner and make sure he's not here anymore. Okay, I think he left. Good. Oh yeah, there he goes, he's going out the door. Oh, phew. I can't believe I'm so dumb around him. Molly, are you okay? Not really, Brookie. Ugh, I always do dumb stuff when Luke is around. Oh, really? Um, why? Luke's really nice. Uh, it's not really funny, Brookie. It's, it's kind of sad, actually. Sorry, it just seemed like you were joking. I mean, Molly, you're not dumb. You're one of the smartest people I know. Even if you don't do your homework because you're lazy. Me? Lazy? Never. Well, Molly, what makes you so nervous around Luke? You know what? I don't really want to talk about this at school. Want to come over to my house? Sure, Molly, let's go. All right, let's make sure Luke isn't outside. Uh, Molly, I think he's gone. And it's not like he has cooties or anything. What's, what's going on with you? I'll tell you when we get to my house. Okay, Molly, so what's the deal? I'll tell you after we have a snack. Molly, are you just stalling? Come on, you need to tell me what's going on. First, I need a snack. I'm starving. All right, Molly, fine. Ooh, leftover pizza. Mm. Want some? Mm. This is delicious. Nah, I'll just have an apple, thanks. So, what's the deal with Luke? Uh, okay, so here's the deal. Luke and I have been friends for a really long time. But I just started to feel like, well, maybe I like him, like, more than a friend. Wait, what? Like, you have a crush on Luke? Seriously, Molly? A crush on him? Um, well, um, I guess that's what you'd call it. I don't know. Whenever he's around now, I get butterflies in my tummy. I say dumb things. I sort of ran away when he started talking about the dance. What? Do you think he was going to ask you to the dance? I don't know, but maybe. I can't go with him, though. I'd be too nervous. Are you crazy, Molly? He's your crush. You have to go to the dance with him. It'd be so magical. You guys can dance. You can wear a pretty dress. I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't know. Molly, trust me on this. So, um, how are you going to tell him you like him? Um, I'm not. I'm not going to tell him. Molly, you can't run away from me. I'm your friend and you invited me over. Okay, I'm just sitting on the couch. I'm just, I can't talk about this anymore. Listen, Molly, I have the perfect plan. Uh-huh, sure. I can't talk about this anymore. It's too stressful. Molly, I think you should write Luke a love letter. Say what? A love letter? <laughs> I didn't say I loved him. Obviously you do, Molly. You um, check all the boxes for being in love. Really? What are they? One, you get butterflies in your tummy whenever they're around. Okay, yeah, I do have that. Two, you say super dumb things because you're so nervous around them. You don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, okay, yeah, I, I do that. And three, you can't stop thinking about him, can you? Well, um, uh, uh, okay, yeah, no, I can't. See, Molly? You love Luke. Hey, that's enough of that. Don't tease me about it, okay? You can't help it if you love somebody. It just happens. So what do you think, Molly? Want to write him a love letter? <sighs> okay, let me go get some pen and paper from the kitchen. Okay, what should I say? How about Dear Luke? Well, duh, of course I'm going to say Dear Luke. All right, but Dear Luke. Now just tell him how you feel, Molly. I... Really, really, really like you. I think you're cute and smart and an awesome football player. And, um, uh, what should I say now? Say you want to go to the dance with him. Okay. And I want, I'm too afraid I can't tell him. Yes, you can, Molly. Tell him. And I want to go to the dance with you. Now, all you have to do is sign your name. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But Molly, he needs to know it's from you. No, I can't tell him it's from me. How about from like a secret admirer? All right, Molly, tell him you'd love your secret admirer. Love your secret admirer. Okay, well, now what? Uh, you can deliver this to him, right? Um, yeah, I guess I could. Tomorrow at school. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. What if he figures out it's me? Well, then hopefully he'll ask you to the dance. 
Where's my math homework? I actually did it, and, and it's not in my locker. Oh, man, don't tell me I forgot it at home again. Hey, Molly, good morning. Oh, oh, hi, Luke. <laughs> I didn't see you there. I really like your cat unicorn shirt. It's adorable. Oh, um, thank you. Okay, I I've got to get to class. Bye. Bye, Molly. Why does she keep running away from me? I thought we were best friends. Oh, look, there's Luke. Hey, Luke. Oh, hey, Brookie. What's up? Uh, yeah, um, your secret admirer wanted me to give you this letter. What? A, a secret admirer? Seriously? Who's it from? You must know. I'm sorry, Luke. I can't tell you, um, because they were wearing a mask and I couldn't see who it was. <laughs> yeah, that lie should work. Oh, okay, well, uh, I'll open it. What does my secret admirer want? Maybe they think I'm super good at math and they want, like, me to help them study or something. Dear Luke, I like you. I really, really, really like you. And I want to go to the dance with you. Love your secret admirer. Oh, I know this handwriting. Whose handwriting is this? <gasps> it's, it's Daisy's. Oh my gosh. I never thought Daisy had a crush on me, but I mean, her pigtails are pretty cute. And she wants to go to the dance with me. I mean... I am best friends with Molly, so I feel like I know her better, but Daisy's cute, and, uh, yeah. I'll go to the dance with her. I'll ask her as soon as I get into math class. Prookie, Prookie, did you give Luke the letter? Uh, yeah, I totally did. Did he want to know who it was from? Of course he did, but I told him the person who gave it to me was wearing a costume, so I couldn't see. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah, but, um... <laughs> If he figures it out, he's probably gonna ask you to the dance. Well, I hope so. I mean, I kinda hope so. I don't know. Well, I get really bad butterflies in my stomach. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, none of your beeswax. I'm gonna study for this math test because I'm going to ace it. I just know it. Hey, Daisy, good morning. Oh, hey, Luke. Sorry I'm a bit busy right now. It's okay, I just wanna say that what you said was really nice and I was wondering, um, uh, would you, uh, like to go to the dance with me? Wait, what? Oh, um, uh, well, you're best friends with my sister, but, um, yeah, you guys are just friends, so. Pookie, Pookie, why is he asking Daisy to the dance? I have no idea. Oh, my gosh, why is this happening? I'll go to the dance with you, sure. What? No, you can't go to the dance together. What? Why, Molly? What's going on? Um, you're gonna have diarrhea that night. What? Mo Molly, why are you saying that? That's embarrassing. Um, uh, because we're having bean burritos. Mom put it on the family menu. And bean burritos always give you that. <laughs> Molly! Are you, why are you saying this? Oh my gosh, Luke, I'm so embarrassed. My sister's being so rude. Oh, uh, well, you know, all of us have gotten diarrhea before. It's not really fun. I'm not going to have diarrhea! I never get that, not even from being burritos. She doesn't even know what she's talking about. Molly, why are you being crazy right now? Um, uh, uh, uh. So, Daisy, um, you know, about the letter. What? What letter? Oh, 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 yeah, the letter. What? She knows about the letter? Yeah, I wrote a letter to everyone in the class saying they really needed to try harder because, um, we're not going to get a grade up as a school if... Oh, what? 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 No! That's... Oh, my gosh! Brookie, this is going terrible! Well, you're going to have to tell him that you're his secret admirer. No way! I'm glad you're my secret admirer, Daisy. What? what? I'm not your secret admirer. Wait, but you wrote me a letter saying that you really, really, really liked me and you wanted me to go to the dance with you? No, I didn't! But it looked like your handwriting! Oh my gosh, this is humiliating. Oh, I'm going to go hide in the girls' bathroom. No, don't you want to see what happens next? Not really! Um, okay, well, I I know you're shy about being my secret admirer, but there's no reason to be Daisy. Like, come on, we, we totally can go to the dance together. I think you're really cute. What? You think my sister's cute? That makes me kind of angry and jealous! What? Why, why would you be jealous, Molly? Because she's the one that sent you the letter! Brookie! How could you? Oh my gosh! Wait, what? 
you're my secret admirer? What? No, Pookie's just making that up. I'm not your secret admirer. I think she is. Me and Molly have pretty similar handwriting. Um, uh, Molly, um, I don't know what to say. Maybe you should say that you'll take her to the dance. But I already asked you, Daisy, and you said yes. So we're going to the dance. What? Ah! This is the worst day of my life! All right, I gotta go cry in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> ah! Mrs. Hill is sure to give me a lot of homework tonight. I think I've been working on it for like two hours. Uh, who knew high school was going to be this hard? I wouldn't have known it if you told me. Okay, let's see. I just have to write one more report and then I'm done. Do, 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 do. Ooh, my stomach is growling. I better go get a snack before I finish my homework. Do, 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 do. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. Hey, Mom, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just making a little snack. A snack? Ooh, I wish I could wait around for the deliciousness that you're making, but the truth is, I have too much homework. So I'm just going to eat a yogurt and then I'll get back to it. I'm so proud of you, Daisy. You're going to get great grades this year. I'm going to try, Mom. Daisy, what are you doing right now? Well, Molly, I just had a snack, and then unlike you, I'm going to be doing my homework. What? I did my homework? There's no way you did it that fast. Yeah, I'm just super, super smart. Girls, 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 I know you're sisters, and that means that you never want to get along, but trust me, you should try to get along. Wow, pancakes! Daisy, do you have time to eat some pancakes? No, but I have to get right back to my homework. Hey guys, uh, I was wondering if maybe you could help me with my math homework. Sure, I'll help you. Since I already finished mine. I went into a smiley. She probably doesn't know what she's doing. Daisy, that's not very nice. <laughs> now it's back to my homework again. Ah, oh, let's see. This one has to be 3,000 words. 3,000 words? How am I gonna, how am I gonna finish all that by tomorrow morning? Guess I'm not watching the Boily Color Unicorn on TV tonight. Oh. Almost done, and I'm getting super tired. Now I have about five seconds to play a video game or oh, watch the Boily Color Unicorn. Oh, uh, what should it be? What should it be? Oh, what's a boily colored unicorn? The boily colored unicorn, the boily colored unicorn. Do, 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 um, I better go to bed. It's 8.59. What are you doing, Daisy? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Marley, I'm about to go to bed. I have a big math test tomorrow. We have to make sure that they get a good grade. You're going to bed at 9 o'clock? How lame. Molly, I have to get my sleep or I won't get good grades. Uh-huh, sure, Daisy, sure. Come on, Daisy, let's watch the brightly colored unicorn for just like an hour. Okay, Molly, you talked me into it. Really? Yeah, I've been wanting to watch it for a while. Hopefully, you can still wake up in the morning. Oh, I totally will, Molly, I totally will. I'm responsible. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. Girls, are you still awake? It's almost 10 o'clock. Your bedtime is at 9.30. Yeah, but mom, this is a new episode of the brightly colored unicorn that we have to see. Yeah, mom, they go to unicorn land. Okay, I guess you can watch for another 10 minutes. What's that smell? Molly, did you take a bath before bed? Uh, well, uh, ew. Molly, make sure you take a quick bath before you go to sleep. You're stinky. Okay, fine. The boily colored unicorn, the boily colored unicorn. Oh my gosh, that was the best episode ever. Hey guys, uh, I still don't understand that math problem. Oh my goodness, you need to go home. It's 10 o'clock at night. Jeez, your mom's gonna wonder where you are. Good night, Daisy. 
kedai Bali. Ha. I'm all clean and ready to go to bed. Now I just have to turn off the light. Do 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 do. was a super bad idea. I knew it was going to be. Okay, I'm clean. I'm clean. Now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta brush my teeth. Can't forget to do that. Can't have stinky teeth for school. <laughs> push up, 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 push up. Okay, now where did I leave my homework? Ah, I don't know where my homework is, and I need it. Okay, Daisy, don't freak out. It's right over there. Oh, that's a giant pile of homework. Hee <laughs> hee. Better grab a quick breakfast. Just in case. Um, yeah. I gotta have a good breakfast. Because I can't go to school without it. I better just keep going because I don't want to be late right now. Even though I think I'm going to be. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the sun? Uh, must be it's just gonna be no sun today. Super rainy in Texas lately. Do 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 Wait a minute! The school bus isn't here yet, is it, Molly? Uh, nope. No school bus here. Okay, good. I didn't miss it. Hey, wait a minute. Why are there stars in the sky? Ah, uh, the sun forgot to come up. <laughs> uh, Molly, what are you talking about? It's midnight. Uh, no, it's not. It's it's almost 8 a.m. And my sister's going to be late for school. Ugh, Ma, Molly's totally pranking you, Daisy. What? What are you talking about? Ugh, I'm so tired. Uh, she's not talking about anything, Daisy. Definitely not. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, she is. Basically, she's saying it's time for school, but it's only midnight. You don't have to get up for school for another, like, seven hours. What? Molly! Why did you tell me that it was time for school and I was late? Because <laughs> it's hilarious. Molly! Oh, my gosh. Wait till I come in your room. Molly, open this door right now. Molly, seriously. Molly, knock, knock. Okay, now I have to tweak my sister since he opens the door. <clears throat> Excuse me, special delivery for Molly. I have four pounds of delicious chocolates. Um, should I just give them to your sister? <laughs> ah ha Molly! You tricked me! And you got me out of bed at midnight. I'm telling Mom! Daisy, no, don't tell her, okay? Uh, I'll give you, I'll give you an entire chocolate bar. Ay, ay, ay. Having you as a sister is, it's just terrible sometimes. Don't say that, Daisy. I think you love me more than anything in the whole universe. Ah, uh, whatever, Molly. I'm going back to bed. Daisy, don't forget you have to get up for, su for school soon. Aha, uh -huh, sure, Molly. So sure I do. Daisy! 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 Wake up! Wake up! What? What's good, God, Molly? What's good, God? It's time for school! Come on, get up! 
Ok, Molly, ok. Hey, wait a minute, why is it still dark out? And the stars are in the sky. <laughs> you fell for it again! <laughs> Molly, I'm gonna get you! I swear I'm gonna get you, Molly! Was it just me, or was that just like the longest school day ever? I couldn't agree more, Molly. I felt like we just took test after test. Yeah, I know what you guys mean. Oh, I can't wait to get outside and get some fresh air. Me too. Let's walk home instead of taking the bus, guys. Sounds good to me. And me too. Whoa, do you guys see that? It's it's a bunch of money on the ground. Holy guacamole. Well, you know what I always say. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. <laughs> You're rich, Brookie. You can buy us each like 20 ice creams. You know, if you want to buy us 20 ice creams. I think I'd love to buy you 20 ice creams, but I think there's a lot more money here than even that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't keep that money. Why not? She found it. Finders keepers, losers weepers. Because, Molly, someone's missing that money. We have to take that to the police station right away. Well, I mean, Molly's kind of right. I did find it, Daisy. Yeah, Daisy, but being such a goody two-shoes. She found it on the ground. You know, the person who lost it. Oh, well, so sad, too bad. Molly, can you imagine what kind of life of crime this will lead Brookie down? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. A life of crime? Are you serious? Yeah, I could just see it now. Oh, man. I parked my sports car wrong. Oh, well, I have lots of money. I'll just buy a new one. <laughs> oh, well, someone should come tow this one, though, because it can't stay up on my deck forever. Look at my house. It's amazing. It's so good to be rich. I'm so glad I kept that bag of money I found in Brookhaven. Hmm, I wonder who could be at my door right now. Oh, it's probably a pizza. <laughs> I love pizza. Come on in. Hello, are you Brookie Cookie? Um, yeah, that's me. I'm here to serve you an eviction notice. What? What's an eviction notice? It means you have to vacate this property because you haven't paid your taxes. What? I have to pay taxes? They're $10,000 a year. $10,000 a year? Are you crazy? This expensive mansion costs a lot in taxes, and you haven't paid it. So, I'm here to give you this eviction paperwork. The county will now own your house. Oh my gosh! This is horrible news! Well, have a great day. Sorry to deliver such horrible news to you. It's my job. Oh man, I, I can't get out of this house. Where, where's the door? It's right here! Okay, well have a good day! Yeah, thanks. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna lose my luxury lifestyle because I've run out of money! Oh! Wait a minute, I know what I can do. <laughs> I'll just, well, um, steal, I mean, find some more money. How hard could it be to get that much money again? I mean, I found it on the street once, so I'm pretty sure I can just find some more. <laughs> Even if I have to steal it. Well, this is where I found all that money before. Maybe there's still some here. What? There's no money here? What? Well, I heard that saying that money grows on trees. I think that's what it is. I don't know. Let me go check some trees. Maybe I'll find some money there. What? This tree doesn't have any money. And neither do any of the others. Maybe I just need to cut this tree down. There's probably some money at the top of it. Or maybe the saying was, money doesn't grow on trees. Ah, oh, well, I guess I'll have no choice but to go to the bank. I need to get some money out of the bank for groceries. I'm super hungry. Brookie, is that you? Who are you? Why are you talking to me, loser? You mean, you mean you don't, you don't recognize me? I was your best friend for so many years during school. Well, until you got all that money and you moved outside Brookhaven and never wanted to talk to me anymore. Uh-huh, yeah, um, I'm about to have some money coming out of the ATM, so I'm kind of busy right now. Whoa, it looks like you smashed it. Me? I didn't smash it. You smashed it. Just want to tell you that the police are on their way. I can't believe you broke into Brookhaven Bank and stole all that money, Molly. What? It wasn't me. You're trying to frame me. 
See you later, stinker! <laughs> Brookie, you've changed so much. That can't be the, the Brookie that was my best friend. It can't be! <laughs> oh no! It's, it's Daisy Cup? All right, you bought the bank. Wait a minute, my sister bought the bank? Um, uh, no, it wasn't me. Sure looks like you. I swear it, <laughs> it wasn't me. Well, you're the only one in the bank and the alarm went off and all the money's gone. So who else could it be? Seriously, you're gonna frame your own sister? Frame? I didn't frame you. I'm just arresting you. Look, I don't have the money. If I stole it, would I be standing here still? Probably not. Duh! Daisy, you're not a very good police officer. Why don't you become a scientist? Just didn't work out for me, okay? Fighting the life of crime like my dad did? That's a better life. Now you have the way to remain silent. Hey, I, I didn't do it. It was Brookie. What? Seriously? Yeah, she ran out of money. She came in here, used an axe, and framed me. You can check. I don't have any money. Oh, my gosh. Let me put an APPI for a BCC. That's a bookie cookie. Oh, man, I can't believe she turned into such a thief. I know. She's a criminal now. It's really quite sad. So, we meet again, Brookie. Yeah, we meet again. Only you're free and I'm not. Oh, well, Daisy warned you that you'd live a life of crime if you took that bag of money that didn't belong to you. Well, I guess I didn't believe her. And now I'm stuck in prison for my whole life. Yeah, you do the crime, you do the time. <laughs> Did you just fart right where I can't escape? Uh, sorry, like I said, you do the crime, you do the time. Well, smelling your stinkiness? Oh, this is the worst life ever! See, I told you, Brookie Cookie, you definitely do not want to live the life of crime, do you? Well, um, yeah, that seemed pretty scary. I cannot believe this! What, Molly? You agree now? No, I just think you've sold her a line of goods. And you know what? Uh, I, don't, I don't think that it's going to be that bad. I don't think she'd actually be a criminal. How do you know, though, Molly? How do you know? And that's the bottom line. You should never take something that's not yours. It could lead you down a path to destruction. Yeah, I don't need this money that bad. But I need an ice cream that bad. Well, I still have some of my allowance. I could buy you an ice cream. Really? you do that for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, it's better than being a criminal, right? Yeah, because you were really mean to me as the criminal in Daisy's like little nightmare there. Well, criminals aren't very nice. It's just how it goes. Now, come on. Let's take that bag of money back to the police station and we can see if we can come up with enough money to share an ice cream. Hello? What can I do for you two girls? Um, hi. I found this bag of money on the street and, well, I'm returning it. Oh, my gosh. Taylor Swift just called about that. She was coming through because she has a concert here in Brookhaven tonight. She said if anybody returned her bag of money, they could each have $1,000 and free tickets to her show tonight. What? Yep, that's right. It's all right here. The tickets and everything. And we can count out $1,000 for you. Oh, my gosh. I guess being honest really does pay off. Holy guacamole! We can get like a million ice creams for that money! And we're going to see Taylor Swift tonight! Ha 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 ha! Okay, Daisy, I have to admit, you were right this time. Whoa, can't believe it. My sister actually admitted I'm right. But only this one time! Ha 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 ha! Huh, where's my mom? I want to go home so bad! School day took forever to get over, and all I want to do is, like, sit on my couch and eat snacks all night long. <gasps> There's my mom! Mom! Mom, it's me! Molly, watch out! I'm gonna hit you! Oh my gosh, Molly. Remember, safety, always look first. Sorry, Mom, I'm just so excited to get into the car because I just want to go home. Let's go home! Well, we can't go home yet. We have to go get baby Kira. What? No! I don't want to stop in there! Oh, come on, Molly. <laughs> It'll only take me a minute. It's a minute that I'm not sitting on the couch eating snacks! Oh, sweet girl. Are you so sleepy? 
I can't sleep all afternoon. Whoa, she never takes naps. There's probably something wrong with her. Um, did your brain explode from learning all your ABCs and 123s? No, I just feel very tired. Um, so did your sister say when she was coming home, Molly? No, she just said she's staying in the library at school and studying because she has a huge science test tomorrow and she's not getting anything less than 100. Okay, well, I guess she'll be home soon enough, hopefully in time for dinner. I'm going inside! I have a spot reserved for me on the couch with some snacks. Hey, Dad! Oh, hey, Molly. Hmm, this leftover pizza's delicious. Got any left for me? Of course I do, Molly. <laughs> um, so how was your day at school? It was great. Oh, no, you don't, Molly. No eating pizza before dinner. You'll, you'll not be hungry at all. But Dad's eating pizza. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Honey, I can see you eating the pizza. Okay, yeah, I was really hungry. I had to chase a lot of bad guys at work today. Mom, yeah, he uses a lot of energy being a cop. <laughs> and then he refuels with donuts and more donuts and um, some donuts. I, I don't feel good. Why are you running around all over the carpet like that? Because my tummy hurts. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Baby Kira, oh my gosh, are you okay? No. My tummy hurts. You're probably just hungry. Dinner will be soon. Here, I'll turn on the TV. You can just chill. Um, you know, I know what you mean, because, like, whether you go to, like, preschool or whether you go to regular school, it just, it's a lot on your brain. You probably are just tired and hungry. All right. Um, what are we going to watch? Um, ooh, Family Life is on. This is a new episode. Come on, baby Kira. Let's watch it. You do not feel good. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on out here? Oh, baby Kira, what's wrong, honey? She said she has a stomach ache. She's probably just really hungry. It's been a while since snack time. I'm not hungry. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Um, okay, Molly, go get the, go get the puke bucket. Why me? Because, Molly, somebody has to get it. Where do we leave it? Oh, wait, I think it's upstairs. Found the bucket! Oh, this is gonna be so gross. I bet baby Kira got the stomach bug or something. Ew! Molly, hurry up! She's about to throw up! Here you go! Here you go! Okay, I'm not holding the bucket. That's just... That, that's asking too much. <laughs> oh, baby Kira, do you feel better now? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Oh, maybe she just ate something wrong. It's okay, baby Kira. Here, come on, lay on the couch and you'll feel all better. La, 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 la. Dad, why are you still eating all that pizza? Oh, that's super good. <laughs> Honey... Baby Kira just threw up. What? Poor baby. Yeah, will you go sit with her while I make dinner? Of course I will. Poor sweet little thing. You might not want to want um want to eat that pizza around her because it'll probably make her pukey puke puke puke. Ah, uh, Molly, do you want to help me get stuff ready for dinner? Sure, mom. Uh, it's not like I wanted to relax after school or anything. Come on, Molly. We all have to pitch in. Okay, but then seriously, can I just like lay on the couch? Because I'm so tired. My brain hurts from the math test today. Sure, Molly, no problem. Mom, can I have a soda? No, Molly, it's almost dinner. Can I have a Hershey's bar? No, Molly, it's almost dinner. Mom, can I have a Reese's cup? Molly, it's almost dinner. I feel so good, Dad. I got full up. Uh-oh. Sounds like she's going to have another throw-up session. Oh, ew. Um... Honey, don't eat that pizza around her. It's probably making her nauseous. Honey, I think baby Kira definitely has a stomach bug. Oh my gosh, I do not want the stomach bug. It is the worst ever. I have to agree, Molly. And the germs are just like, they're like super powered. You can clean your whole house and you can still get the stomach bug like two weeks later. I'm moving out. Uh, Molly, you live here. You can't move out. Poor girl. Everything's going to be okay, baby Kira. I don't think so. I, I don't feel good. Hello? Hey, Molly. What's up? Uh, kind of busy right now. Yeah, okay, whatever. Can you tell Mom I'll be home in a few minutes? And also, I want to know what's for dinner. Daisy, I just want to warn you. You probably don't want to come home. Like, ever. Yeah, you say that every time, Molly. Just so you know, I live there too when I'm coming home. No, you don't understand. This time, I really mean it. What are you talking about, Molly? Baby Kira, she's 
She's got the stomach bug. Um, tell mom I'm spending the night at Pookie's. <laughs> That's what I thought. Unfortunately, I've already been infected. Den, den, den. Well, I may be infected, but definitely been around the germs. So, um, good luck, Daisy, and, um, have a nice night. You're the one that needs luck, Molly. Luck you're not sticking your head in a bucket and puking in about two hours. Bye! Bye. Uh, I think maybe we should take baby Kira to the hospital. She just keeps throwing up and can't stop. Well, you're the mom. You know what's best. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh my gosh, honey. Did you come down with the stomach bug so quickly? Oh my gosh. Dad, say something. Are you alive? Must go to hospital. Okay, Mom, you better get the car. I'll go get baby Kira. Thanks, Molly. I knew I could depend on you to help out. Baby Kira, come on. I'm taking you to the hospital. Uh, oh, why go to the hospital? You have to, baby Kira. You have to. Come on. Oh, why do I flee? They're going to make you feel all better. Come on. Okay, Molly, will you stay with me? Of course I will. And, um, well, here's the thing. Dad also caught the stomach bug. I'll think it's a stomach bug. You don't think it's a stomach bug? No, trust me. I've had plenty of them. They are awful, and you definitely have the stomach bug. <laughs> Come on, Molly. Hurry up before your dad throws up again. Okay, baby, care out. Get it. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to drop you on the ground. Oopsie. You sit in the back with dad in your car seat because you're infected. I don't feel so good. Okay, well, I put a barf bag in the back for both of you. So, um, basically, just try to throw up in that, okay? Mom, hurry! We need to get them to the hospital and get them some medicine. Stat! I'm going as fast as I can, Molly. I don't want to get a ticket. It'd be worth it. <laughs> if they threw up in your car, you'd be really sad. Wow, the hospital's so packed tonight. Everybody's in here and sick. Hi, I'm Dr. Sullivan. Oh, help me! Oh my gosh, you look awful. Tell me about it. Okay, what are your symptoms? Stomach pain, throwing up, poo-poos, ah, and, and uh, I, don't, I don't feel very good. I feel like weak and tired and I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to die. Okay, well, I don't think you're dying, um, but I am going to need to do some blood work. What? No, I'm afraid of needles. Sorry, but it's necessary to see what's going on. Now, this will just hurt a little tiny bit. Ha! Why do you have an axe? Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's for my surgery. <laughs> Wrong equipment. Okay, let's just take a little bit of blood, okay? Oh my gosh. I hope I don't pass out. Wow, you really are afraid of needles. Oh, that hurt! All right, I got enough. Now I just gotta go test it. Be right back. I'll put this through to the lab, and then I'll go check on the next patient. <laughs> okay... Male, he definitely has some sort of stomach issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, perfect. Oh, sweet little baby, are you feeling sick? Uh, yeah, I feel sick, and also my dad is next door, and he's sick too. Oh, both of you are sick. I bet it's the stomach flu. Yeah, I would bet money it's the stomach flu. Oop, test results are up. Oh my gosh. I would have never seen this coming. Oh, I thought it was a stomach bug, but no. No, it's much worse. Much, much worse. Excuse me, Mr. Acker. Can you make me feel better? I thought you had the stomach bug, but I was wrong, sir. What? Am I dying? Oh my god, am I dying? No, it appears you have food poisoning. What have you eaten in the last 10 hours? Pizza. Oh, I can't even think about the pizza. Did your daughter next door eat the pizza too? Yeah, she had it for lunch at, at preschool. I packed her lunch myself. Well, you both have food poisoning. I'm going to go get you both some medicine, and you should feel a lot better soon. Okay, where's those nausea pills? Scratching. Diarrhea. Ooh, that might be a good one too. Perfect. This should help my patients a whole lot. Here you go, Mr. Acker. Just go ahead and take these pills, and you're going to feel right as rain. Well, probably tomorrow, but 
Are you gonna make my daughter feel better too? Yeah, but I'm gonna give her a shot, unfortunately, because she's too little to swallow pills. Oh no, poor baby. Where's my wife? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen her in a while. I'm so sorry, baby Kira. There was nowhere to park. I don't care, Mama. You got your here now. Oh, you must be Mrs. Acker. Yes, what's going on? What are those pills for? I'm so worried about my, my daughter and my husband. Well, these pills are because both of them have food poisoning. Food poisoning? Yep, it looks like from pizza. Oh my gosh, I told Dan that pizza was old and throw it out. He never listens to me about that. I'm, um, unfortunately, I have to give your daughter the medicine in a shot though. What? Yeah, I'm fine. No, baby Kira, I'm really good at giving shots. I promise you'll hardly feel it. Just a quick little pinch. You can't swallow pills, so I have to give this to you, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Ow! Oh! See, and the pinch is over already. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Can I take them home now, doctor? You sure can. I expect both of them to start feeling better within a few hours. If they don't, give me a call and we can admit you in. Thank you so much, Dr. Sullivan. You're amazing. No problem. Have a good night. I'm on to my next patient. Can we go home? Oh, I'm so tired. I just want to go to bed. Yeah, as soon as I find Molly. Molly, what are you doing? Um, I found the vending machine and decided I wanted to buy everything. <laughs> oh, don't mention food. I'm gonna throw up. Whoopsie. <laughs> What is going on? What's gotten into you? I have a question. Mom, 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 mom. Okay, what is it, Molly? Um, can I have some ice cream? <laughs> Molly, no, you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry. Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. No, I can't. I'm starving. Mom, help. <laughs> can't wait any longer. Send ice cream! Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do CPR! Dad, no! No! You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad, Um, I can't do my homework. What? Why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so guess I don't have to do it tonight. Molly, pff, whatever. You still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just going to skip it. Molly, no you're not. The answer's no. Go do your homework. Ugh, the answer is always no, it seems. Ay, ay, ay. Something's wrong with the computer! Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that funny dog! It's smiling! <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready! Ah, huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables? No way! I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Molly, you're still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, uh, uh, that, that's, that's not fair. Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. 
Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Ah, uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom, mom, mom. Yes, girls. Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, Mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no. It's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? OMG! Our parents say no to everything. Yeah, you do have a point there, Marty, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests. Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute. I didn't know I was a part of this decision. What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault. Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything. Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy. Exactly. Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whoa, Molly. You kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow... Um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? Oh, I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. <laughs> um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh. All right, yes, you can stay home. Ha <laughs> ha! Skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> everything is a yes. Good morning, parents. Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. This is a little bit of waffle. Mm-hmm. So delicious. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Loxie Delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. <laughs> Molly... Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we, um, borrow your car? What? No way! Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh. All right. But be careful, okay? We will! Come on, Daisy! 
I'm gonna ride in mom's car. I'm gonna ride in mom's car. It's gonna be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not Dad's though, it's Mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven at all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh my goodness. Oh, we gotta go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. Piggy is after me. P I G G Y. Oh, Piggy, won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa! 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 Oh my god, Daisy, I just put mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly, get out, get out. Daisy, I can't, my door is stuck. Ah! Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight, I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out! Daisy, you did it! Oh my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like, tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the pot, the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Ma, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pond! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Mom, you're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, this should be fine. Let's go home. Molly, I'm a little nervous. She's going to freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh, boy. This might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes. Remember, because it's yes day? Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Uh, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh, my gosh. You drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom. It's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the... You really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a $1,000? What? She's gone insane, Daisy. Well... In her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you gonna do with that much money anyway? Um, duh! I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world. What? Seriously? 
Don't worry, Mom. I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just going to step over you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we might be able to get your chip out of the pool later. But first, we're going to go to the ice cream shop. Whoa. <laughs> There's Mom's cheap. Oh, well. It was a nice cheap while we knew it. Marty, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um cheap isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah. Good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Marley. Maybe they'll want their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Marley? Yep, pretty much. We start with some bubble gum. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Molly, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Molly, did you eat a thousand dollars worth yet? Not even close. Molly, why did we eat all that ice cream? Oh! I know. I'm definitely gonna throw up. Definitely. Oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Where's there a bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Oh! Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy! Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. We ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Molly. Ever! Molly... I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, uh, me too. Uh, so much ice cream. Marty, get off of me. Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could. Bleh. Ew, Marty, gross. I don't want any more yes days. Never again. I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm going to have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Molly. This is just crazy! Wee! Huh, all these babies are crying. Yeah, Molly, it's what babies do cry. Look at this new one. She's so cute. Aww. Why do we have to be in here with these little babies? Because, Molly, we're little kids and and we have to be in the adoption center. But all that they ever adopt are the babies. They never adopt us. I know, Molly, but we have to keep trying. We can't give up hope. <coughs> okay, but do you have something that I can plug my ears with? Why, Molly? Because all I hear all day is wee, wee, wee. These babies sure do cry a lot. Don't worry, Molly. I'm sure they'll all be adopted soon enough. And then we'll be left here in the quiet all by ourselves. Hello? Where's the adoption center? Oh, oh, here it is. Oop, look, Molly. We got a fresh one. <laughs> yeah, well, don't get your hopes up because she's probably going to adopt the cute little baby. Oh, look at the cute little babies. See? Told ya. Hi, over here, I'm Daisy. Hey, over here, I'm Molly. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Daisy. And we know you're not going to adopt us. But we still want to say hi to you because we're super awesome. Daisy, that's not going to make her adopt us. Well, I'm just being myself. If she doesn't want to adopt me the way I am, well, then she doesn't want to adopt me. Daisy, no one ever wants to adopt us. We're just totally unwanted. Oh my gosh, I think you guys are adorable. Are you sisters? Yeah, we're sisters. She's not my sister. Well, I don't know who she is. Daisy! <laughs> just kidding. Aw, you guys have a great sense of humor. I think you're so cute. I totally want to adopt you. Wait, what? Don't you want one of these crying babies? <coughs> no, not really. I think you girls are pretty awesome. Well, maybe you just want to adopt my sister. I mean, she's super adorable. 
Yeah, maybe you want to adopt her and not me. Nope, I pretty much want to adopt both of you. Really? Y y you want to be our mom? Yeah, sure I do. OMG! We got a mom. We got a mom. Hello? Uh, where are the two toddlers? Oh, they're right over here. I'm going to adopt them. Uh, no, I don't think so. Wait, what? What? What are you talking about? I've already adopted them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't know we were adopted. Me either. Must be she called about us and we didn't know it. I don't know, Molly. She seems kind of, well, evil. Well, she does have the same hair color, hair color as you. I mean, that can't all be bad, right? Who cares about a hair color, Molly? She seems crazy. I have the paperwork right here. Oh, um... Well, I guess it's official then. I'm so sorry, Molly and Daisy. I, I wanted to adopt you, but it looks like Karen here is going to be taking you home. <laughs> I'm really, really sad about it. Bye! What? No. Mom! That's not your mom. You can start calling me mom. <coughs> Why are all these annoying babies crying? Oh, Daisy, this is not good. This is not good at all. Well, come on then. Molly and Daisy, I'm your mom. You have to come with me, and you have to do what I say. Uh, okay. Uh, get in. Uh, but I don't want to get pushed in the car. Ugh, I am not a baby. Well, I don't have my car. It's in the shop. So we're going to have to walk home like this. Um, okay, I could kind of make this fun. Whee! No fun, no smiles, no laughing ever. Daisy, uh, I don't know about this. Be quiet. <laughs> I'm trying to get my workout in. Um, okay. Whoa, she takes her workouts pretty seriously. <laughs> huh. You guys are so big, you're making it harder for me. Wait, what? Why are we staying in a hotel? I don't have a house, duh. What? We don't even get a house. Like, we got adopted and we we have to we have to stay here? Yeah, this should be good enough. Wow, this is actually a pretty nice motel room, but... Does it have a bathroom? Okay, it has a bathroom, but does it have a kitchen? No, we'll eat takeout. Oh. That's not healthy. I don't eat takeout. Well, you do now because I'm the mom and what I say goes. Uh, okay. Um, well, at least we have a bed. No, that's my bed. You can sleep over there on the table or the couch. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, this is horrible, Daisy. Well, Molly, at least we have a mom now. Yeah, an evil one. Uh, excuse me, be quiet. It's time for bed. We didn't have dinner yet. Uh, you can have dinner tomorrow night. What? Didn't they feed you at the orphanage? Um, we only had a snack. Snack's good enough. I'll get you breakfast in the morning. Now be quiet. It's time for bed. Uh, okay. Daisy, this lady is crazy. We have to get out of here and find our real mom. She is our real mom. She has the paperwork and everything. I don't want this lady to be my mom. Don't be my mom! Are you still talking? Go to sleep. Okay, Karen. You can call me mom. Yeah, okay, Karen. Molly. I think I could use the computer and try to get us out of you. I could maybe find somebody else to, 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 um, to adopt us. Yeah, maybe that nice lady who is our mom. Yeah, maybe, Molly. Oh, she's got a password protected. Daisy, there's no choice. We just have to run away. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's looking funny. Molly, shh. You're going to get us caught. Now, come on. I think I found her address. Really? Wow. You're good at hacking into computers. Let's go, Molly. <laughs> no worries. Karen is sound asleep. <sighs> I didn't get to eat dinner. I'm so hungry. Okay, according to this, we have to go this way. Here it is. Time to go find my real mom. Knock, knock. Hello? Who could be at the door at this hour? I hope it's not a burglar. Daisy, I was wondering when you were going to get here. Sorry, you were running really fast. Girls? What are you doing here? You can't let that evil Karen adopt us! Wait, what? 
The ink's not even dry on the adoption papers. You can erase it. You could. She's evil. She didn't free us dinner. She's making us live in a hotel. She doesn't have a bed for us. She makes us sleep on the couch or the table. Whoa. She sounds evil for sure. I stole the adoption papers. Here. I'll erase them and write your name on them. Oh, I don't know about that, girls. She's evil! You have to. Please, Mom. Please. You were meant to be our mom. Yeah, you really will. Okay, girls. We'll do it, and I'll turn it in first thing in the morning. In the meantime, there's a bed upstairs for each of you. What? Really? Yep. Go right ahead. Go up the elevator. Oh, this is going to be the best life ever. Wait, bunk beds? Oh, <laughs> This is amazing! Okay, I want to sleep in this thing. I want to sleep in it! Molly, go to bed! I can't, I'm too excited. Ay, ay, ay. Seriously, Molly, you're going to live here the rest of your life. You could go to sleep. Oh, so much more comfortable than the orphanage bed. Get out of those beds right now. Wait, what? Karen! What are you doing here? You mean mom? What are you doing at this lady's house? She's not even your mom. She is our mom. We chose her as our mom. You don't get to be my, our mom. Don't be our mom! I am your mom. The paperwork says it. Mom! Mom! Whoa, Molly. I got here as soon as I could. Mom, Karen's in our room. I know. Why don't you stop her? Because I was busy on the phone with the police. What? What are you talking about? You kidnapped my daughters. Actually, no correction. We came here on our own. These adoption papers are fake. You weren't approved for adoption at all. What? Uh, how'd you find that out? Because I'm smarter than you, Karen. But don't worry, girls. Your adoption papers from me are official. I'm your mom. Now, Karen, get out of my house before the police get here. You better start running. Ha ha ha! Karen's getting arrested. Karen's getting arrested. What? No! I don't want her to be my mom. Don't be my mom. Oh, well, if you don't want me to be. No, 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 I meant Karen. I definitely want you to be my mom. Me too. We're a family forever, right, mom? That's right, girls. Family forever. How to train a puppy. Go. No, no, no. Oh, a mastiff. That's a huge dog. Holy guacamole. Looks like they're walking a horse. <laughs> Molly, I'm here. Brookie, hey. Hey, Molly. I'm so excited about this special sleepover. So what makes it so special? <laughs> You're about to find out. What are you looking at on your iPad? Oh, nothing. It's all a part of the surprise. Whoa, <laughs> you packed a huge bag. Are you staying for a week or a night? Just a night. My mom says I have to be home in the morning. We're all going for a family breakfast. Whoa, cool. That sounds fun. So come on, I want to know what this amazing sleepover is about. Come on, I'm so excited. Okay, well... Here goes. Um, uh, Molly, why are you whistling like that? Here, Oreo. Here, here, Oreo. Who's Oreo? Wait a minute. You're calling to the cookies down in the refrigerator? Molly, you might have a problem. <laughs> no, no, no. Oreo is my adorable puppy. What? You got a puppy? Oh, my gosh. He's adorable. Hi. His name's Oreo? Yep, his name is Oreo. <coughs> he hasn't really left my side. Well, except for just now because I was hiding him so I could surprise you. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted a puppy. He's so adorable, Molly. Ugh, it's not fair. How come you got a puppy and I didn't? Wait, what? You, you aren't happy for me? <coughs> I'm trying to be happy for you, but... It's just not fair. I mean, you don't even do your homework. You got a puppy and I always do my homework. I didn't get a puppy. I can't believe you're saying this to me right now, Brookie. I mean, you just seem like really sour grapes. Sour grapes, what does that mean? It means you're jealous. Um, 
Okay, yeah, I admit I'm jealous that you got a puppy and I didn't. I mean, look at my shirt. It's obvious I love dogs. Ruff, 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 ruff. I didn't even know you liked dogs. Aw, well, you can come hang out with Oreo anytime you want. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Now, come on, let's enjoy the sleepover. No need to be jealous, Brookie. You're my bestie, and and I don't want you to be sad. Come visit Oreo anytime. Well, it's not the same as having my own dog, but yeah, okay. Ruff, 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 ruff. Oh, hi, little guy. Aren't you the sweetest? Yeah, he really is. Come here, Oreo. Come here, Oreo. Oh, Molly, he just seems to want to stay by my side. What? No, he's my dog. He should come over to me. Come here, Oreo. <laughs> uh, Molly, I'm sorry. He's just like, he's stuck to me like glue. He must really like you or something. Well, I am sort of the dog whisperer. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Come on, let's go watch a movie. Oreo. <laughs> come on, Oreo. Let's go. Oh my gosh, my dog is attached to Brookie's hip. Seriously. Sorry about that, Molly. I mean, I, I, I know Oreo's your dog, but he really just seems to like me. Hi! Is the sleepover started yet? Where's Oreo? Uh, he's like totally attached to Brookie Cookie for some reason. Maybe it's because... Whoa, look at this, a wolf! Yeah, we're not watching that. Boring. And what were you saying? I was saying maybe it's because Bookie Cookie is amazing and our dog just loves um, her. Yeah, that's true. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, Oreo. Wait, where do Oreo go? Oreo go? Uh, he likes to sleep under the couch when we're watching TV. He's kind of crazy like that. Who wants popcorn? Not me. I'm going to have a healthy snack. Not me. I'm going to have a healthy snack. <laughs> My sister's so boring. She eats the most boring snacks. <laughs> I like your song, Molly. I don't like it. Molly, that's rude. Sorry, but it's true. My sister's so boring. She eats the most boring snacks. <laughs> You're so silly, Molly. She's so annoying is more like it. Yep. But only to you, Daisy. Only to you. Oh, sorry, Oreo. Here, I'll toss a few pieces of popcorn under the couch for you. Oh, that's so nice, Brookie. Ugh, that was a long movie. And ugh, I'm so full of popcorn and snacks. Molly, you're supposed to totally eat the popcorn slowly so it lasts through the whole movie. Nope, nope, didn't do it. Ugh, so full. Besides, the movie's over, so I guess I sort of accomplished that. No, you didn't, Molly. You ate all of your popcorn in the first 15 minutes. Then you went back for seconds and thirds and fifteenths. Yeah, which explains why my stomach hurts. <laughs> well, I have to go to bed kind of early tonight, Molly, because I'm having breakfast with my family in the morning, remember? Okay, yeah, come on. You can set up your sleeping bag in my room. Oreo! <laughs> come on, boy! Here, boy! Sorry, Oreo's just following me around again. Oreo, you're my dog. Apparently, Oreo's forgotten. Come on, Oreo. Come on, come on. Oh, I think Oreo just wants to sleep on my bed in my sleeping bag. Fine, Oreo. Ugh, I feel like my dog likes you better than me. And I'm the dog's owner. Sorry, Molly, I told you. Dogs just really like me. And cats, and hamsters, and fish. <laughs> I'm sort of an animal whisperer. Fine. I mean, Oreo lives here, so I guess Brookie can sleep with him just one night. Where's Daisy? She's still brushing her teeth. She said she'll be up in a minute. Okay, fine. Well, good night, Oreo! <laughs> Seriously, my dog is already asleep? Ugh! The dog never falls asleep when it sleeps in my bed. It just whines all night long. Look at it all snuggled under the covers with Brookie. You'd think that dog was her dog. What's going on in there? What are you doing, Daisy? I just want to make sure you two aren't getting into a fight. And I was walking into the middle of it. No, we're not fighting. Then why do you seem so irritated, Molly? Because Oreo just wants to hang out with Brookie. Well, maybe Brookie should own Oreo. What? Don't say that. Rude. Ugh. Sisters are so annoying. <coughs> Molly. Molly.
Molly! Hey, I've gotta leave. Molly, can you hear me? Molly! Molly, I have to leave now. I have to meet my family for breakfast. Molly? Well, I guess I'll call her later. She's sleeping so peacefully, I won't bug her. Okay, I'll see you later, Oreo. Bye! Yes! Oreo! Oreo! <whistles> Whoa, where's Blucky? Well, I, I don't know. I, I guess she went home early. Oh, yeah. Oh, she had breakfast with her family this morning, remember? Oh, yeah. She should have said bye, though. Yeah, she probably didn't want to wake us up. Yeah, true. Oreo! <whistles> Where'd Oreo go? Is he under the bed? No, I don't see him down there. He's probably downstairs waiting for breakfast. You're probably right. <laughs> He's just like me. He wants breakfast first thing in the morning. Oreo, where are you? Oh boy, this is going to be a deliciously healthy breakfast. A waffle with some banana. Oreo! Ore Oreo! Daisy, Oreo's not coming. That's weird. Oreo, are you in the washing machine? If you are, that's a terrible place to hide. You're going to get washed with the underwear. Um, Daisy, Oreo is nowhere. Check the bathroom, Molly. Maybe he had to go potty. Oh, my gosh. My sister's ridiculous. She actually thinks dogs use the potty. Um, they go potty outside, Daisy. Ew, they do? Gross. <laughs> oh, boy. My sister's clueless when it comes to dogs. Where do you think Oreo is? I don't know. He's probably around here somewhere. Oreo! Oreo! <whistles> He's probably just sleeping somewhere here or hiding to be funny. But we're out of coffee, so I'm going down to Starbucks for a cup. Do you want anything? No. I'm just starting to get a little worried. Where could Oreo be? Maybe the door got open and he went outside. Ah! That's a horrible thought! Oreo! Oreo? Okay, he's not in the house. And, 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 and he might be in this entire huge town? Oh my gosh. Oreo! Oh, Oreo. Ruff, ruff. You're such a cute little dog. What? Bookie Cookie stole Oreo? Oh my gosh, I have to call my sister. Ruff, 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 ruff. I know, Oreo. I'm sort of glad you're at Starbucks with me too. Although I'm sure Molly and Daisy miss you. Hey, Daisy, what is it? Molly, I I have some news to tell you. What? Is it about Oreo? Did you find him? Yes, Molly, but it's bad news. Oh, my God. What happened to Oreo? Molly, um, someone stole him. I, I don't want to tell you who. You better tell me who, Daisy. I need to know so I can call the cops. It was, it was... Spit it out, Daisy. It was Bucky Cookie. W wait, wait. What? My best friend stole my dog? Molly, I think you better come down to Starbucks right away. I'll be there in a minute. Bye, Molly. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good. Not good at all. O-M-G. My sister was right. Brookie, you stole my dog. What? No, it's it's not like that, Molly. Ruff, 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 ruff. I, I promise. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it, princess. What? What are you talking about? I'm saying that you have my dog, and I've been looking for him all morning, and I couldn't find him, and I was scared. And here to come to find out, my best friend is having a latte with my puppy. I'm I'm sorry, Molly. It, it, it's not my fault. Yeah, you were so jealous I got a dog. You stole him. We can't be best friends anymore. I don't, I don't even care about you anymore. Molly, why would you say something so mean to me? <laughs> okay, well, that was a bit harsh, but why did you steal my dog? I have to call the cops. Molly, no, don't don't call the cops. Oreo followed me home, and I didn't know it. I, I, I'm just here to meet my family for breakfast. And, and as soon as breakfast was over, I was going to bring Oreo straight back to your house. I told you I was the dog whisperer. What? Oreo snuck out of the house and followed you here? Oreo, is that true? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh my 
gosh, Pookie, I'm sorry I accused you. Oreo, don't you love me? Don't you want to live with me? Oh, that's not it at all, Molly. It's just Oreo heard I was going to Starbrook's, and what dog doesn't want to have a delicious muffin? Oreo, I would have bought you a muffin. Ruff, ruff, ruff. See, as soon as you mentioned that he could have a Starbucks muffin, he's back to being your dog. Oh, you little devil, you. Ruff, ruff. Bookie, are we okay? Sure we are, Molly, but try next time to not accuse me until you know. Okay, I promise. And thanks for watching out for Oreo. No problem, Molly. Have fun with your family. Come on, Oreo. Let's get a muffin. Or a cupcake. Or a donut. Which one do you want? Ruff, ruff, ruff! All three? <laughs> You're definitely my dog. Oh, baby Kira, are you excited? We're going on a play date. Yeah, baby Kira, this is going to be so much fun. You're going to love it. I know, I know if I like play dates. Trust me, when I was your age, I loved play dates. Mom, don't try to get in the stroller. I know that you're tired from being up with baby Kira all night, but you can't fit in the stroller. Don't worry, Molly. I'm not going to try to sit in the stroller. It looks like you did just right now, Mom. Don't lie. Okay, maybe I wanted to sit down for just a second. I want to get on my stroller and play around. Yeah, when we get over to the playground, you can run around, okay? You're not my mom. I don't have to listen to you. Listen here, little... Molly, don't call your sister a brat or any other names. It's her big day. She's at her play day. Okay, well, have fun, baby Kira. Why did I have to come along? Because if you're going to babysit your little sister this summer on school break, you have to know exactly what these play dates are all about. Uh, looks like baby Kira just runs around and plays. Pretty much, but I always encourage her to, like, find new friends, talk to people, you know, socialize. Okay, well, um, there's no other kids around right now, but... Oh, baby Kira, are you happy on the swing? Ow! It's not meant for you, you too fat. What? No, I'm not. Don't say that. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, how come you can't make this swing go? Um, I don't know. It, Cause it's broken or something, I think. I think I'll just sit here and eat a piece of pizza. Aha, uh -huh. sure. Oh, my little sister can be so rude. Don't make me give you a time out. And now I can relax while Molly watches baby Kira. Oh, I see what you were doing, Mom. Making me babysit while you relax at the beach. I don't think so. I'm getting in the water. Molly, you have to watch baby Kira or at least help me. Okay, baby Kira, come on. We're swimming. Molly, she can't swim out that far. She'll drown. No, she won't. Look, ooh, whoa, what's down there? It's like a whale. Just a big rock, though. I used to love coming to swim here when I came to baby playgroups. Wait, where's, where's baby Kira? I thought you were watching her. Oh, my God, we lost her. Uh, wait, is she tri Is that Rainbow Friends? And did she just go in that house? Because if she did, oh my gosh. Bum, bum, bum! This can't be good, guys. What'd you do with my sister, crazy? All right, I'm gonna go look for my sister, see if she's in here. Whoa, this is a nice house. Okay, that's not my sister's room. That's not my sister in there. Maybe I just thought that was my sister. Ooh, nice bathroom. Ah! Why are you out here? Probably wants to know why I'm in his house. Okay, fine, I'm leaving your house. I thought my sister came in here. But I guess not. We're on a play date. And okay, anyway. Whoa, I went in the wrong room. I can't get out. I can't figure it out. Oh my gosh, guys. I really don't know how to get out of here. Um, apparently this is where they trap people under the stairs. Baby, how do I get out of your house already? I'm gonna take the back door. Oh, it's locked. Oh my god, guys. I'm locked in here with one of the rainbow friends. This isn't good. Phew, I'm finally out. Molly, did you find baby Kira? Um, well, uh, Molly! You lost her! Okay, come on. We'll find her together. All right. Baby Kira! This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Baby Kira, where are you? B baby Kira? Sorry, I lost you. Baby Kira! Get down from that fountain! Oh, boy, Molly. I can see you're going to have your hands full this summer. Baby Kira, um, you do not run out of our sight, okay? I want to go water park. Wait, what? They put in a water park here? They sure did, Molly. It's been a long time since you've been a baby. Yeah, I want to go to the water park. Let's go. Holy guacamole. Look at that water park. It looks amazing. Hmm, it looks like it's starting to get dark. We might have to go home soon. Not before we go to the water park, Mom. And they put in a cinema here, too? And Scooby-Doo is playing? Oh, my gosh. So much better than when it was just, like, boring swings and a slide when I was a baby. 
<laughs> Come on, baby Kara. Last one to the top. So rotten egg. Oh, um, Molly, wait for your little sister, please. She's just a baby. Come on, baby Kara. I can. I come out. I just have very short legs, so it takes me a long time. I know it takes you a long time because you're still really tiny and short. Whoa, look at all these. Now, since you've never... Baby Kira, what are you doing? Baby Kira? Baby Kira, are you okay? Oh my god, I think she just fell into the water. I'm coming, baby Kira. Ow, oh, that was not very deep. Ouch. Ba baby Kira? All right, I, I lost my sister again. I think it's safe to say that I'm not going to get the job this summer. <laughs> Oh, well, I just wanted to eat ice cream and hang out and play Roblox anyway. Oh, my gosh, guys. Where is my little sister? Oh, wait, there she is. Baby Kira, you cannot go through the railing. Oops, yeah, I didn't mean to. Um, Now we have to go back this way. Go and walk back and try again. Yeah, this time, don't go through the railing. Just go up the stairs, and then we'll take a raft together, okay? Molly, is everything okay? Oh, man. Better not tell my mom I lost her again. Everything's fine. Molly, you lost your sister again, didn't you? Um, Molly? Sorry. Okay, baby Kara, come on now. Molly, I'll give you a time out if you don't tell me the truth from now on. I know, we can't lie, Mom. Got it. Do, 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 do. Okay, baby Kara, I'm gonna launch the raft. Baby Kara, are you ready? I got me. I swore when you. Here we go. Here comes the raft. Get on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh my gosh, now I'm not on. Okay, there we go. Ha ha ha. Baby Kara, this is going to be the most fun play day ever, even though you didn't really play with any other kids. Just your sister. Wee! This is fun! Ah! It's crazy! I love it! Yeah, it is really fun, huh? Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> I go crazy! Oh, 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 oh. Ouch! Ah! What happened? What happened is we flipped upside down, and now I'm off the raft. Ugh. Oh, wow, Molly, how did it go? Um, well, um, our raft sank, and I can't find baby Kira. Molly, this is the third time you couldn't find her. She is coming. Oh, wait, now I'm going backwards, and I can't stop going backwards. All right, here we go. Oh, it's probably not a good thing that the water park's raft sink. I love it, but I have a go poo-poo. Uh, Mom, you're all about the dirty diapers. I'm just chilling. Oh, okay, Molly. I guess we should get going home, but what did you think of your play date? I'm playing with friends, boy. Yeah, <laughs> but you got to go down a water slide. That was pretty fun. Yeah, and disappear three times. Come on, let's go um, potty and change your diaper, and we'll eat some pizza. Okay, baby Kira's changed. Mom, it's not that late. Can we please go see the new Scooby-Doo movie? I'll go see Minions. No, Minions not out yet. See, it says coming soon. Um, yeah, sure. I guess we could watch Scooby-Doo and eat some pizza. Yes! Come on! Let's get tickets. Oops, I almost forgot the tickets. <laughs> How many? Um, me, my baby sister, and my mom. Three tickets. Okay, here you go. Enjoy! Thank you! Whoa, I got the hiccups. I didn't even eat the pizza yet, and I got the hiccups. Oh my god, guacamole, man. I got pizza, and I'm gonna watch a movie, and it's been the best play day ever with you, Molly. Oh, baby Kira, that's so sweet. Mm. Theater pizza is always the best. You're saying that to me, and I've been eating it for a really long time. So I've been around a lot longer than you guys have. Yeah, well, I guess I don't need to tell you, huh, Mom? Not really. Ooh, his epic tale begins, get it? <laughs> Ma, quiet, the, the movie about the star. Okay, okay, I'll be quiet. Ah, this was actually a pretty fun play date, even though it was for a baby. <laughs> I get to eat pizza and watch a movie? Sign me up! Oh, baby Kira, aren't you excited? It's your first day of daycare! Whoa, whoa, I kind of went up on the curb. Oopsie. Ugh, driving your dad's car is so difficult. I wish my car wasn't in the shop. Oh well, I eventually got it. <laughs> baby Kira, are you coming? Oh, bye, go to preschool. Why not? You're going to make so many friends, honey. And your teacher, Jenna, I met her last week. She's so nice. I'm going, going, not going. Baby Kira, please get out of the car right now. I'm not going. Baby Kira, we talked about this. Come on. Your teacher is so nice. You're going to have so much fun. I want to stay home all day and play with my toys. I don't know, but I don't know what you did with me. 
All right, we're going to try not to talk baby talk because you're a big girl now. I'm not big girl. I do girl. I stay home. Come on, let's go in and just talk to the teacher. You can see me a hiding. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Acker. Oh, who do you have behind you there? This is my daughter, Kira. She's being a little shy today since it's her first day of preschool. Oh, hi, I'm Jenna. Nice to meet you. You can't see me, I'm invisible. Oh, I don't think you're invisible because I can see you, sweetie. Look, you're gonna have so much fun with the other kids. You're the first one here though, so uh, maybe we could get to know each other. All right, baby Kira, I have to get to work. I'll see you later. Don't leave me here, mama. Don't leave me here, mama. It's gonna be okay, baby Kira. Do you want a fuzzy stuffed animal to hug? No, I wanna go home, play with my toys, and 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 hug my stuffed elephant. Oh, you have a stuffed elephant at home? Well, here at preschool, we have a stuffed hippo, and he absolutely loves snuggles. Here, I'm gonna give them to you, okay? I don't think this is gonna work. Well, I'm sure it will, sweetie. Okay, I'm gonna go check you in, and the other students should be arriving soon. Good morning, Miss Jenna. Good morning, Susie. It's so good to see you. It's great to see you, too. Hey, guess what? There's a new student here named Kira. Would, would you make her your friend, Susie? Of course I will. I love making everyone my friend. Great. She's right over here. Baby Kira, this is one of our other students, Susie. You guys, I think, will be great friends. I won't be anyone's friend. Oh, baby Kira, that's not a very nice attitude to have on your first day of preschool. I don't need friends. I need my mommy. I need my mommy! Oh, sweet girl. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, look, Stephen's here. Good morning, Stephen. Hi. Whoa, you had a growth spurt over the weekend, I see. Well, we have a new student, baby Kira. Come meet her, Stephen. Hi, I'm Stephen. I don't care. I want to go home. Wow. I think we need to have a better nice attitude, okay, baby Kira? I don't want to have to call your mommy. Yeah, call my mommy. This is total What did you just say? She said a bad word. Whoa, teacher, baby Kira said a bad word. <laughs> okay, Steven, not funny. Baby Kira, we do not say that word. I'm sorry you're sad you're at preschool, but this is where your mom says you needs to you need to be. I want to. This is total. All right, everyone, just play with the toys. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I've never had a student say that word before. Oh, um, I think I should call her mom. Hi, this is Mrs. Acker. How can I help you? Hi, um, this is Jenna from the preschool, and oh no, what happened? Is baby Kira all right? Um, yes, but, um, well, we're a little shaken up right now because baby Kira said a naughty word. What? She's never said a naughty word in her entire life. Well, she did. What word did she say, Jenna? She said, What? Are you serious? I, I can't believe this. Well, she did. I don't know what you want to do about it, but, um, I'll be right there. I need to see baby Kira for myself. Yeah, it'd probably be better if you pick her up. Maybe she's just not ready for preschool yet. I want to go home. I want to go home. You know what, baby Kira? I don't know if you're really ready for preschool yet, but your mommy is coming. Really? I could go home, play with my toys, and be with my mommy. But here's something for you to think about, baby Kira. Every child. Well, they have sometimes a difficult transition starting school. It's okay to be afraid or to even miss your mommy or daddy. But eventually you're going to make friends here and have so much fun. I want to have fun. Hello, is anyone here? Oh, yeah, we're back here in the play center. Hi, Mrs. Acker. I'm sorry to have to call you during the work day. Mama, mama, mama. I'm just so shocked that she said such a naughty word. Not my daughter. I'm sorry, but I just don't think this is even possible. You must have misheard her. Well, Mrs. Acker, she said it twice. I'm pretty sure I didn't mishear her. Well, maybe you did. I mean, have you had your annual hearing screening? Yes, I had my annual physical with my hearing tested. 
Okay, I'm just saying, maybe you have some wax in your ears because my daughter doesn't say naughty words. Um, okay, well, um, uh, do you want to bring her back tomorrow or do you think maybe she needs to be home for a little longer and she's not ready to start pre-K? She's ready and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> this was all just a big misunderstanding. Okay, well, baby Kira, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully with less of a potty mouth. Okay, Susie, Steven, let's um, gather up. We're going to get our snacks going. Oh, hey, Brookie, what's up? Hey, Molly, I was just wondering, are you excited about your half day? Yeah, you should come over and hang out. It'd be super fun. Sorry, I can't. I've got a ton of chores to do. Ugh, that sounds like the pits. Totally does. Now, baby Kira, I expect you to tell me the truth. Did you say a naughty word? Um, Brookie, there is some sort of drama going on here. Um, I'll call you back later, okay? Okay, Molly, bye. Bye. What? Baby Kira said a naughty word? Uh, no, I didn't say it. I said stinky potatoes. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the oldest line in the book. She didn't say stinky potatoes. Um, well, I, I, uh, well, you can try preschool again tomorrow. Maybe we'll have better luck. Molly, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're watching some TV since we're home early from school. Early dismissal is the best day ever. I had the worst day ever. I was total. Holy guacamole! Where did you hear that? I uh, hear what? That super naughty word. You can't say that. That's a, that's, that, 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 that's a very naughty word. Ah! Oh my gosh! Girls, what's going on? Um, baby Kira said a naughty word. Really? What naughty word? I better whisper it in your ear, Mom. That's what I thought she said, baby Kira. I can't believe this. Jenna was right. She didn't have wax in her ears. That is very naughty. You are not supposed to say that. Oh, why even um, go back to you tomorrow? Well, you're not only going back to pre-K, but you're also going to have your time out for the first time. Whoa. Your first time out. This is a big deal, baby Kira. I want to. <laughs> you know the timeout chair. You've seen your sister Molly in it plenty of times. Go sit in it. Oh, me? No, I haven't been in the timeout chair that many times. Yeah, right, Molly. <laughs> oh, you spend more time in the timeout chair than you do anywhere else. Can't believe my foot timeout. <laughs> Don't worry, baby Kira. The timeouts get easier as they go on. You sort of entertain yourself by thinking things in your mind like, what kind of snack do I want when I get out of timeout? Molly, no talking to the prisoner. Sorry, baby Kira. You're in this alone. <laughs> Poor kid. I remember my first timeout. It was not fun. <laughs> <laughs>